Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PP all day. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Good morning, welcome to Sewing Street. Sunday morning. Honestly, we've got a brilliant Sunday morning lineup for you. Very, very exciting. In fact, I'm not really here on my own very much today because we've got two guests, not one, but two guests today. So it's been years and years since I've seen Amanda Little. I know that she's been on with John and she is just amazing. You love her, we love her. And she's back for an amazing, amazing uh, two hours, in fact, two hours. Uh, she's actually been the chosen one. She's lucky enough to be working with the brand new Elena Anderson collection. This has been so exciting to be able to get it in. I mean, it's literally hot off the press, Lynette Anderson fabric. Um, it's literally just launched. It says Feb slash March, so it's hot off the press. And we've got it here. So really, really exciting. That's coming up later. I'll tell you about the day as we go on. Um, but today, our early bird special is brilliant. When? Do we ever get Riley Blake design uh, design rolls or charm packs as an early bird special? Today we've got the 10 inch charm packs and they are beautiful. It's the first time I've actually even ever seen this fabric before and isn't it gorgeous? You've got puppies in this, you've got really lovely floral prints. <gasps> Look at that. You've also got your bicycles. Here it is, the early bird special, 42 piece child pack through fields and meadows. Oh, I love it. Every single fabric is designer, 10 inch squares. Beautiful print. Um, £49.99. Uh, it's not 
you're only by a special price, remember. We are going to be taking this even lower. Um, here's a little bit about the, uh, the collection. So this is Riley Blake fabric, remember. This is really beautiful quality. Um, so Jill Finlay has been designing quilt patterns for over 15 years. Several years ago, she launched her design business, uh, Jilly Studios, or is it Jillily Studios or Jilly? No, it is Jillily Studios. Jillily, it is Jillily Studios. Uh, Jillily sounds lovely, doesn't it? Even if her name is Jilly, that's lovely, Jillily. Um, she designs and sells quilt fabrics, patterns, and kit notion and kits and notions. Her quilt designs depict her own fresh style using great colour and texture with many fabrics. She usually adds a little applique to soften the finish, uh, each to, to soften and finish each design. Each design. Her designs have been featured in several magazines, including American Patchwork and Quilting, uh, Quilt, Quilters Home and McCall quilting so she's very very established in design and this time working with Riley Blake you can see some of the designs there that border print is gorgeous some lovely ideas they are very fresh and perfect for this time of year no need to discount especially as these are going to be ideal for all of your spring makes are you ready we are dropping the price so at 49.99 it's already amazing early bird special though making sure every Everybody opens their order nice and early. £10 off. I've never even seen this before. Oh, I like that. Bearing in mind, this has been on a handful of times. I think it's been on six, less than six times, that's it. Um, so if you do want it today, the first time it's been discounted, it's 39 99 and you get 42 10 inch squares. Oh, look at that one. Oh, I can't wait for the sunshine. This is going to look lovely in the sunshine, isn't it? Uh, Hannah said, Oh, when you're stitching with this on your new 680 plus, you're going to feel amazing, aren't you, in the sunshine? Um, I was just thinking, well, of course, these are so versatile. Stuart Hillard was saying to me that they are the most versatile pre cuts because some of the larger prints, obviously, if you're looking at smaller cuts, you tend to lose those smaller prints. Whereas these, you've got those beautiful big flowers. You've got bicycles on here as well, which we love. Um, 39 99 That is a £10 saving. And Hannah said, I'm not done. It's Sunday. Have you ever heard the su saying, Sunday fun day? <laughs> right, Hannah's doing a reduction of price so that everybody can get some sun cream. Oh, okay, I get it for when it's sunny and, you know, maybe you're out on your bikes and you've got your lovely fabrics, £5 saving. Or do you know what it could have been? Your P&P &P as well and a bit more, P&P &P and a bit more. Or, oh, you know, thread or needle, but Hannah's choosing to tell everybody, get your sun cream for the summer. With that saving, buy yourself some sun cream. Lowest ever price, needless to say. It's supposed to be £50. £49.99 is the price that it will go back up to, remember, tomorrow. Early bird special is for today and today only, or while stocks last. And look at these beautiful fabrics as well. Remember, you're getting two of each print, 42 10 inch squares there are so many great projects that you can use your 10 inch squares for in fact i'm just looking at the lena anderson quilt that we've got coming up later on you could do a similar design or the same pattern again with this look amazing and i mean don't get me wrong like 42 squares if you were to patch all these together that is a massive quilt for 34.99 it's a bargain isn't it what an amazing design 10 inch squares Jill Finlay, absolutely beautiful petals and pedals. I was watching um, Dragon's Den last night. Have you watched the latest season, the latest series? It's really good. But anyway, they were talking about um, cycling on the episode that I watched last night. And they were saying how popular, obviously, cycling has become over the last few years, I think with lockdown especially. Um, cycling is huge. Uh, loads of people love cycling. So if you do know anybody who um, loves going out on their bike, loves their garden. It's actually, you know, quite a unisex collection. You can make some beautiful prints for, for everybody, couldn't you? Um, you can make some beautiful projects for everyone. You've got the dog tooth print there. You've got the little um, wheels, but they'd be nice even to cover buttons, wouldn't they? 
at 34.99 is today's early bird great way to open your order nice and early and trust me it's a great day to be opening your order as i said it is sunday fun day don't forget your sun cream right in the middle of a storm hannah she's thinking ahead she says this makes me want to uh be outside having a picnic in the park with my bicycle oh i love that that's a lovely print isn't it lowest ever price sorry my ipad um had no battery so i'm charging it up but i'll come in and say hello to you don't you worry it's it's got three percent now so i'll turn it on uh 34.99 early bird special first time i've ever seen it and today you can get it at an amazing early bird special lowest ever price only while stocks last a quarter of the stock has gone right today is going to be really really busy just so you know um are you on facebook live robin we are live on facebook let me try and find it i missed i think you stole the notification hannah um shall we have a look at today's menu so as i said two guests today this first hour we've got amazing fabrics which are brand new today whole new fabric collection in fact i'm seeing two new fabric collections on my desk very, very exciting. So that's eight o'clock. Uh, nine o'clock, we've got the most beautiful makeup bag with Amanda Little. Oh, this is a really clever design. I absolutely need this because my makeup bag is bulging at the seams at the moment and I can never get to what I want to. Whereas this, it opens out. Have you got the other picture? There you go, look. How amazing is that? So it's Velcro. Have you seen the Life Flat? Um, bags before makeup bags this is just like that and I love the fact that it's got that extra handy strap as well so if you are carrying it round, you could even put some snacks or your lunch in there it doesn't need to just be a makeup bag crafting on the go that is a brilliant pattern so that's coming up with Amanda we'll go back to the menu at 10 o'clock look who's here I can't wait to see Debbie Shaw I've not seen her for absolutely ages so really really excited to be back with her at 10 o'clock and we have got her very very popular back by popular demand her kitchen cow creamer set panel exclusive to sewing street we're thinking again of spring spring kitchen windows doors are open you've got your your music going you've got uh you know your picnic getting ready oh lovely so that's going to be perfect for that. We're setting the scene for you, aren't you? Um, don't forget, use the, uh, the saving that you've made to get yourself some sun cream. 11 o'clock. Are we ready to have a look at this quilt? Da, 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 da. Oh, my word. Okay, this is the first look at the amazing Lynette Anderson collection. Hot off the press. The latest, the brand new collection. Now, the Mega Bundle is very, very limited. Um, you do get the pattern as well. So if you want to do the beautiful pinwheel dance, this is such a perfect, perfect pattern for it. Really clever. But also, if you've got another pattern in mind, if you love Lynette Anderson and her beautiful red work and the uh, hand embroidery that she does, I think you'll love this collection. It's amazing. Uh, we do have another colourway. We have it also in a brand new Moda Gathering collection, which is all lovely greys and silver. So very, very contemporary indeed. Both um, uh, are with Amanda in that hour. Amanda is an amazing quilter. She does long arm quilting. If you've never had your quilts long arm quilted before, then stay tuned um, because Amanda might, uh, yeah, give you some a bit, a bit more of an insight into long arm quilting. Uh, and she does have a long arm quilting business, so you could send your quilts off to Amanda. Good morning, everybody. Morning, Tom. Oh, thanks, Tom. Tom got me um, got the stress of Christmas. Chantel said good morning. Um, Got mum watching for the first time. Oh, Chantelle, love to your mum as well. Hope you love today's show. It's going to be a really good show to watch. Uh, Anne said, look lovely as always. How's little Maisie? Oh, she's amazing, thank you. And Emma Bradford has sent her in the most beautiful dress. She's made her most gorgeous dress for the summer. Hello from South Africa. We're international today, Hannah. Thank you for watching. Before we do how to get in touch, can I just very quickly mention the 680? As predicted, it is in stock. I'm so excited. Now, I did say I'm only here today and then I'm not back in until the birthday. Um, and I don't think I'm going to have a look in at this again. It, I've, I've, it's now really limited on stock. And how amazing. 
you've now got it with that extended warranty, a five year warranty. See, you'd have to pay extra for that normally. If you wanted to extend it, you would have to pay extra. Now, we all know the 680. We absolutely love it. We're going to be talking up, talking about it later on with Amanda. She's going to be working on it. And it's also going to be coming up in the 12 o'clock hour. If you've got any questions, get them in. Also, in 12 o'clock, by the way, 12 o'clock show, if you are interested in embroidery machines, then we do actually have three... Three of the Italian Nine, only three machines, but the Italian Nine embroidery machine is amazing. So we'll talk a bit about it later on at 12 o'clock, but I know people have asked when we're going to get it in. We've got three in, three. Um, if you've got any questions about the 680 or the Italian Nine, get them in and fingers crossed we can answer them for you at nine o'clock. Um, now we want to see all your pictures of your cow creamers, all your lovely spring makes. We're feeling springy today. I've got my spring dress on. Amanda's got her floral dress on as well. So we want to uh, set the scene and get all springy today. Send in your cow creamer pictures to studio at sewingstreet.com. Maybe you're like Debbie Shaw and you collect your own cow creamers. Um, send in photographs, we want to hear from you today. Let's make it nice and interactive. It's always nice on a Sunday, isn't it, to have your company. So come in and say hello to us. Uh, of course, I'm on Facebook as well. I have got the iPad here. I'm just bringing it over and plugging it in next to me here. So you can get me on uh, Sewing Street TV on Facebook. Did you hear me literally plugging it in? <gasps> this quilt! Oh my gosh, I actually match it today. I love it. Oh, the detailing. If you love gardening, there's some beautiful little elements of gardening on here as well. The fabrics are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I must say, a quilting is sublime. It's perfect, isn't it? It's a real good sort of illusion because you see the pinwheel and then you see this block here that's um, focusing in on fussy cutting all these lovely elements from Lydia Anderson's collection. I love it, absolutely love it. And the border is amazing as well it's a gorgeous quilt it's a big quilt by the way it's a really big quilt i do match in don't i i did get the lynette anderson memo obviously um we've got it also in the greys it's coming up it's called the color of love i love it absolutely love it so that's coming up um we will have a look at the fabrics in more detail oh we're doing it now There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, they're so lovely, aren't they? Can you see you've got um, scarecrows, a little bird houses. You've got, uh, I, I'm not sure what the gardening tools are called. Are they forks and trowels? I'm learning all my gardening lingo, Hannah. You'll be proud of me. I've been watching lots of Monty Don. I know, I love Monty Don. Brand new, Lynette Anderson, um, coming up later on. It's already on pre-order if you want to shop ahead. So, talking of brand new collections, we've got a brand new collection in. And I love this colour palette. I've never seen all these colours combined together. And they work so, so well. Um, now, we've put together a bit of um, a uh, creams bundle and we've also got um, them by the half meter now it is available as a mega bundle do i need to add the creams into this then hannah oh they're in there they're in there thank you so you've got here um you've got here the most beautiful collection uh, now this is a collection from missy carpenter and look at the colors absolutely beautiful have a look at this we're going to put the uh info on the screen for you so you can have a read uh because i can't quite see from there robin <laughs> thank you so i'm just going to walk close to the screen so this is the ashton collection by missy carpenter now missy carpenter carpenter traditional ashton collection includes a beautiful classic design with flowers and birds in ivory and rich cocoa, along with coordinating stripes. The group also includes patterns with, with Missy's signature palettes of rich reds, 
purples, cheddars. I love that. Ivories, purples, and teals. These fabrics are great for quilting and also for home decor. Uh, and to be able to have, I love, love, love the background. I love the pop of colour on the forefront. This stripe fabric, you can see there on the quilt, um, some inspiration on the pictures there. But how beautiful would this be for a border? It is absolutely gorgeous. So you have all of these fabrics coordinating with this main um, sort of signature print but all of them are very traditional actually aren't they if you do love your traditional quilts you've got some lovely colors the purples the ivories half a meter of every single one of these fabrics can we come a bit closer Robert just so we can see the detail and um, because they've got a really beautiful sort of mottled effect and you've also got um, really lovely little delicate um, petals come on in don't be shy the water's warm, isn't it lovely? I love how opulent that rich red is. That is amazing. Oh, and look, this has got great detail with the uh, the birds as well. A bit William Morris esque, a bit May Morris esque. Do you see? Um, brilliant, brilliant quality as well. It is quilting weight quality, quite Jacobean, isn't it? Um, it is also available on split pay today, so you're getting a hundred and twelve pounds thirty-five huge seven metre bundle of fabric. These are all cut into half metre. So you've got 14 different designs, 14 different prints. Um, at 56, 17, you can get it on split pay. I love that one. That is a beautiful fabric. I must say, spoiling you rotten for a Sunday. Sunday morning, spoiled with fabrics. Now, if you love that stripe fabric, it also comes in a couple of different um, colourways as well like this look that is beautiful plus you've got that stripe there's the stripe in the other colourway which one do you prefer looks completely different doesn't it I do like the cream. The bright colours are beautiful. Um, well done, everybody checking out. I do love that combination of colour and the cheddars. Because they're not yellows. They're more of those golden cheddar tones. I can see exactly why Missy is called this cheddar colourway. It's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Yeah, we like the cheddar, don't we? Uh, so you have all of these half metres. That would make an amazing quilt, wouldn't it? You would have loads of fabric left over as well depending on what design you're going to do. This is oodles and oodles of fabric. Great combination of colour. And even in the background, can you see that you've got this lovely sort of shadowed effect um, with a secondary print underneath? Just adds even more texture and depth, doesn't it? It almost gives it like a bit of a, a three-dimensional effect. It stands out. I was talking to Stuart Hillard about the different volumes of print, and it does make such a difference to your end projects, especially if you're quilting. But don't forget, as Missy Carpenter said, perfect for home furnishings as well. It's going to be beautiful for your quilting, for bag making. This would be great for bag making because you've got lots of lovely colours that you could use for the linings. Um, you could team it with lots of different solids, actually. There's a lot of colours there. Aren't they beautiful? That rich, opulent red. That's amazing. Okay, this is brand new. We do have these individually as well, but that is your whole mega bundle. Oh, go on. What are you thinking? Oh! Can we do it? Not really, not really. Okay, Hayley is away in London this weekend, um, who is our sales manager, who we'd normally ask for things like this. But do you know what? We are feeling... <laughs> Very generous today. Uh, actually, do you know what? I can't claim this is my own. This is Hannah. This is all Hannah. Send in your fan mail for Hannah. Do you want half a metre for free? Should we take 7 49 off? It's still going to be on split pay. And you know what you could buy with your 7 49 
You could get more sun cream for all the summer, for all the family. A windbreaker for the beach, maybe. What about a new picnic basket or a deck chair from our sister channel, Gemporia? Um, 104.86, 104.86. And don't forget, it is on split pay. That's now taking your split pay down to 52.43. Oh, okay, just so you know, that's till midnight tonight. Um, it will go back up tomorrow. I would get... Um, you know, a complementary colour to go with it as well. You could get a couple of units of, uh, of fabric to go with it, to complement it, to go make it go even further. They're amazing. Well done, Hannah. Thank you, Hannah. Can you please send in fan mail or Hannah is happy with Greg's vouchers? No, I'm only, <laughs> I'm only joking. We were very, very excited though that we did we did receive a lovely gift of a Greg's voucher, which had us we've all thoroughly enjoyed. 104.86. No, we don't do things for favours. <laughs> Hannah will accept bribes though. <laughs> no, I'm only joking, it's against the law. <laughs> 146, just send in a nice message to us saying thank you. We like a nice message. Come in and speak to us today. It is a very, very busy day. We've got Amanda Little and we've got Debbie Shaw joining us. Um, Debbie is eagerly awaiting in the wings. She's going to be joining us at 9 o'clock today. 10486, split pay of 52.43. They are absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Very opulent. And I must say, remember, you're getting 100% cotton quilting weight fabrics. Machine washable, ideal for quilting. And now you're getting half a metre for free. Which half metre do you want for free? That one. I want this one for free. <sighs> okay. Now, we did think about putting together some colour bundles, but if I'm honest, they all sort of work so well individually that there was no obvious colour palette bundles. You know sometimes like with Tula Pink, she does them obviously in different colour palettes, and it's good for you to be able to mix and match them yourself of what you want to use them for. But we did see obviously your neutrals, one that works with all of the colours throughout the collection and one that's going to be able to go with lots in your stash, with your Lynette Anderson maybe, with your Moda Prince, with your William Morris, is your ivories. So we've put them all together. Traditional creams and ivories are beautiful. Now these work with so many different collections. Having a traditional ivory means that it's going to be very versatile in your stash along with other, uh, other fabrics. You've got two meters, and I do love this. Look, you've got your vine print there. You've got your whites, uh, with the one with the birds. I really, really like the fact, whenever we do a neutral bundle, it's always really, really popular, but this isn't just a neutral. If you want to be able to have something, you know, less dominating, it's not um, a high volume print. It's not gonna be one that's, um, very dominating, overtaking anything, but it's still got interest. If you were to put like one of these fabrics with just a plain cream, don't get me wrong, it would look lovely, but just having that bit of extra print just adds a bit of je ne sais quoi, doesn't it? And it looks very traditional. I do love these prints. Brand new in today, half a metre of each, so that's a two metre bundle. If there's one of these that you particularly love, don't worry, we are going to do them individually as well, but they look amazing, don't they? 29.96, you can get ahead if there's any of them that you want to see, I'll show you how to get on the website, as all of them are on the website as well, individually. We'll try and get through as much as we can, but I've already noticed the, the time. So um, if I were you, I'd make yourself familiar with our website, which is www.sewingstreet.com. If you click on the Watch Live, which is on the top um, bar there, you can see if you scroll down on the right hand side, Today's show deals is everything that we've already shown. On the right hand side is everything that's coming up. So you can see there, oh wow, I love those diamond fabrics. There's one with UFOs on. Yes, there is ones with UFOs on. Um, and then this is the collection which we're going to be running through in a moment by the half metre. When it, when it does come on screen, it will then appear on the left-hand side on the Today Show deals. But everything is there once we've run the graphics through. 
I'm sure a lot of you know this, but for anybody who doesn't, Moda Grace launched last week. It's the first time I've seen it. It's the brand new Moda collection, the latest Moda collection. Um, we're going to do an amazing, um, well, I'll try and show you as much as we can. Um, Hannah's always so put some of her favourite fabrics in, so you can shop ahead for those if you want. Um, so there are Amanda Little's fabrics, if you want to get extra fabrics, there's the pattern and the bundles. So you do get your instructions. Um, the Lewis and Irene Peacocks is the most popular at the moment actually, with the lovely metallic gold. There's your cow creamer set, there's different colours, there's the mustard, there's pink, there's blue, um, so they're all available. There are other panels as well to make other things, we'll talk through those with Debbie. And then, oh, get ahead, start shopping, this is the start of the colour of love. I feel like that should be a song. They are gorgeous. The colour of love, I'm sure it is, isn't it? If you are a Lina Anderson fan, this is a must. Now that, by the way, that bundle is huge. It's six metres of fabric plus four fat quarters. It's a massive quilt for the one behind me. Um, now, if you've been watching, hint, hint, hint. If you've seen the deals, hint, hint, hint. Hannah's already getting fan mail in and loving it. So she says, I might do a little treat for you on that one as well. Uh, good morning, Vicky. Oh, thank you for your message in Blackpool. Thank you. We have a limited number of mega bundles available. So if you don't want to do the quilt, um, same with uh, the Moda Urban Farmhouse as well. They are gorgeous. Um, Moda Gatherings there, you can see. Um, everything is available. There's the instructions on their own as well from Amanda Little. It's a really clever design, isn't it? Very clever pattern. And the Little Quilt House, Amanda Little, is absolutely amazing. If you've not met her before, she's such a talent. Um, the bridge water stitch mover, there's still some of those left. Oh my gosh, I don't know how. Um, there's the embroidery machine. 680's already been run through, so that's on today's show deals. Lots and lots of other bits and bobs for you. Threads, stabilizers, interfacings, go for it. Um, right, so that's the two meter bundle. It's a very busy, busy Sunday, isn't it? Busy, busy, busy. Um, well done everybody who managed to get the mega bundle of the Ashton collection. There are a few left of the mega bundle. Should we do the creams individually? Cream stripe, yeah. Oh, absolutely. This is my fave. Oh, it's going crazy on pre-order. Imagine this as a stripe for this border. If you get the pattern, that is literally the perfect um, size. It's not going to stay there, but can you see what I mean? That is the perfect width for a border. Um, obviously, when when Missy was, uh, of course, designing it, she's obviously got that in mind. Quilt borders, for stripes, for bags. This would make beautiful garments as well if you are a dressmaker. It's only 749 and a half metre. It's lovely. Border, but then you could echo those shapes with a plique, couldn't you? Or you could use this fabric for English paper piecing, and you've got so much uh, scope here because you've got different elements. If you imagine a hexi here, if you imagine a hexi here or here, they don't need to be small hexes, you could do really big EPP shapes, couldn't you? Hello, Lo morning Vicky, just switched on. Your dress is lovely and blends so well with the quilt. I think I actually blended a bit too much with the quilt. I'm a bit camouflaged into the quilt, aren't I? But I did get the memo, yeah, we're going colour of love. Um, Trisha, thank you for your message. So for Valentine's Day, Kieran got a hot tub that we've hired for the week. Oh my gosh, it had all though blown into the conservatory, like we've got it outside in the gazebo. Oh no, yeah, it's the worst week to have had a hot tub in the garden. What did you get for Valentine's? Oh, you had flowers last year, Hannah. Um, no, to be fair, Kieran does it on like a four year cycle. He goes quite big every four years and then Valentine's Day, we don't normally do. So yeah, this was really, yeah, unique. Oh, you got him a card, but he didn't even realise when Valentine's Day was. And she said, I got you a card. It was on Monday. But it's, yeah, the colour of love. Um, 7.49. This is so lovely, isn't it? 
Nice for uh, bag making as well. Nice for panels on bag making. Um, right, so we have got the same prints, but we've got it in the green colourway. Um, the darker, I say green, it's got like a, a mocha. What colour did Missy call this, this tone? Cocoa. Cocoa. Cocoa background. Looks quite green on the website. The reason that... Um, I said it's because it does look quite green on the website, but it's not actually. It's got the lovely deep greens here, but the background is definitely more that cocoa tone that you can see on screen now. Your cheddars, your purples, your teals, your reds. Great pop of colour. Add a bit of a pop of colour to your more sort of traditional quilting. 749 a half metre. And your stripe is running vertically. If you're buying multiple units, remember it will all come joined up. So if you're buying two meters of this add four units to your order and it will all come in one continuous piece um a quarter of the stock of the cream is god oh i love that one i do love it um do you want to stick with these big prints i've got the cream and the um cocoa cream first this is your favorite print in all of them very very nice Oh, so the background is actually um, one of these. I think it's that one in a smaller scale. This, I must say, would be really, really nice as well for Amanda's um, bag. I'm calling it a makeup bag, but actually you could use it for all sorts. Oops. Um, so if you wanted to do, look how clever this is, your embroidery bits and bobs, you could put EPP in there. You could put your cross stitch. How lovely would this be? Because it's quite Jacobean, isn't it? Reminds me of sort of a tapestry. It's lovely. But that's great, isn't it, for on the go? You know, if you're, um, you're off for a, um, a picnic in the spring, you could put your sun cream in here, couldn't you? For anyone who's just tuning in, they think I'm so random. Can I just say, it's not me that's random, it's Hannah. Hannah's decided, she took a bit of a discount off the early bird and decided that everybody should go and buy some sun cream. I love the fact that, you know, you're protecting everybody's skin. Thank you. You're very thoughtful, Hannah. Um, just 7.49, a half metre. I love the fact that they haven't just done blue or purple flowers. Can you see, you've got the prints in all of the petals as well. So you've got such attention to detail that you've got that repeat. They all tie in together so, so well. And the quality of the printing shows you the detail of those prints. Hi, Susan. She put, good morning, Vix and everybody. Staying in again today. It's too wet here in Derbyshire, even to walk my dog. Oh, it is, isn't it? I had a day yesterday. I haven't had a day like it where I literally stayed in my dressing gown all day, all day. I think I watched two films. Oh, it was just lovely. It was lovely. I haven't had a day like that for ages. So it is nice to do that. Recharge. Yeah. Recharge your batteries. Okay, so 7.49. Now, that one also comes in, in your cocoa. Definitely more brown than green. It does have a slight khaki hue to it, but I think it's more the leaves that are tricking my eyes. It just looks pure green on the website for some reason. More of like a moss colour, and it's not. It's cocoa. Definitely more of your cocoa shades. Okay, so you've got your purples, your blues, your reds. I don't know if I've got this upside down. Actually, do you know what? I don't think there is a direction to it. Because look, um, is that the right direction? No, because look, this is upside down now. So there's no direction to it either, which is good. I like there's no direction. You don't need to worry about pattern placement when you're uh, bag making or quilting even. You, you don't need to worry about that. Um, okay, so... This one comes also just in like a plain ivory. Uh, this is in the ivory bundle. I really, really like this. They have this in a smaller scale in the background of the cream one. It's just perfect for, I'm thinking, your bedroom for pillowcases. It'd be lovely for little accent cushions with frills around the edge. You could team this with lace and lovely like shell buttons. You could do like a beautiful embroidery case to keep your needles in. It's very pretty, very, very pretty. What about things for your dining room, dining room table or covering? Um, I keep looking at fabrics at the moment for covering my dining chairs in 
um, that just the seat covers are starting to get a bit dirty and I thought right for spring I definitely want to make some more seat covers these would be really lovely um, I'm thinking of weddings as well that is beautiful ring cushions the top table you could do really beautiful tableware for it for um, you know a special table couldn't you seven pounds 49 yeah a special table you don't want to do it for all of the tables because that's a lot isn't it just the special tables maybe the top table would be nice some people don't have a top table nowadays you know we all, no no seven forty nine a half meter Um, let's go for the purple because that's unlike anything else that we've got, isn't it? The only one in this lovely purple and it's a really deep amethyst tone. It's that beautiful plum, isn't it? This will look great with the Leonard Anderson, you know. That's what I think I love about this collection is that, don't get me wrong, it's very unique and it's very detailed, but this is going to go with so many, so many other fabrics that you've got. This would be beautiful, wouldn't it, with the Leonard Anderson reds. It would also be really nice for dressmaking. I'm thinking for little girls' dresses for summer, or you could, it's, the only reason I say that is because Emma Bradford's made Maisie a really beautiful dress with quilting weight cotton, and it's so pretty. This would be lovely for that. Um, we've got the blue. No others of the deep blue. This is it. This is, can you see why we sort of struggled to put together colourways? We said, look, let's just let you mix and match. These with your ivories look great. These look with uh, beautiful with your reds. Great with your ivories. I love the shapes of all the flowers. Very clever. And that mottle effect in the background, it's not one solid blue, is it? Now, this is teal. It is more like a peacock blue than a, um, a cobalt or a or a cadet blue it's definitely more towards the peacock tones it's called teal uh, seven pounds 49 a half meter and of course you can buy as many units as you want while stocks last it's brand new in today though remember we also have i'm going to go for the green um i said that the no this is the only green this one is actually green this is like that mossy green um, it's got gold, which isn't metallic gold, just so you know, but it has got a gold finish in the leaves. It's beautiful. Teardrop floral, this one's called, and it does have that lovely sort of mossy green colour to it. In fact, the other day we did Nanny's Quilting Book, which completely sold out, and lovely Cara demonstrated um, uh, an applique. This would be great for applique. Imagine doing really lovely um, trees and grass with this as applique. So think outside the box. I know quite often when we're doing uh, a plique, we might fussy cut actual designs and print and applique them on. But also think about different shapes and, uh, and what this sort of says to you. For me, it's saying grass and trees. It might be something completely different for you. Lovely leaves, nice the texture as well. And I mean texture to the eye, not to the touch. It's completely smooth, quilter's weight cotton machine washable. Um, now we also have the same fabric, this one, in red. Uh, dare I say it, we never ever do, we, well we very rarely bring back the same collections twice. So if you're buying now, this time of year, of course we're not necessarily thinking of Christmas, but look at these together. Look at these together. If you want to make some beautiful Christmas makes, they would look amazing as well. It's not screaming Christmas at you, but it's um, those lovely colours. Just because the likelihood of uh, us having this back in September, October, November, December, when we talk about Christmas, is very unlikely. This almost has a stripe to it. Can you see? There. A diagonal stripe. The leaves are almost in stripes, aren't they? You could cut those into two and a half inch strips. Um, how does go to the VA website? It does look a lot like Jacobean prints. Um, so Hannah's just done a search on Jacobean on the V&A website. Um, they've got lots of different things from that period, but even like Roman blinds and, and things like this, they're absolutely beautiful. 
um, for soft furnishing. There's lots of inspiration of how to use Jacobean um, prints. They would look perfect for Roman blinds and curtains and cushions. There's loads on the v &A website. Have a look. It does definitely have that feel to it, doesn't it? Missy was definitely inspired by Jacobean um, fabrics. We've got the vine prints. Now, this comes in red and in ivory. This red is so opulent. Now, it's very similar to the red that we're going to be talking about later with Lynette Anderson. And there are a lot of different types of red. I'm just going to say it. It's not a cheap, tacky red. This is a deep, opulent, classy, gorgeous red. This is like Manor House, Escape to the Country. I've been watching, um, you know, the chateaus in France. What's it called? Yeah, Escape to the Chateau. Oh, it's so good, isn't it? So good. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Has anybody ever thought about doing that? Just escaping to a chateau in France. Because, you know, these huge castles, I mean, it was probably a few years ago now, but they always seem like you expect them to be ridiculously expensive and then they obviously have a lot of work to do to them and a lot of upkeep, but it's amazing people's lives that they go and change their life and, and do all of these amazing chateaus up. It's amazing. Um, £7.49. So I was just intrigued if anybody knows anybody that's actually done that. That's so cool. £7.49. Right, we also have it in ivory. I'd get these two together. This reminds me of the, the Liberty Garden Gates. Those vine prints are cl classic, aren't they? These are always going to work really, really well. Now, this does have a direction to it. It has that, obviously, upward direction. So just bear that in mind if you're using this for your bag making. You could create some really cool patterns, though, if you were to rotate that design. Maybe for, if you were to cut this shape out um, uh, you know, it, it, and do the, um, what's it called? Like pattern placement. Fussy cut, that's the word. Seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. That would be beautiful for a blind, wouldn't it? When we search Jacobean on v &A, what do you find, Hannah? She's going to show us. She's going to show us all. Uh, there you go. There are lots of Liberty Furnishing fabrics um, that have been woodblock printed in this kind of style. That's so cool, isn't it? It's just interesting, actually. This is uh, an American designer, obviously, um, uh, of this collection, obviously, that we've got here today. But it's so interesting, isn't it, that you could pull in um, your Liberties, your William Morris. Uh, it's still got that really classic traditional feel. I think this is why we absolutely love Lynette Anderson as well, is that they're just so whimsical and beautiful. They'd go beautifully with you, Lynette Anderson. Um, OK, we have four more prints to show you individually. Don't forget there is the whole shebang in the mega bundle. If you missed that earlier, Hannah did take off £7.49 willy-nilly. She just did it. It wasn't planned. Uh, we've got one more red fabric. Have you found that one, Hannah? Well done. You are doing ever so well keeping up. Just about on a Sunday morning. We're on the ball today. Oh, don't forget Amanda Little is going to be joining me at nine o'clock. Oh, I'm so excited to see her. We've got a lovely show today, really lovely show. Hi, Jane. Uh, Jane said, morning, studio. Morning, L. Hannah L. My L. I'm Vicky. I think you're getting confused with me and L from Jewelry Maker, potentially. Um, Hannah, an amazing Sunday. Sunshine crew. Yes. Don't forget your sun cream. Uh, my favourite word is. Sophorific. What's sophorific? Word of the day. Word of the day. Word of the day. Sophorific. What is that, Robin? Oh, we normally get a different logo. Yours is a telephone next to us. So how did you message in? Do you remember when you used to be able to text your home phone and it used to come up in like a robotic voice? Do you remember? You used to, it used to ring, you'd answer the phone and it was a text message. Maybe you've done something like that. Have you sent us a fax? Let's do the cocoa. This looks a bit um, 
It reminds me of a designer. It reminds me of a, a very, very famous designer. Louis Vuitton. That's what it reminds me of. Hannah's like, who? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, or it just reminds me of a high-end print designer. It's lovely. Um, good morning, Margaret. She said, good morning, Vixen, everybody. We've got Hannah and we've got Robin back in the gallery today. Not seen Robin for ages. When was the last time you were here, in fact? Oh, gosh, November. Last time we went together was November. Did you have a nice Christmas? Happy New Year, Robin. When do you stop saying Happy New Year to people? Should I stop? Even if I haven't seen Robin since November, I still should stop. Okay. I've got that same print in ivory. Can you see what I mean? It does look very, very expensive. It's lovely. And can, it's got this lovely mottle effect. It's very difficult to see on air, but actually it's very clear in real life. Creams, ivories, slight sort of um, cocoa shades. You can see on the salvage all the different colours that are used and it is these lovely neutral palettes. We've got one other fabric from this collection. Everything is available on the website. Sorry that I'm flying through these, but I am aware of the time. Mega Bundle is still available at the moment, though it's very limited. This is lovely, isn't it? £7.49 a half metre. Remember, you can still buy as much as you want. This would be a nice one to use for um, bedding. I'm thinking bedding and uh, pillowcases or little accent cushions. If you love your creams. I think the creams are coming back, aren't they? It's still in my greys, but creams are definitely coming back in. Um, Alison Marion has a pattern on the website for an Oxford pillow case, actually. You know, the big posh ones with the big borders. You could make your own. Um, these would look lovely in those big pillow cases. I didn't know that Alison Marion had that, that um, pattern out. Oh, that's a really good idea. Oh, it's under her section on the website, under Alison Marion's section. Uh, so, don't forget, if you do love all of those prints, £7.49 saving today on the Mega Bundle. Remember, you're getting all of your cocos, you've got your ivories, you've got your deep opulent reds. Please tell Kat that. Please tell Kat. Oh, I love your dress mix. I'm not so glad I'm still going to be in my bed with bagels and a cuppa. Hi, Pat. Oh, I do love a bagel, Pat. I do love a bagel. What have you got with it? I like Philadelphia and bacon. What's your favourite? Um, right, you've got the blues, you've got the purples. <laughs> This is the whole collection you're getting for 10486. Um, half a meter for free, included at that price as well. On split pay at 52.46. Once everybody's checked out, oh my word, very, very, very popular indeed. There's only four left. Only four left. If you do want that whole collection, it's brand new in today. Um, I'm out today by the looks of things. I wonder whether we're gonna save some of these for uh projects. I think they'd look amazing in a big quilt. So, go on. Some of your favourite fabrics, Hannah. This is beautiful. You know when we're talking about spring and summer, just around the corner. This is so clever. Right, so what range is this from? The pe Petal Power. Moda Petal Power. From there, it looks like um, a stripe, doesn't it? Like a, a beautiful sort of pastel stripe. When you see this up close, oh, this is so cool. Oh, Hannah's thinking she wants to back a quilt with this. I know it's normal width, but you could piece it. I am thinking EPP. Look at all the different colours you've got. For foundation paper piecing, again, loads of colours. For children's makes, for children's makes, for storage boxes and things like that. Oh, how cute is this? Have you seen on the salvage what it says? I think of you every day, Z. Every Daisy. Oh, I love that. 
I know it's completely the other end of the scale to what we've just seen, but it's lovely. Did we have anything else from the Petal Power collection? This is beautiful, isn't it? Sometimes they can get lost onto the uh, the collect. Uh, they can get lost on the website, can't they? So um, Hannah has raided the stash. This is brilliant. Seven forty nine and a half meter. Mode of quality, absolutely beautiful. Seven forty nine. Also, completely random. Not so completely random, because you know me. I love my gemstones. Love my gemstones. I've been over at our sister channel loads recently, so I'm so, so sorry that I've not been here as much. But um, it's lovely to be back with you. Really nice. This one is the dark background. Oh, wow. How dramatic is this? This is really cool. It reminds me of a game I used to play on my computer called... Bejeweled. Do you remember that one? Oh, that is lovely. No glitter on it. It's just sparkly. It just looks sparkly. It's just the clever sort of placement of colour. That is lovely, isn't it? This would be a nice one for your makeup bag. Maybe you keep your jewellery in it or you can keep your jewellery making bits and bobs. That's lovely. £6.99. Um, we're doing this in the next hour, by the way, and look at how clever this design is. Amanda Little is amazing. I've seen like layout um, designs before, but that I love because it's got the sides which stay up. Some of them that open out all the way to a real flat makeup bag, I lose bits, they roll away everywhere. Um, whereas this is perfect. Hobby bag, you could put um, your makeup, your toiletries in it. If you're going away, fingers crossed, we're all able to go away this year. This would be lovely. On the go toy bag. Keep little toys in the bag, maybe like little Lego bits, and bits, of, you know, smaller toys. That's ideal to take on the move, isn't it? And it's got a little handle as well. Uh, it's coming up with Amanda Little in the next hour. We've got some great kits for that. The jewel fabric also comes with a light background. They're all amazing, aren't they? Love the bright colours. You can make little pouches to keep your jewellery in. This one, oh, do you know what? I said that doesn't have metallic sparkle, and I think it does, because this one does have a white metallic, a gold metallic. It's, don't get me wrong, it's not like a big stuck on in your face glitter. It's just a subtle, it's more obvious in the uh, the lighter colour. Can you see? You've got a really lovely shine on the, the metallic gold there. You're such a beautiful singer, Hannah. She's just um, taken two songs and done her own mashup that quickly as well. £6.99. Um, we don't have anything else from this collection in, so we've just picked out some random, but um, I suppose that they, they just get lost in the website sometimes, don't they? So we wanted to bring them to air. Um, and we've got a message. Oh, no, wait. Mega bundle. Sorry. Right. Mega bundle. Uh, then we've got to go Amanda Little on. So, just a quick mention, check out during the break on that whole mega bundle. Remember, you're getting half a metre for free. All of your quilting weight fabrics, all of the ones that we've just been looking through, every single one of them with, of course, £7.50 off today. Doesn't say in your graphics because it wasn't supposed to happen, but we've done it. Hayley's in London, um, so we've done it anyway. <laughs> Seven metres of fabric, all available on the website individually, but if you want that mega bundle, check out now. Okay, do not go anywhere. We're coming back with Amanda Little. We've got that amazing makeup case, lots of lovely fabric bundles. Um, Lewis and Irene Peacock still in the lead at the moment. Have a look over the break and we're back with Amanda right after this. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course, a plico, which is my favorite. 
The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family run customer service team are on call 24 seven full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family run customer service team are on call 24 seven, full of friendly, warm hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey. So you never miss out. about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! 
Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hello, welcome back. What a lovely Sunday morning to be tuned in for. Um, it's been really lovely. Do you know what? I haven't had chance to see Debbie Shaw for so long. And over the last couple of years, obviously, no one's been able to pass anything. Or I've just had a hug from Debbie Shaw. It's been so lovely. Um, so, yeah, Debbie's going to be joining me at 10 o'clock today. We've got two hours. I've already got, by the way, some cow creamers all dotted around the set now, as you notice, Debbie's officially arrived. Um, we've also got two amazing hours with Amanda Little, who, again, I've not had the chance to see for so, so long. I know that John's been hogging her on air the last few times, and we've got the most amazing and practical uh, makeup bag to start with, already selling on pre-order, I'm not surprised. I've seen the lay flat ones, but if I'm honest, when I've used a lay flat one, Everything can sort of roll away and get lost. Whereas this design is genius. So you have got a handle on the side, you open it out like a normal makeup bag, but then it's got these Velcro sides. So it opens into a really good size storage box. Now I'm calling it makeup because this is what Amanda's, um, you know, saying it's a makeup bag, but actually I'm thinking there's little project bags for cross stitch for your EPP, for anything that you're going on the go with. We're also saying, you know, if you've got uh, children that love Lego or uh, little toys that they want to take away with them, little dolls or Polly Pockets and things like that, it's the little Paw Patrol figures that are in now, not Polly Pockets, isn't it? Um, and they're tiny and get lost. So this is perfect, isn't it? Um, also, for, for snacks as well. Kids' snacks. I did all my snacks. 19.99, and that's for the whole bundle. So we're going to start with the one that this is made up from. Uh, the Little Quilt House is Amanda's company, and they put together the most beautiful instruction sets for you. All glossy, full booklet, not just a couple of um, pages. They're really thorough, easy to read instructions with full photograph tutorial as well. So you've got all of your instruction booklet. You also have your fabrics. Now, half a metre of each print. Half a metre for your outer, half a metre for your inner lining as well. And you can match in a lovely zip from your collection. Have a look on the website as well. If I open it out flat again, if you're visiting somebody, if you've got your own toiletries, maybe your own, uh, you know, if you take any medication or contact lenses, things that you do in the morning, you keep them all in there. You don't lose them then for when you go home, do you? They could be out on the side on the, uh, you know, somebody's sink basin or a dresser, whereas actually you're not going to lose anything around a hotel room or, or a friend's house. And let's face it, Hopefully, we're all going to be able to go and stay at loved ones' houses or go away for little holidays. Ideal. I do like the idea of keeping, you know, your morning routine all together in one really handy pouch. And you can fit loads in there. My makeup bag is bulging at the seams at the moment. And I um, reorganised it because I bought some new makeup and I thought... Oh, I, I need to get, I put, I did it all, I did all my makeup and then I put it all in the bag and then this morning I thought I need the, the foundation that's at the bottom of the bag so I'm having to take everything out and then you lose things don't you so this is handy you know somebody who's getting into makeup or obviously it's a, there's a lot of makeup out there isn't there now it, it isn't just having a little lipstick and a mascara there's so much different makeup um, if you're going on holiday to take down to the pool Keep your sunglasses, your book, you keep your phone in there, couldn't you? Your sun cream, Hannah, Hannah, you could take your sun cream in there. 
So we're thinking of lots of different ways for this bag. Um, easy reach makeup bag, half a meter reach fabric and your instructions. Loads of you checking out on this. I'm not surprised, not surprised at all. Now, the firm favorite is the Lewis and Irene. We'll come to that in a moment. We have got the interfacings, we've got the Velcro, um, and we've got um, some zips to talk about as well. But there are zips on the website if you want to have a look. If you do want the amazing pattern, remember you're gonna need half a meter of each of your fabrics, your outer and your lining as well. Whilst people are going through, it's very busy on the phone line, so thank you for your patience. If you can jump on the app or the web, I think that's going to be the quickest and the easiest way to get this. Pat likes her bagel with Philadelphia bacon and a touch of lettuce just for the crunch. Okay, I know exactly why you do that. Uh, can't go too heavy before a Sunday roast and cheesecake. Oh, lovely. I wonder, Kieran's at, <laughs> Kieran's at home today. I wonder if I'll get um, a Sunday roast. Morning, Vicky. Early morning baking for me. Just really fancy some brownies today. You look sitting in the dress, by the way. Thank you, Nikita. I'm getting lots of lovely compliments today on my dress. Thank you. No, don't, Hannah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Have you told Kat? <laughs> morning, team. Today's definitely a snuggle up under the blanket kind of day. Cup of crumpet. I always get messages about food, Amanda. Like, always. It makes me hungry. Hannah, we've actually forgot to have our breakfast this morning. It was so manic, so um, I haven't had any breakfast. I've got some Skittles in my coat pocket. I might have to get those later. Um, okay, so has everybody got through? There's a little bit of a queue. Just so you know, way over half that stock has gone, way over. And if everybody checks out, it's completely sold out in that colorway. So we're oversubscribed. Keep going through for it. Most popular on pre-order was the Lewis and Irene. And I love this with the gorgeous peacocks. Don't let this one pass you by because we won't see this in the demo. It's got a rose gold metallic. It's got a really, really beautiful colour lining as well. Oh no, there's four left. Four left of this bundle. It's a very busy, busy project. Uh, it's such a useful bag. Let me know what you think of using it for. If you're buying this today thinking, I know that is going to be perfect for X, Y and Z. We want to hear from you. Uh, I actually think Hannah's saying this would be perfect for her contact lenses. Contact lenses, a glasses case is going to fit in there. She says, they are expensive and I leave them places. I've got in my bottom drawer in my spare room things that all of my friends have left. So I've got contact lens pot with a contact lens solution from my friend Meg. I've got a belt. I've got all sorts. Because people leave stuff everywhere, don't they? So if you are going to stay over to keep even your phone charger, things like that. You lead your wires if you're going away. Sold out, sold out. The one that Amanda is gonna be demoing with is this one. Um, so this is gonna be really popular. This is really cute, really pretty. It's got the lovely little hexes. Um, I've never even seen this fabric before. It's really, really pretty. It comes with half a meter. Maybe if you're using it as an EPP bag, this is gonna be perfect. What's it called? Chicka Doodle Do. Chicka Doodle Do. I love that name as well. Don't forget, Amanda's instructions are ridiculously thorough. They are so good. And I think that this is going to be once you've got the pattern, don't get me wrong, you can make your hexy pouch uh, for your EPP. But how many times are you going to be reaching for this pattern to be able to make it again and again and again for presents, um, for gifts? Yeah, for gifts. Really perfect. Um, I'm thinking also, if you're a knitter, we should bring this back onto Yarn Lane, really, because if you're doing your crochet, keeping your crochet bits and bobs for on the go, if you're knitting a pair of socks, keep them on the go, yeah. Hannah's getting very creative with all the ideas in my ear. Can you tell? She's, I wish you could hear her every now and then, because she uh, she's ever so excited about this. Uh, we're all very excited. Oh, yes. 19.99. <laughs> Uh, and it comes with a lovely jade um, lining as well. Less than 20 of those. We're going to see this more in the demo. Then finally, before I come over to you, Amanda, we have got... Um, oh, this is lovely. Nice with the pheasants. Very country. I'm thinking weekend, weekends away in the country. Oh, this is really nice. 
Now this is a Lewis and Irene. I think we've had this in cotton canvas before. It's not, it's um, the quilting weight cotton. And, and we've got, teamed it with the lovely red, which is nice for the, uh, it just, just matches in with the pheasant's face, doesn't it? Instructions, don't forget. Grab them whilst you can. What about for a guy? You know, we, we, we're talking about all of our needs, but also if you're making it for uh, men have needs too, you know. So maybe if it turns out, so maybe if you're thinking of um, making for a gent in your life, it's a nice unisex fabric, isn't it? That'd be nice to keep. Um, does your Steph have uh, uh, contact lenses or glasses or shaving bits and bobs? Shaving bits and bobs to take on the move. 1999. Ah, oh, Hannah said I bought him a wash bag for Christmas actually. It was really expensive. She says it was more expensive than this. And this is so useful. I just love, can I remind you, it's not just any makeup bag. It's not just any toiletry bag. It's one of those amazing open out. So it's, they're lovely and deep. They're really nice and sturdy. Everything's not going to roll all over the place. You can see exactly what you've got. And it's just 1999 for all of your fabrics as well. That's so good. Right, <coughs> I'm just gonna quickly mention your interfacings. We'll go through exactly how you need them and where you need them with Amanda. But H640 is one of our faves. It's always worth stocking up on this to have in your stash anyway. Fusible fleece. I'll ask Amanda how much we're gonna need. Um, but one piece I'm presuming should be fine. It's a metre piece, £9.99 and it is fusible as well. It's official Visaline product. So it doesn't look that exciting, does it, Robin? But it's, um, it's one of the most useful interfacings that we bring. She's also used a lightweight interfacing, which we'll see again in the demo where that comes into play. But for anybody who's on the line now who just wants to check out on everything that they'll need, it's only £2.99. And remember, if you have already checked out, don't worry, you've already paid your P&P. It's all covered under the one postage, which is just £3.95, no matter what you're buying or when you're buying today. Um, Obviously, you've got those Velcro fastenings on the side. This is your hook and um, hook and loop. Oh, Velcro is a brand, isn't it? I always forget that. It's like a Hoover. I always still call it a Hoover, and Hoover's a brand, isn't it? Um, oh gosh, okay. My my uh, little nephew would be able to name all of them. To be fair, he's really into vacuums. Really into vacuums. I know my auntie, my auntie, my sister-in-law is actually a bit concerned <laughs> about how into vacuums he is. When I was pregnant, he says, Auntie Vicky, I'm also pregnant. I've got a baby hoover in my belly. <laughs> We're like, oh no. <laughs> £1.99 for your vowel coat. Well, again, come to that. Right. Shall we speak to Amanda? Amanda, it has been so long since I've seen you and it's so lovely to have you back with us. How are you? Good, thank you. Are you? Everybody is loving your project. Really lovely. So when did you design this? Ooh, three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I spoke with Hayley um, probably, well actually it was when I did the show with Stuart a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, and after that show, she says, oh, we need to think of a couple more ideas for, for this show. Yeah. Um, and so we went with a quilt and with a, an item. Brilliant. Yeah. I mean, this has been, yeah, fast-tracked through them for today's yeah. show. And this bag is so useful. As I said, I've seen those drawstring ones that sort of flatten out right down to the, the desk. But I still find that that can be... Things can roll away, yeah. Whereas, hopefully, this one keeps everything contained and you can have a real good rummage. Oh, absolutely. Um, oh, it's, it's yeah. brilliant design. Um, I'm going to pass it over to yeah, you sure. so you can show everybody <coughs> uh, your design. Uh, just so you know, the bundle that um, Amanda is working with is the... Yeah. Yeah, hexy one your main graphic is for which one hannah the hexes the hexes oh brilliant okay. it's about to sell out though uh right yeah so get cracking yeah um, oh yeah because this is a, yeah. this is a project that you might not be able to show it yeah it's not difficult but there are lots of steps so okay. i'll try and whiz through it as fast as i can to get the the important bits um, but if, if I've missed anything, then... Um, it's all in the pattern. It's all in the pattern. And if you're stuck, there's contact details on the back of the pattern. Oh. You can always give me a shout if you need, um, you know, if, if there's something that's not quite clear. So, um, it's, it's a really economical, um, you know, on, on fabric and, and haberdashery. Um, that pack of fleece, I think you possibly get three bags oh, from just wow. one, one pack. Um, so yeah, once you've got the pattern and you've made your first one up, 
you've got more than enough um, oh. bits and pieces to Because you'll to be making this a few times, won't you? I think, so, I think I'm think i probably going to be making this for Mothering Sunday for, yeah. um, for my own mum because, yeah, it, it yeah. would be really useful. Yeah, yeah good idea. Yeah. Okay, so we've got uh, a lining piece. All the measurements are in the pattern. Lining piece, outer fabric uh, for, the, for the main body. Lining pieces for the side panels. Have you interfaced the lining? I have, yes. With the lightweight? Yeah, so uh, let me. Yeah, so with the lining pieces, we just interface fusible um, uh, iron on interfacing and the same on the side panels. With the main fabric panel, it's slightly different, which I'll show you. Is that? Are you on? I don't know. Um, Are you plugged in? Um, you, if you haven't done this already, we Sorry. can. Uh, you did say, I might have to uh, just uh, go down to the basement at some point. So, yeah, we'll plug our iron <laughs> yeah, sorry. in. Sorry. No, you don't. I should have done that earlier. Okay. Um, um, yes, so on the, uh, the main panel, what we've got is a piece of fusible fleece and it's sandwiched in between um, the lightweight interfacing and the outer main fabric. So I'll show you how we do that. Just so you know, the only one that's still available is the red with the pheasants. That's the only one now. Everything is oversubscribed. I think there's four. When I say available, there's four. I'm okay. so sorry if you've missed out. We're definitely going to need to get this back in, Amanda. Yeah. We're definitely going to need to get this back in. Everything, I think, is sold out. <laughs> okay. So this is uh, one of the side panels. And I've just marked, I've just used a friction pen, which won't matter at all because that's as soon as it, the iron hits it, that'll disappear. Mm -hmm. I've just marked a half inch border. And what I'm going to do is just place the fusible side of the H640 down. Ideally, I would have a damp pressing cloth now. Um, a damp one? Why a damp, damp one? one? For just to, to um, a, a bit of a barrier, create a little bit of steam. Um, just with the fuse at the, the fleece, it can be, uh, it can sort of stick to your iron a little bit and just almost go like candy floss, you know, when oh, candy yeah, floss starts yeah. to... So use a pressing cloth yeah. or a damp one, yeah. Lovely. So I'll just hover over that for now, just to warm it up. And what we're going to do, whilst those are in position, is just take the lightweight interfacing, lay it on top, match it up as best you can and I find that the best way to keep it square is to just dab at your corners first and then once they're down just press you just want to seal those triangles in Athena said, with the back bit um, in your craft items, I, so your scissors, your rotary cutter, etc., for taking to sewing classes instead of a bulky sewing box that I normally take. Perfect, Zena. Mm. Yeah, these are yeah, great to put your rotary yeah. cutter and scissors in. Yeah. Um, it's absolutely yeah. perfect for that. Yeah. Oh, I hope you've so, got it. <laughs> I've pressed that down. I'll just turn it over now and just press from the other side just to make sure that we've got no creases or puckers. And that will become this side panel. So those right. triangles there yeah. are in that portion. And they just give it just that little bit of extra strength. Uh -huh. And just give it that sort of nice, That's you know, a sort body. of bit more yeah, yeah. Lu luxurious feeling. So we do that to both side panels. Trisha just said, lovely to see you, Amanda. I've got my oh, kit, fantastic you. design. Can't wait for it to arrive. Lovely, thank you. Um, OK, so yes, uh, fleece sandwiched in between uh, the outer side panel and the interfacing. And what we need to do now is to apply the, um, the Velcro. Hook so, and loop. Hop, yes, sorry, hook and loop. <laughs> <laughs> hook Can and we loop. name any other <laughs> brands? We have to do three. <laughs> Velcro, hook and loop. Oh, Hook and Loop isn't a brand name. This is Core Bond. Ah, oh, there you go. Shall I take How funny. Smaller? Okay, so again, all of your measurements are in um, the pattern. 
that basically, uh, if your pattern's directional, which this one is, mm -hmm. obviously I want the chicks to be facing the right way up. So I'm just going to draw a line. And I'm using the friction pen. Um, test it on your fabric first. I'm, I'm just using it because it's quick and easy today for the demo, but it can sometimes leave a mark. A bit so of a ghost mark. Yeah. yeah. We always say that, yeah. just check and see that you're happy with how it erases. Yeah. The majority yeah. of the time it's absolutely fine, but... Yeah. Um, any marking tool, we'd recommend doing yeah. that anyway. But yeah. I do love the friction pen. Yeah. Just so, so you know, that fabric that Amanda's using, we might be able to do individually. So if you love that fabric, we are going to be able to get more patterns at some I point, aren't we? If they want them, I can print them. Yeah. Oh, we absolutely <laughs> need more. We can't today, but we'll be in contact after the show, obviously. Yeah. So thank you for your messages. Yeah. We'll definitely get more in. Okay. So I've gone half inch down and two inches in from each side. Mm -hmm. Sorry, one inch at the top, I believe getting carried away and then a half inch no it isn't it's one inch and two inches it's all in the pattern oh, so it's, yeah it's um one two three four so we just want just a rough guide to where we're going to place the um well hook and loop tape <laughs> um now I've the the hook and loop tape that they sent me. I think this is three quarters of an inch thick. Yeah. Um, you can use any thick. I, w I wouldn't go any wider than three quarters of an inch, but you could use half inch. So you might just need to tweak your positioning. But if I show you, you probably see it better on that side. You you just want roughly a half inch gap okay. between the triangle between the and and the yeah. And the easiest way I found, if I just turn that back, so if you imagine that these now are both going to be positioned on your bag, you want the loop to be on the same side and the hook to be on the same side. Okay. And to keep those stuck down whilst we sew, I found the best thing to use is are these uh, sew on then? These are sew on. Those are sew on, yeah. You could loop, use yeah. you could use stick on I think they do a brand where it's stick then sew. Mm. Um I don't think it would work with just stick on. At some point it's just gonna pull because the grip's so tight it would just pull away. Yeah. Um but yeah, if you find it easier to work with a sticky product. Right, so you're using a wash away quilters tape. I'm there. using wash away yeah, I'm just gonna run a, a line just to keep it. Um, secure. You could um, pin it. Sometimes you, you find it's tricky to get a pin to go through the hook side. It can right. just be a bit uh, stiff. But um, yeah, we've got wash away quilters tape. Um, although it's quilters tape, it's really good for bag makers as well, isn't it? It's it is, double yeah. sided. It's and great I'll, for your zip. I'll say I'll use it a bit later for um, for popping the zip in as well. So yeah, just. And sometimes as well, what I do, because sometimes it's not that sticky, I'll just whiz across it, just to get it to bond that little bit better. There that's is on the website worked. another one that's called Quilters Tape. It's not as expensive, but that one's not double-sided. It's also um, made by So Easy. Don't get confused, the wash away one is is because it's double sided the other one is thin like masking tape basically that's the one that you want but you could use your sew line glue pen as well couldn't you so, yeah you could use sew line glue pen or you could even use um you know like a, a basting glue the, yeah. the white glues with yeah. the pointy end um so we're just going to position that I'll just do the one, and you can always then just hold it up to the light. I don't know if I'll see in here, and that's not particularly sticky. Oh, I'm so pleased. Loads of people loving this design. Okay. I'm so sorry if anybody's missed out. We definitely needed more. I know you're back over the birthday, aren't you? So maybe we'll I am, up. yes. Let's see if we can get some um, in. Right, so I've got a quarter of an inch foot there, which perhaps isn't the best. 
It comes within a quarter of an inch foot, but there's loads of feet in there, Amanda. This is the 680 plus, which has just come back yeah. in stock. I've uh, not, I've five not. split payments and free warranty. What foot do you need on? If there was a blind hem foot. There um, is a blind hem foot. We can find you a blind hem foot if you'd like that. Sorry. Why would you use a blind hem foot? Just a blind hem where... foot um, or uh, an edge stitch foot. You can just um, nudge your needle over slightly and you've got, I mean, it's very similar to this uh, one. Um, you've just got that little sort of guard, that barrier, yeah. that you can run against the edge of the Velcro ah. so that it stays nice and neat. What um, about a zipper foot? Could you do that with zipper foot? You could do it with a zipper foot, yeah. yeah. Um, I suppose I'll, I'll just automatically reach for my blind hem. So thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Found it. Thank you, Hannah. Um, the machine, just so you know, if you've got any questions about it, let us know. We are going to be talking about it, more about it at 12 o'clock hour. But lots of people are receiving their 680 pluses now, which is really exciting. You get a free five-year warranty. Normally, you'd have to pay extra for that. Five-year warranty through Elna. It still is covered under your same postage and packaging. All of the feet, including a blind hem foot, come as standard as well. Right, back to you, sorry. Okay. No, you're OK. So I'm just, I've just put my needle, I'm hoping this works, I'm not that familiar with this machine. I've just pressed that button, <laughs> which has moved the needle over to the left. Oh, brilliant. So I've just got the guard up against the edge of the Velcro uh, and the needle should just fall on, there's sort of like a little flat edge around the Velcro. Uh, and ideally we want to be sewing in that flat edge rather than on the hooks and the loops. Right. Um, I'm going to reduce my stitch length down to two. A nice short stitch mm -hmm. should hopefully, with it being hook and loop, stop us getting any skip mm -hmm. stitches or the, the thread getting caught. Um, and it'll be nice and short to manoeuvre around those pointy ends. Perfect. I don't bother back stitching at the beginning because I'm going to go over it when I come back round and then I'll back stitch at the very end. But it's entirely up to you. So you're not sewing over, you're just sewing up against that. I'm actually sewing just literally. Yeah. If I, where have I put my pen? Oh, there we go. So I'm aiming to sew an eighth of an inch, right. something like that. Perfect, thank you. Uh, and then if you've got the needle down function on your sewing machine, that is really useful. pivot when you get to those corners and with the length of two on the sewing machine hopefully it should land nicely you know you shouldn't sort of over uh, shoot the end or yeah just slow yourself down as you yeah, reach it. yeah. And then backstitch, just go over where you started and then just backstitch. And that should be enough then to secure it. Okay. So that's the Velcro attached. And you're going to do that to both, okay. both sides. So once you've got that, once you've got your Velcro on, you're going then to sandwich uh, a lining piece, an interface lining piece, mm -hmm. with the... Um, fleece into uh, interfaced and velcroed outer panel. Are what is it that you've marked there? That's uh, So what we're going to do now is just sew a quarter of an inch all the way around the perimeter. Ah, but I want to leave a turning gap. gap, yeah. And again, I've just used the friction pen. No matter what the sort of size project, if you... And, and no matter how much you think about it, we've all done it where you just carry on sewing round, don't you? And if you forget, don't put yeah. something, even if you know, right, I've got to leave yeah. a gap in this, you just forget, yeah. even if it's on a small section. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to leave yourself a big enough gap that you're not struggling. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could leave a bigger gap. Um, you know, you, you could leave a... As long as you've sort of got the end stitched maybe an inch, if a bigger gap is easier for you to uh, work with. So we're now just going to pop a quarter inch foot back on and I'll put it, I think it's 06, isn't it? 
What's 06? 06, I believe, is the quarter of an inch piecing oh, nice. yeah. position on this yeah. one. So, fingers crossed, oh. <laughs> we end up with a quarter of an inch. So, I'm just going to sew around that. Again, with a straight stitch, um, I'm going to up it back now to about 2.4. Yeah, on your quarter of an inch, it tends to um, it goes really short to one point yeah. eight, doesn't it? Yeah. Is its default setting? Yeah, that would be a nice length if you were doing foundation paper piecing, mm -hmm. but it's perhaps a little bit short um, for standard piecing. Um, if there's the potential that you've got to unpick at some point, yeah. <laughs> if absolutely. I was really confident, yeah. I would just go for it. But um, yeah, sometimes on a a one point eight. Um, It'll come unstuck. Now I will back stitch at this point, and we're just going to go to the end, but you know, sort of stay short of a quarter of an inch and pivot. Uh, just do one more. Anyone who's just tuning in, I'm so sorry. They have all sold out, patterns, kits, all gone. Um, but we are definitely going to be talking okay, to Amanda sure. after the show, trying to get some more in the next time she's here. I just think they're so useful, aren't they? Um, as, you know, there's nothing else to um, for me to show. I might have my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> So I've just come to that mark now and back stitched, and this this is completely optional. You don't need to do it if you don't want to. But um, when we've turned it, we're going to tuck those open ends in, and just to get a nice crisp finish, mm -hmm. I'm going to up my length, stitch length to, or it'll go ah, to a four. Yeah. Stitch across it. I can press it, get the crisp edge that I want, and then just whiz out the uh, those basting stitches. That's a really good tip. I do like that because there's, no matter how much I try and then fold it over, and it's all you it's can never, tell where yeah. that gap is. Yeah. Whereas doing that stitch yeah. line, hopefully, it'll make it seamless. Yeah. I'm sorry, Helen. Oh gosh, we keep getting messages. We haven't got any more kits to show you. It's all gone. The instructions are gone as well. Everything's gone. <laughs> I promise we'll ask Amanda. <laughs> so uh, to get a, a nice crisp uh, corner, we're going to clip as close as we can to that stitching but obviously not into it and I also like to just take a little bit more off just because they can get a little bit bulky but if you use um, a, a really lightweight interfacing and just stick with the quilt as white cotton mm -hmm. um, that should help I don't think perhaps it would be suitable for a canvas fabric um, or you can maybe try a canvas fabric, but don't use the interfacing on the lining pieces. Right, okay. And that um, that might work, but I, I've not tried that um, myself. Hi, Susan. Susan's but hi to you both. Order the purple kit this morning. Um, oh, it could be a dancing shoe bag. Uh, oh. For Christmas, could be made in Christmas fabric for gift bags and beach bags. Absolutely, we love the beach bag idea. We did think that for your sun cream, your sunglasses, you could put your mobile in there and it keeps all sand free. That's perfect, isn't it? Lots of people, I do like the idea of doing it in uh, Christmas fabrics as well then. That'd be a really nice mm, gift bag yeah. for Christmas. I've got a feeling we're going to see more of this pattern. Yeah. I think we could size it up as well, perhaps for another variation if, um, you know, sort of a slightly bigger bag that would fit in perhaps knitting needles or uh, mm -hmm. could you make it longer you can't you would have to um, alter the side panels but yeah you, you could make it longer you could make it deeper mm -hmm. um, so perhaps that's something that I can work on for future projects so I've just undone that basting um, stitch and we're now just going to turn this out and I think that I've got a turning tool in my bag. You've got a pokey tool? I think, so, yes. 
the hexi fabric that Amanda's working with, which is just the cutest. What about the Easter egg hunts? Yes. Can you have them oh, as yeah. little Easter um, Easter prezzes? Yeah. We've got it by the half metre. It's a chickled, a chickadoodle do. It's absolutely adorable. It's seven pound forty nine half metre. Um, it does look like it's just been EPP, doesn't it? I love it. Mm. You could even quilt it, I suppose, if you'd got yeah. time um, and, and wanted to. You could quilt it just to give it even more texture. At what point would you quilt it? Would you do all of this? I would, would you quilt it, I think, um, at, at this point. Okay, um, so once, once you've got once your edges Once I'd fused sporty. the fleece and the, the interfacing, I would, I would quilt it then. But just be aware, perhaps, that it's going to shrink up the piece of fabric, mm -hmm. so you might not end up with the, the size that you need. Um, so uh, lightly quilted, I think, is yeah. you know sort of the best way to go about it. So obviously, you would spend a lot more time than uh, than I am trying to get these corners. What's this Pauline said, Hannah? Got up too late and missed. Oh, please bring back the pattern. I love the purple kit. I love Amanda's patterns and kits. I'm sorry. I know it's Sunday morning and a lot of people, you know, having a lion, but a lot of people were there eager to get this as well. So well done everyone who got it. And don't worry, Amanda's back over the birthday weekend. So if we can get more for them, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Sorry to set your challenges. That it's not a longer way, but hopefully we might be able to get more. Yeah. If you do love Amanda, by the way, she's back 11 with the, uh, the quilt, her quilt. pattern um, and the brand new Lynette Anderson collection that's behind her, which is already very popular as well. Yeah. OK, so press that down and then take out those stitches. You can pop a pin in there if you want, but um, I think the edge is fairly stable and I'm going now to move I'm keeping the quarter inch piece actually that might be too you're keep keeping your quarter inch foot, foot on. on but I just want to move the needle across uh, okay so I've put my stitch length up to three that's it I'm just moving the needle across now. I want to, I'm aiming for a one eighth of an inch top stitch. So I think I'm just going to keep going until it won't let me go any further. It's so cool. I, I didn't know apologize. how, you know, whenever anyone <laughs> said to me, oh, I'll just move the needle across. I didn't realise it was as simple as changing the width of your stitch. Okay. Obviously, during a straight stitch, it's not changing a width. The width is normally on your zigzags. Yeah. But if you change the width, it moves the needle over, it? does, it? yeah. I, I don't um, sew on a, an Elna uh, at home. So it's, it's always a bit nerve-wracking. <laughs> oh, but it seems to be I'm, very user-friendly, doesn't say, it? Yeah, you know, I'm, well, I don't think I'm having any problems. <laughs> yeah, no, you're doing very well. Um, yeah. So you've got so up to the nine. I've, yeah, I've moved the needle across to the nine and I'm using the quarter-inch piecing foot. Uh, and then I've put my stitch length up to three. Um, actually, perhaps I'll put it up to 3.5. Is it I think top a long uh, top stitch is, is nicer. And obviously you would use a matching thread. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm, I'm just sticking with the the plain colour. I suppose if you wanted to do a cord, uh, a contrasting thread, top yeah, stitching would yeah, look nice. Yeah. Or a, a fancy thread, you know, if you wanted to use a thicker thread, a decorative thread. But we're just going to top stitch across just to seal that open end. So you would repeat that with the other side panel. So you've got two that mm -hmm. look um, identical apart from, obviously you've got a uh, loop uh, on opposites and hook on opposites. Okay. So that you get the same sort of closing mechanism when the bag's together. So next thing to do is we want to turn over a half inch um, on the outer panel and the lining panel and because you've got your fleece on there that should be relatively easy just use the fleece as a guide 
to turn that uh, seam allowance in. And I like to do the sides first. And the top and bottom last. It just gives you a neater finish then when you come to put your zip in. You're having a full facial there as well, aren't you? I'll, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> full steam ahead. That combined with hormones, I think I'm uh, <laughs> oh, no. cooking on gas. <laughs> It's um, usually it's the small line, is or it was the small line last time, but oh, I think that's got carpet this, stuck to it, Amanda. Oh, the right. little one, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> needs a clean. Yeah. I don't think we could get any of those mini irons at the moment. They're really, they're out of stock. It's tricky, isn't it? Still to, to get some things. It's. Uh... I've got this iron at home though. I love this one. The, yeah. I, I didn't realise how useful it was to have a cordless iron. Oh, so it's it is good actually. It's. Uh... I'm a left-hander and I didn't realise how awkward it was to yeah. have a, a, a cord yeah, until someone said to me yeah. that, yeah, they get in the way. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, okay. they do. So uh, half inch all the way round and then the same again on the lining piece. On this one, I think I probably will just draw, even though they're going to disappear, I'm just going to draw a, a half inch just to get it exact because we want it, it they're going to be sandwiched together so they want to be the same size ideally the little ruler that amanda's using is creative grids it's a good size actually it's a it's useful size hands, isn't yeah. it it's small enough to um not get in the you know so sometimes if you've got a huge mm. one it can be a bit Tricky to manoeuvre on a small space. Uh, and it's only fourteen ninety nine. Generally, with um, obviously the quality quilting rulers like this, um, they can be they can be quite considered. They can be quite uh, expensive. So it's good to try them out if you've never used Creative Grid before. This is a really useful um, size. It's something I need to. Um, I've got a really old, uh, long. I think it's probably about twenty four inches ruler, and it's an Omni Grid. Mm. Um, you know, it's mm -hmm. years and years old, and it, it's fine. But there's no grippy, you know, on, on the creative grids, mm -hmm. you've got those grippy bits. Yeah, it makes um, such a difference. And sometimes it? it can just shoot off um, and, and you cut. Actually, I've not, still not done that. Anyway, we'll just go with. Um, so, yeah, that's something I need to do is replace my ruler. I've got lots of other creative grids, you know, the fancy shapes and things and yeah. the squares, but my, yeah. my straight one is still my old original one. And half of the numbers have rubbed off it as well. Oh, now, no. so it's <laughs> a bit of a guessing game sometimes. Have you been busy doing lots of quilting? Because I know last time you were here and you were giving uh, vouchers in yes. the patterns. Um, you said you've been really I'll busy. Say it's just been daft. Um, <laughs> so I do apologise. I've, I've got... Um, I don't know, I've probably got about 30 quilts um, oh. on my rail waiting to go through. Oh um, my word. So, uh, yeah, I do apologise. I'm not as fast, perhaps, as I would like to be. Oh, just, amazing. But, uh, For anyone who doesn't know, Amanda um, has a long-arm quilting business and, yeah, really, really busy. Anybody who is purchasing the, the quilt bundle from us and is using maybe Amanda for a long arming the quilt. She does offer brand new customers 10% off. Um, so anybody who's never been to Amanda for a long arm quilting before gets 10% off, which is, is brilliant. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she's very, very busy at the moment. Yes. So by the time you've pieced it and you're ready to go, maybe Amanda will be ready for you. Okay, so you would obviously have, have taken more time and, and pressed that much better than I have. But what we're going to do now is, or in the end, these will be sewn together. But we need now to just sew, create these channels, these top stitch channels, just to get the neat fold. So we'll just mark on the top piece. And we're going to mark from that folded top edge four inches down and then we're going to go four and a quarter 
Do you do much bag making, Amanda? I've always had um, you done as quilter. I say, no, not, not really. Yeah, always um, brilliant. I've made bags for myself in the yeah. past. I mean, I've done, you know, sort of this. Yeah, just oh, bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. um, but no, as, as a rule. so clever. Um, it's, I, I got a similar makeup bag myself and just thought I could do that yeah. better. Yeah. Um, but I think that's how a lot of, you know, creative people sort of, you know, they see things and think, do you know what, actually, yeah, uh, yeah I can make it better. Yeah. But no, um, usually for myself now, it's more dressmaking. Oh, wow. Um, but uh, obviously for my job, it, it's the quilting. Uh, and in the past, I was all for, you know, sort of the patchworking, the mm -hmm. piecing part of it, which is why I ended up getting the long arm, because I was creating so many quilt tops and then sending them out to be long armed. Um, and, and, you know, they were done perfectly fine, but it, it was just quite expensive. Yeah. Um, so I was lucky enough to, to get a long arm machine. Um, and then after taking the quilts that I'd done to show and tells at quilting groups and people saying, oh, who quilted it for you? Um, and, you know, sort of stand there saying, oh, I did it myself. Um, it was just through word of mouth. Brilliant. Uh, and then obviously, you know, sort of when sewing quarter finished, it was now or never kind of thing. I thought, yeah. well, I'll give it a go. If yeah. it doesn't work, I'll, uh, I'll look for a job. But touch wood, it seems it's to be going really okay. Gosh, oh, and I'm so pleased that we've, you know, done a full sort of 360 and oh, having yes. you here now. So, it's yeah, crazy, yeah. isn't it? To say that we're almost two years old yeah. is actually quite scary how yeah. time has just gone. I know and it's all been that strange two years. It's been in yeah. lockdown, really, yeah. isn't it? As, as soon as we finished. That's it? it what was it March, I think, wasn't yeah. it? And then we. We were all stuck indoors. Just so you know, the fabric that um, Amanda's using there is available. If you do want to make more, maybe, if you've got more of the pattern, you want to make more, then um, you can still get this. So am I going to need half a metre then of, for the outer and half a metre for the lining? Um, I've, I've put half a metre just purely because if you pick a directional fabric, you'll need more than a fat quarter. Yeah. But if you were using a, a plain fabric or a fabric that's not really got a directional print, you could probably get by with a fat quarter. Oh, wow. So you should be able to get two um, Fantastic. bags from uh, the... Non-directional ones. Yeah. Great. What are you doing at the moment, Amanda? Sorry. You oh, pinning? sorry. I'm just pinning. So I've marked my uh, four inches, four and a quarter. Uh, and another four and a quarter, and now I'm just pinning the uh, outer to the lining, and I'm going to top stitch through all layers along those lines that I've marked. And that's going to give us the, um, you know, going to make it want to fold in that direction. This is really clever, isn't it? I've never uh, seen a bag made like this. We trust the process. <laughs> uh, let me pop that back in the middle. So I'm keeping the stitch length at 3.5, she says. There we go. Um, actually, have we got a, an ordinary foot? Yeah, did you quarter of an inch guide oh, so the on the fabric? The, yeah, the, um, the guide is going to make the fabric move. There we go. So what I love about the 680 plus as well is that it's they can uh, just interchange yeah, so quickly yeah. and easily. Yeah. I'm just going to back stitch at each end. So you're going through quite a few layers here, aren't you? Because you've got your wadding in between you, 80 yeah, 40, yeah. and you know, and it's bandaging fine without walking it's, foot. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. And obviously you would take a load more time than I am and, and just do it uh, neater. Just conscious of, I could do with showing you sort of how to get the zip in.
and the way I'm going to show you how to put the zip in. Um, there are a couple of different ways really that you could pop your zip in. Um, I just chose this way because it was less sewing. Um, it's probably more of a, a technique that you would use, um, you know, in, in industry on a factory floor. Oh, okay. um, it's just literally one seam and the zip is in. Oh, wow. Whereas um, perhaps uh, an easier way for a beginner. I'll just explain that. Um, so channels are in and we're now going to pop that zip in there. Okay. But if, if you feel a little bit, um, you know, sort of uh, overwhelmed by inserting a zip, mm -hmm. before you'd put those uh, channels in, you could have, um, if the fabric was the other way around, you could have just inserted that zip in between the two, mm -hmm. sewn it down, turned it out and you would do that top and bottom and then top stitch but we're just going to do the top stitch okay. I'm, you know sort of uh, oh, that makes that it look quicker. so again um, the wonder type the double sided type is oh useful friend, to hold it? it in place isn't yeah. it is there any particular zip that you would recommend using this is a 4.5 this is a ykk 4.5 i think they are um, you know pushed as being a, a bag or a purse zip mm -hmm. Um, they're just the the teeth are four point five mil, and you just get a little bit more tape than perhaps you would on a, a standard dressmaking uh, zip. So they are nice. I, I I do like them for bags. So what we're going to do now, we've got to, uh, th this stop here. Mm -hmm. So uh, can I shall I move this out of the way? Is it better on the green? Thank you. Just so you know, we didn't include any zips because it's such a design feature. It's nice to be able to pick out maybe one that you want the same colour. The zips on the website, but also you might have a stash of zips. Yeah. So we've got uh, the fabric wrong sides facing up, the zip wrong sides facing up. And we're just going to turn. A 45 degree angle there. Um, let me pop. I'll pop a pin in. This is probably where sometimes the, the wonder type doesn't hold it down so well, it'll bounce back. So if you pop a little stitch in, just to keep that turned back. And all that I'm doing, where the little plastic stop is, I've just used that as my marker and I've just turned it 45 degrees back on itself there. Right. Um, she says, I'm gone, turned it the wrong way. There we go. So we want that at 45 degrees. So if you line up the zip vertically there, and you want about a quarter of an inch showing on the outside. Again, wonder tape would be better here because uh, it, it just holds it still, so it's having to mess about with pins. Yeah, there's your wash away quilters tape. It's six pounds 99 and this is the double-sided sticky. It's not like double-sided sticky tape though, that you get maybe, you know, for different crafts. It's actually, especially, dried for sewers and for fabrics. It is really good as well. It won't gum up your needle. You That's know, you it. You sew through it and... Um, this is the difference. Yeah. I must say, I have tried, you know, the normal double-sided sticky tape. It don't work. Yeah. Don't try it. <laughs> I know, yeah, we've all done it, haven't we? Kat, um, Hannah's just said, I tried a print stick instead of a sew line, you know, the glue pen. Yeah. They're very different. They're very different. Yeah. Okay, so we've got that pin down and you just want it to, to show about a quarter of an inch at the top. At this point, if I was doing this at home with more time, I would have just used the wonder type to stick that down. But we're now just going to sandwich that. Yeah, sorry, we've only got about five minutes yeah, left. I'll just So 
So all you're going to do now is just take that to the sewing machine, um, sew from the front and just sew a quarter of an inch top stitch mm -hmm. and then you're going to repeat that with the other side, the other zip. Yeah. When you've got uh, that done, all we need to do then is to make the little um, zip sleeve. Okay. So in the instructions I've just put uh, wrong sides together and sew a quarter of an inch, press it the other way and then sew a three eighths of an inch so you've got a French seam which then it shouldn't get caught up oh, lovely. in your zip, it yeah. just keeps it nice and neat. You would then tuck the end of your zip into the channel that you've created and then pop that into so it's sort of butting up against one of those seams mm -hmm. um, and then you can baste down either side just with a long stitch to keep it nice and secure mm -hmm. and you're then going to come back I'll do that on this side you're going to sew centre that side panel up and you're going to sew a one eighth seam uh, stopping short of one eighth at, at each end and then you're going to create sort of a Y seam then and bring the remaining side edges up and sew those at one eighth so they'll be in ah, like, like that yeah. yeah so yeah just one eighth of an inch but don't go right to the edge mm -hmm. and then just open that out bring this side up one eighth of an inch one eighth of an inch and that then will give you that finish there right oh it's brilliant isn't yeah. it it is so clever yeah. i do apologize i knew it was going to be a long-winded project oh, no. and I, knew that I wouldn't be able to get it all we could only show, a, show yeah. key stages. We didn't mean to see the whole thing. And hopefully we're going to get you back to do more of this project anyway, because we're we going to need more. The next, yeah, 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 good idea. Yeah. Um, it's good to see those key stages, though, because, um, yeah, well, everything's all in the pattern, though. Don't yeah, worry. So, yeah, it's all in the pattern. You've got diagrams, photos. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. Thank, you. Thank you. you. Don't go anywhere, because um, Amanda's going to be back at 11 o'clock. The quilt behind you is stunning, Amanda. It is nice, isn't it? It's really so, lovely. Yeah, very... Uh, it's the primitive look, isn't it, of the Lynette Anderson fabrics? Oh, yeah. I love that new collection. It's gorgeous. Already going. And in fact, there's going to be a treat. So stay tuned. Um, we've also got Debbie Shaw here. I can't believe it. It's, it's a crazy Sunday, isn't it? And look, I mean, Debbie Shaw collects cow creamers. So she's done an exclusive panel with Sewing Street. Um, this is perfect for spring, isn't it? I love it for kitchen makes. Um, well, there's loads that you could make with them. Uh, obviously, when you get your sun cream on in the spring, in the kitchen with your cow creamers. So stay tuned. Debbie Shaw's going to be joining me in just a couple of minutes. Get ahead on pre-order for the quilt kit. The Lynette Anderson is flying out. It's brand new Lynette Anderson fabric coming up at 11 o'clock as well. So stay with us. Debbie Shaw going to be joining me right after this. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hi everyone, my name is Jules Mayouf and I'm really excited to be a guest designer on Sewing Street. It's combining two of my favourite things which are sewing and designing. Uh, I live in London at the moment but I'm originally from Staffordshire uh, so I think I've got a combination of two really great things. So London's really diverse and 
um, lots of different cultural impacts and then Staffordshire is very rural so there's a lot of country influence in what I do. My grandma first taught me to sew when I was in my early teens. She was a dressmaker and she was always sewing and taking in orders from different people um, and I think I got my initial love of sewing from her. Um, I started making my clothes uh, because I couldn't find anything that was fashionable so I created my own fashion a um, bit dubious at times probably I remember once I um, bought some really lovely as I thought heavy brocade material I created a pencil skirt thought that was fabulous it turned out to be curtaining uh, and I got quite a lot of stick from that. But uh, you know, in my defense, I was a new romantic and I, I think I was just fashion forward. Um, I have done a lot of um, teaching and coaching and mentoring uh, in sewing in my career. Um, and I would think that probably the best tip that I can give to people, because um, all age groups have various challenges but the best tip is to be kind and good to yourself and don't worry about if you make mistakes because you've always got your seam ripper to hand. I'm really looking forward to my shows with Sewing Street and helping you have some hints and tips and knowledge so I look forward to seeing you soon. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Welcome back. Uh, <laughs> um, we've got a lovely Sunday lineup for you today. Debbie Shaw is here. I haven't seen you, Debbie, for so long. It's been months, hasn't it? It has. How we are did, you? We did the first show together, didn't we? We did. Nearly two years ago. I can't believe that's two years. Can you? Where's the time gone? Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm really good, thank you. Good, good, yes. good. Do you know what? I think this is a perfect time to bring these cow cream uh, uh, panels, especially for spring. This yes. is lovely to just add uh, some nice colour into your kitchen without having to do, you know, a full new kitchen re revamp really makes such a difference doesn't it now I know you collect cow creamers a lot of you I probably do. already know this but where <laughs> did this start it, I just started here <laughs> <laughs> this is a I mean it's very worn and a little bit broken and stuck together with Evo stick um, but this was my mum's and she inherited it from her grandma so it's pretty old now my mum would oh. have been a hundred last week oh my god so it's, it's a pretty yeah. old little creamer and I just loved it when I was little but I wasn't allowed to play with it I wasn't really allowed to touch it and um, I inherited it and then once you've got one you see another one in an antique shop so well, I'll buy that and then before you know it everyone's buying them for birthday Christmas That's and it. It, eventually you have about 30 of them if not more than that so all of a sudden you are a collector I'm a cow collector creamers. of cow creamers of all kinds of different sizes and colors and everything but that was the original one and I, I just I love cows anyway yeah I th they're so pretty um, but yes I've ended up with quite a collection that I have hanging over my kitchen window um, just just with hooks like a pelmet of cows oh brilliant <laughs> we've got some of them all dotted around the set you'll see them um, so this is an exclusive panel to sewing street isn't yep. it 
isn't it, that you've put together. We've got beautiful colours as well. The ones that I've got in front of me, these pinks are absolutely beautiful. Um, so I can show you the, uh, the, the panels because they are really generous panels. There is a lot on here, Debbie. They're huge. Um, and the, the, the prints are absolutely beautiful as well. I know, oh gosh, I can't even get them all over the desk. Here we go. <laughs> so you have got labelled as well, Debbie Shaw labels, pot holders, you can make oven gloves. There's even uh, a cow creamer print here that you could so use for applique. You could, you could put that onto an apron, yeah. maybe to match as well. Um, and they, the designs, if I show you, can I come over? Absolutely. If I you can over, now, you can. You can, can't we? You can do that. That is um, said cow that you see on, on the actual panel down there. Oh, brilliant. And Tom designed these. Oh. And um, he actually took the print from a photograph that we took and made the bias binding out of that as well. Fantastic. But there, there he is, look. Look You're looking that. in the mirror. That is brilliant, <laughs> isn't it? And they're printed on the bias as well. They are on the bias, yes, because you're going to be going around curves with them, so it's important that they are cut on the bias. Oh, brilliant. Thank no, thank you. Um, so uh, you can see that print echoed on the front of the tea cosy. You can see it again for the oven gloves. Uh, and they're all labelled perfectly, aren't they? So you can make all three projects. It, they're really simple to make. You know, I, love, I love fabric panels. They are quite a new thing. Well, they're only a few years old. Because all you have to do is cut them out and sew them together. Yeah. And, you, you know, you've got placement of print on there, which you wouldn't have if you were making these from fabric. Uh, these are all lined fancy as well, aren't oh, they? Oh, yes. So, and I, right, I've just got a thought. You yes. could actually use a cream or something else so you could make double couldn't you actually you could you would need um a plane to match and then you've right. got the inside of the oven mitt that you could use as the outside oh, that's put a plain black on it uh, back yeah. on it you'll need some extra bias binding you've, okay. you've got more than enough for what you have here but not enough to make two sets um, what i thought i'd do as well is make the tea co I'm going to do the tea cozy in a bit. Um, make it reversible. Why I didn't think of that before, I don't know. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Good idea. Uh, and they're lovely. So you can make the lovely oven gloves. And how gorgeous are those with the gingham print on the inside? Uh, plus, you're getting your pot holder. And you've got your tea cozy, double sided. And, and all beautifully lined look with this gorgeous matching fabric. You also get, now normally with panels, like you said, you tend to just, uh, you know, wing it and go along with it. But you've also put a set of instructions in yes. there for everybody as well. And as many photos as I, I'm married to my photographer, <laughs> so we, we, can, we can have a lot of photos. Um, and, and things like this, whether it's, you know, a book I'm writing or any kind of instructions, they're photographed as I make them. Right. Um, so if I feel we need an extra instruction or something, we can just put more, more pictures you in there. You boss them around, can't you? you can oh, we oh, loves it. <laughs> So no more. So that's the pink. Um, so you've got all of your steps all photographed perfectly there. And you know that they're going to be beautiful from Debbie, obviously. Um, oh, we've got a lovely message come in. Good morning, good morning. So lovely to see Debbie. She's looking great. What a dynamic duo we make. Oh, thank you very Linda. much. <laughs> uh, it's so lovely to see you in the studio, Deb. So we've also, uh, morning, lovely to see you, Debbie. Love the cow cream and material. Oh, they're really lovely quality fabrics as well, aren't they, the panels? They're premium. Yeah, premium panels. These I wouldn't, I wouldn't have anything less for you. Absolutely. Trish has got some advice for Debbie. Lovely to see Debbie. There is a huge. Oh, actually, not advice. Just a bit of a tip. There is um, a huge exhibition of cow creamers in Stoke on Trent Museum. <gasps> really? Have you been there? No. I didn't oh, know. Gosh. The, thank you. I should be there. You need to go. You need to go. <laughs> um, there's a lot of other people like you that like to collect cloud, cloud creamers. Yeah, that's it. Um, so we also have lots of people checking out on the pink. You have demo you've also made them up in the blue for us and they look really lovely. I must say the blue reminds me, you know, when you see the beautiful like Spode or is it Wedgwood pottery? Yes, that China pottery, yeah. isn't it? Yes, it does remind me of that. They're, it's really pretty colours. And like you said, they're nice, nice and springy. Um, they'd make a nice Mother's Day gift, actually, wouldn't they? Perfect. Mm. Absolutely perfect. When's Mother's Day? Is it the last weekend of March, I think? Is it the last week? Mothering Sunday, I think it's the 20th or the... It's, I know it's towards the end of March. Is it your first Mother's Day? It is. Oh! It is. I don't want... I'm not actually even going to say anything to Kieran because I wonder <laughs> whether he'll know, notice and remember. So it is. Oh. <laughs> 
um, $28.99, you get the full huge panel. It's massive, isn't it? Three projects, really fresh, beautiful colours. Um, I'm imagining like someone who's got a, a country kitchen, like a wooden dresser in the kitchen. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Or if you have, when you're saying dresser, like a pine dresser, mm. um, maybe you collect um, china and that would fit in really well with, you know, absolutely. how you put your plates on the shelf to show them yes, off. Yes, absolutely. Not really nice, isn't it? Uh, twenty eight ninety nine and uh, all the little extras that you've got. Ooh, Debbie Shaw, ooh, hand mail with love. Had go, a on, go on. Um, if you if you make up two sets, and we were saying you add an extra little bit of fabric, add some red, mm -hmm. and you've got your jubilee set. Oh yes, <laughs> perfect. Your jubilee, jubilee cow, cow cream, cream set. set. <laughs> there you go. You could have done another panel for that one. I could but there you go. That. There's the one for free. Twenty eight ninety nine. We're giving away all these free Debbie Shore ideas as well. <laughs> um, and of course, it each come with your instruction set. Don't forget. We've also got a beautiful ochre colourway. I love the mustard tones. Um, they're all premium quality uh, panels. And every single one is labelled with space in between for cutting. Do I need yes. to add seam allowance these or do I cut no, you on don't. the line? Cut straight around the edge of them. You've included it. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, so this one is your ochre. There it is. Ah. Now this is quite contemporary, isn't it? I, do you know, I love the colours of the. I've always loved mustard colours. So I don't think they ever go out of date, but you're right. I think that is very contemporary. I Mo can imagine it in kitchen. a modern kitchen. Yeah, yeah. yeah I love it. Uh, so, this one, again, your premium cotton. Premium cotton. And what sort of. Um, we'll go through all of the different bits and bobs you're going to need, but obviously. Do you use wadding? Do you use your H640? If you can use a thermal Thermalan? wadding, yeah. would be good. I wouldn't use H640 on the oven gloves because it's um, polyester. Oh, it might yeah. not do too well with the heat. Um, a wool wadding would be okay, but a, th a thermal wadding is kind of what this is made for. Yeah. Um, and you may need a couple of layers if you're going to be taking hot things out of the oven as well. Brilliant. We've got thermal in the show we can bring to you. Um, Victoria said, hi team. You're all so glad today. Well, Debbie Shaw was here, so I thought I'd put on a dress and my, and my boots You've today. got heels on. I've got <laughs> heels on. Debbie, you'd all only see me in slippers. Uh, kids look stunning. Oh, we did get the rest of it. Sorry, Hannah, abruptly taking the message off. She got really into me doing my, my big high kick. <laughs> Kits look stunning. Oh, as a cake maker, I love having unique items in the kitchen. Oh. Um, they go making a fudge cake as we speak. <laughs> Thank you, Victoria. Thank you. Oh. Twenty eight ninety nine. It is good to, if you're uh, you know you don't need to collect cow cream. It's like Debbie to enjoy this. It's going to look great in your kitchen, isn't it? Twenty eight ninety nine. Uh, that's for your mustard or ochre colour. We've got one other colourway today, which is the greens. I love the greens as well. I can't make up my mind which is my favourites today. These will look nice I with your daffodils. I like the blue. What's that? You love the I blue. Like the bl but I like the mustard. But They're the pink was my favourite when we first launched it. Uh, but then again, the green stuff. <laughs> So You're as bad as me. This is Daisy, Dorothy, and Penelope. Are they all named as well? <laughs> no, Tom actually named oh, them. Oh, <laughs> brilliant! Oh yes, a Mother Day gift um, for myself. Already have the pinks. So having the blue oh, as the lovely. kitchen's being redeco uh, redecorated. Thank you, Debbie. That's from Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. Just to mention as well, I don't have a problem if you want to sell the finished items. That's so you know. if you've got an Etsy store or anything like that, not the panels, if you don't mind, but if you make them all up and want to make a bit of money out of them, I'm sure you would do. Yeah. Oh, yes, absolutely. Well, I'm thinking also, yes, Mother's Day, perfect. But also there's loads of craft fairs people are going back to now. We're yes. able to do craft fairs. So if you are making to sell, yeah, make them up. And uh, they'd be lovely in time for Mother's Day or Easter. Just uh, 28 99 And that also comes with your instructions, don't forget. Uh, we'll go through any other bits and bobs that you might need, but and we have also got some complementing panels as well. We will do them very quickly. If you don't want to make a kitchen set, or you've got different projects in mind, if you want to make more, um, we've got more uh, complementing fat panels. So first one is the blue, which Debbie, you said, is your favourite. It is at the moment. <laughs> it might not be in half an hour, but it is now. Uh, so this one, oh, it's really nice. So this is perfect. 
perfect. I mean, what sort of ideas are you thinking then for this, Debbie? The, the, the idea behind is by having the fabric kind of lengthwise instead of across the width of the fabric is that you could make an apron out of one of the panels. Oh, great. Um, but I've seen before now, it's actually in a pink one, and I'm sorry I can't remember your name. One lady made a pelmet for a kitchen curtains using the squares, just oh, all, all in a row, using panels like that. Um, but anything for your kitchen, if you've got... Um, a, 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 a food mixer that you wanted to make a cover for, if you're making covers for your toasters, maybe a, a coffee cosy and your mug rugs and your mug hugs. Yeah. Um, they, I mean, how many you could make from those would be amazing. Um, if you're making half aprons, you could probably get four out of those Great. if you use your own lining. Yeah. Um, I think what else would you put in your kitchen? Storage baskets well, on the windowsill, yeah, maybe? Yeah, storage baskets mm. would be lovely. But also, I was thinking, you could frame these and you could hand embroider over the top oh, of them, Oh, that would you? be nice, yes. They'd just be lovely framed, absolutely beautiful. It's only fourteen ninety nine, and look at how many different prints you're getting here as well. You've got the gingham, uh, you've also got the floral, you've got the cow creamer, obviously, here, and then six of your larger cow creamer prints. All for fourteen ninety nine. All coordinating beautifully. They'd make a nice table runner as well, wouldn't they? Oh yeah, good idea. Um, Maxine's got an idea. Hi, ladies, loving the panel. It'd be great to have matching placemats. Oh, with the squares, you could do that. You could absolutely. Great idea. Um, with the material panels, absolutely good idea these would be ideal for that and they're, they're big enough actually to use them as placemats if you want to make them even larger you could use one of the other fabrics to um to put a board around, around them. it that'd be nice uh pink this is so pretty this is so so pretty isn't it i definitely think um this will be really, really popular. Maybe laying the table for Easter dinner. Oh, do you know, it'd be so lovely if you can, you know, have all family together, Easter or Mother's Day, it would be so lovely to be able to dress the table all night. Yes. How beautiful would this be to make some, uh, you could even do like a little bread basket or storage tubs, as Debbie was saying. 14 99 is great value for money. If you have got any of, uh, you know, Debbie's books, there's lots of lovely little home makes in there, isn't there? Yes. Yeah, lots definitely. Good morning, ladies. Lovely to see Debbie. Oh, thank you. We've got lots of love for <laughs> Debbie on the messages. Got all the fun there. We'll have to forward it on to you, Debbie. Fourteen ninety nine uh, for your pink. Then we have the mustard. We are going to be looking at how to make the tea cosy. By the way, if you've got any questions for Debbie, get them in whilst she's here. You're only here one hour today. Just the one. Are we going to see you over the birthday? Yes. Oh, good. Good, yes. Good, good. I'm going to bring you a new bag made out of cork, okay. and we're going to launch my latest range of fabric. <gasps> Mm -hmm. Spoiler alert! <laughs> I don't even know if we were supposed to say this on air, but this is so oops. exciting. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Grease edit. It's going to be brilliant. That's Sunday the 6th. It isn't is. It? Sunday the 6th. Oh my March. word. Of March. Not long. I can't believe two two years. I know. Two years. Where's time gone? Uh, so this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, with those ochre and mustard colours. The colour on the website isn't matching what it is. It looks. What sort of colour do you think? More greeny sort of tone. Whereas this is definitely a mustardy gold. It's gorgeous. Um, fourteen pounds ninety nine for your panels. Again, coordinating floral prints, gingham print, your cow cream print. You could fussy cut all of these, couldn't you? you could oh, use you could do that. Would look lovely. Um, maybe put them in the centre of a hexagon or something and yeah. do a little patchwork with them. Great. That'd be great. Lots of ideas. Keep your ideas coming in. We want to hear from you. How are you using? Your panels, pinks and blues, are absolutely flying out. We've uh, got the final one, which is the green. Then Thermaland will, of course, just make sure everybody's got that um, in their basket ready to go. This is really fresh for spring. I love that green. I, I'm very into my eucalyptus in the kitchen at the moment. Oh, really? I, we've got a eucalyptus tree um, in our road, and I keep going with my scissors and trimming it, putting it in a vase. And it's lovely. <laughs> It's everyone's tree. It's not a, a somebody's garden. Don't worry, <laughs> Hannah. I'm not steal. I'm not going to someone's house and stealing their eucalyptus. <laughs> but it's this colour exactly. This colour. This would look lovely in my kitchen. Fourteen ninety nine. And obviously, it's really expensive to keep changing your kitchen, isn't it? So to just add new elements in, um, nice little. Um, you could do like a carrier bag bag, couldn't you? Keep your carrier bags in. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine. They'd make a nice tote bag, wouldn't they? A shopping bag. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect for that. Yeah, well, your bag for life kind of bag. Absolutely.
absolutely. 14.99, that is great value for money for how much fabric you're getting there. Right, Fermilan. Now, Fermilan is great because it is, um, it's not heat proof, it's heat resistant, isn't it? Yes. Um, it's, it's, the, it's the one that's designed to keep the warm in or equally keep the cool in. So if you're making lunch boxes, it's great. But for this, it's ideal. So Debbie, you were advising two layers. For the oven gloves, I would do certainly. Maybe not on the bit that goes over the back of your hand, but un underneath there, I'd put a couple of layers. It's a really, really dense fleece. It's a compressed fleece. Feels like fleece. felt, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You can sew through it though, can't you? You can, it's really easy. Don't sew need any it. special needles or anything. Can I wash it? Yes. So if my um, oven gloves always get very dirty. I managed to get all my cottage pie over it. So yeah, they need to go in the wash. <laughs> £5.99, and that is a whole metre piece. So would what? So I would probably multiply. Would you then? Would you get two? You no. If you, if you use two layers, you've got enough in here to oh, do that. If brilliant. you just use that in the oven gloves, there's Five. loads there. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Five pounds ninety nine. Um, always useful to have in your stash, though. We don't get to see it very often. Hi, Anne. Uh, good morning, ladies. Nice to see you both. Just ordered a kit. Oh, brilliant. Thank you, Anne. Um, so many of you making the most of these this morning. Thank you for your company. Get your messages in for Debbie. Um, right, where are you starting then? What are you going to show us, Debbie? I'm just going to show you the, um, the tea cosy. Now, when I've, when I've made up all of these samples, uh, when I put the binding on, I machine sew first and then hand sew the back which is going to take ages, so I'm not going to do that now, I'll show my machine sew it. Um, nice thing with the, the tea cosy, sorry if I just bring this down and... Oh, watch your cow creamers, don't knock them. Show you. <laughs> sorry, we balanced everything. Um, the binding is the same colour, uh, the same print as the lining. So if your stitches are a little bit wobbly, you're not going to notice them because it kind of blends in. So it will, we'll, hopefully we'll get as far as binding it. Um, but if you machine stitch from this side, so the bit that you see the stitches are perfect, don't worry too much about the inside. Nobody's ever going to notice. Um, and I'm going to quilt it as well. What time are we? I'll just quilt, quilt one side um, because I think it looks nice. Now, if you want to do a little bit of free motion embroidery, um, then that would be nice around the edge of here. You don't have to quilt it at all if you don't want to, but I do think it, it, it just adds something. Mm -hmm. And it adds texture to a project as well. It looks more expensive, basically, it does. doesn't it? Absolutely. When it's quilted. So the oven gloves quilted as well. And I was saying earlier, you've got a print on the inside of the lining oh, that you're never very going to indulgent. see. So you could just use a plain fabric in there and use that for something else if you wanted to and the same with your little um, pot holder you know if you did one plain side and just had a print on the other then you could make a couple of those as well or it could be to put a plant pot on or something mm -hmm. like that it doesn't have to be just for the kitchen well with my surface we got a new worktop in the kitchen and Karen goes mad at me if I put anything hot on there. It's like, you can't put hot things on because it would damage this. I don't know, even know what the work stuff is made out of, but you can't put hot things on it. So these are ideal to pop your pots and pans or anything yes. hot on. Oh, yeah, and it's it. a, there's a good habit to get into as well. Um, right, so I'm just using a bit of 505 to secure that. Um, don't worry if you don't have any because they kind of stick to the thermal lamp anyway, so don't worry too much. Um, but Do you put that onto the fabric or onto the thermal lamp? Oh, you should put it onto the thermal lamp. Yeah. Um, but I'd overspray it if I did it that way, so I'm just going to do it onto the fabric. Um, normally onto the wadding as well. If you get too close with the 505, it can go a little bit blotchy and sometimes that stain doesn't go away. Okay. So that's why you spray it on your, on your wadding, not onto your fabric. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> um, then we'll just cut this out. Um, to the line, like you said, you don't need to add seam allowance or anything. No, straight up to the line. It's like putting together a jigsaw puzzle. So you simply just cut it out and then sew it back together again. So that's the beauty of panels, isn't it? I love a panel. So let's... Lots, Lots of people who have already got this panel are coming in and getting a new colourway today. Hi, Jan in oh, Oxfordshire. Hi. So great to see Debbie and lovely cow creamer panels. Too tempting. Blue and pink added to the green and pa the green panel oh. that I bought previously. <laughs> Perfect. Now you've got to get the cows to go with it now, you see. So you've got a whole display. Well, I was going to say, a lot of people are becoming collectors of the cow creamer panels now. <laughs> <laughs> All hanging above your kitchen window like a cow helmet. Yeah, I can, I can just picture it. Uh, You're whizzing around with the rotary cutter. This is, uh, I, I never think to cut out like this with a, you know, I always think obviously with my strip piece and a, with a ruler, but you can just go for it with I, a. Yeah, I, I find it a lot easier to cut with a rotary cutter, to be honest, and you can be very accurate with it. Um, 
It takes a little bit of practice, maybe. But the thing is, it, I find that if I'm cutting with scissors, particularly if it's dressmaking, so I've got a pattern, then things are laying flat. When you put your scissors underneath, you lift, lift the fabric it. up. There's, mm -hmm. You can't help but lift the fabric up. So it may be more difficult to get an accurate cut. So if you if you can get used to using a rotary cutter, it, it is a lot more accurate. Brilliant. So anyway, let's do that. So I'm just going to quilt on the one side. So I'm using a friction pen. Test first. Um, because these aren't made for fabric and sometimes they can stain um, unless you're very very accurate and you sew directly over the line it's me 45 degree there it is and I'm just going to draw 45 degree angles um, let's do this at two inches apart on the on the set in the instructions I think it's one and a half inches but again just watching me sewing straight lines isn't the most exciting thing to see. Is this the same little handy ruler that Amanda had earlier? Gosh, it's a good size, isn't it, actually? Some this of the larger rulers can be a bit cumbersome, I find. Yeah, this uh, is perfect for perfect this, for anyhow, just project. 12 inches. Um, let's go across there. there oh, there's go. so many lovely messages coming in for you. Morning, Debbie. You've been away too long. Oh, oh thank wouldn't you. wouldn't have got through the first year of the pandemic without you. <laughs> oh, thank you. That is so lovely. Oh, thank you, Susan. I know we definitely need to see more of you, Debbie. I know how busy you are. Thank you. I do love checking in on you on your Facebook, uh, your oh, Facebook you? lives, though. Yes, <laughs> always quite a seller. But then I think you have got, you know, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people watching. I think if I just put, hi, Debbie. She'll never get to my <laughs> message. So I just, just they wait to Oh, well, well next time then. Put it in capitals. Okay. <laughs> Shout at me yeah, so I notice. Um, right, all I'm going to do now is to sew over the straight line. So I'll lengthen the stitch. It's been a long time since I've used this machine. Um, oh, it's quite long anyway. Um, so a longer stitch is fine. It's not a seam. It's not a, a you know, constructive stitch. So a longer stitch will be fine. A decorative stitch would be quite nice as well. Oh, yeah. So and nice, pick out what colour thread you're using. You've got a white there, haven't you? I'm just using what was in here already. Right. Purely because I was going to put blue in here. Um, couldn't remember how to thread this machine. <laughs> and I thought it might be quite nice to start the show at the top of the hour. Yeah, well, we also have a three-minute break, don't we? So. <laughs> yeah. And we've got a lot of catching up to do, so there wasn't a lot of prep going on, to be honest. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> So again, just sewing straight over the lines. I, I, I'm not sewing exactly on the lines, and you know, doesn't matter because they I don't all are care. <laughs> no one's going to judge you. No, I'm, I'm not entering this into a competition or anything. So, once the drawn lines are gone, it's not really going to matter. Um, I'll tell you what looks nice for um, cross, cross hatch quilting like this as well is the serpentine stitch, the one that's kind of wavy. Oh yeah. Um, that could have done that, couldn't I make it? Oh, well, different? with the 680 Plus, there are so many stitches to choose from, aren't there? So many different stitches. It's a good chance to experiment. And you're going through all those layers. The Thermaland's, as I said, quite dense. It's quite a compact uh, bleed. And yet, it's going through absolutely fine without a walking foot. It's, it, it does. Um, smaller projects like this, you don't need a walking foot. It's quite handy if you have one. Uh, maybe when you start to put the bias binding on, but you know, don't, don't rush out and buy one if you don't have, have one already. And just a universal needle. You don't need a denim needle or a strong needle or anything with um, with even the thermal lamp. So it, it, if you haven't used it before, like Vicky said, it does feel dense, mm -hmm. as if you know you, you may struggle with it, but it's not. It, it's just like sewing felt. It's really, really simple. Susan said, lovely to see you, Debbie. Have a few of your Thank books you. and patterns. They're really good. And the build a bag books are particularly great. Oh, yeah, we do love oh, those. Oh, thank it's you. Keep your messages coming in. Debbie's only here till 11 o'clock today. That's that done. That's really quick. Um, so if we just give that a press and take away the... You need a new board. This is filthy. Oh, don't. They're, not, <laughs> they're actually out of stock, so we can't get them back in. So we can't have a new one until, um, <laughs> until they're new in, yeah. But I do agree. You need a new carpet down here as well. It's got an iron mark on it. <laughs> I don't know who did that. <laughs> but I think other people are starting to copy you because I just came in in the mini iron as well. It's covered yes, in there's, carpet. There's, there's two burns down here and one of them isn't mine. Oh, my word. <laughs> I don't know who did it. It definitely wasn't me before the rumours start. Um, 
the pink graphics in by the way the blue is about to sell out if there's more of you and there's more of you have got it in your basket than we have availability so don't wait to the end of the demo is my word of wisdom if you want the pink as well the pink one of course you can make all three with your ape uh, with your uh, oven gloves your tea cozy and your popped holder plus you get your instructions as well Definitely get the matching panel as well. I love those matching panels. You can make loads more accessories for you your kitchen. You could do a complete kitchen makeover, yeah. couldn't you? If you go for the panel as well. Uh, I'm just thinking, uh, definitely aprons. Maybe children's aprons as oh, well for helping out in the kitchen. That would be nice. Oh, and I'd love to see people's embellishments as well because you've got this sort of, you know, your blank canvas, but on the apron you could add rick rack, you could yes, yeah, that hand nice. embroider on top of, you know, if you wanted to use the panel and, as I say, do the wall hangings. You can absolutely embellish. Like you said, do some fancy stitching on your quilting. A lot you can do with these panels. Well, with the panels as well, they're not... Um you know, they're not just designed for the kitchen, so if you, the blue might look nice in the bathroom, wouldn't it? Mm. Oh, yeah. Maybe a little drawstring bag hanging up at the back of the door to have your bits and bobs in, or little storage boxes and bags and pouches for your cosmetics and things like that. I'm making bias binding, by the way. I'm just getting on with this without even telling you what I'm doing. <laughs> um, if you've got a bias binding maker, it's a one inch. This is two inches wide. Otherwise, if you fold both of the long size to the centre in press, then I'd normally apply this to the um, to the cow creamer. Have you got any best press knocking about? Um, let me check behind. Um, if you if you if your fabric any fabric kind of bounces back a little bit, then use a bit of spray starter. Or best. Oh, thank you. That was probably right next to me, wasn't it? <laughs> um, and you'll see how it creases really well because we do want a good crease on this fabric it is 100 percent cotton so it will do that but it's a really nice it's kind of a poplin weight so that's the one uh, that comes obviously in the the, the kit um but if you do want it's printed on the bias ready to go if you wanted the coordinating if you want to make wash bags things for the bathroom um anything else for the kitchen then the one that i've got here is 14.99 i'm thinking like a country themed spare room maybe that would be nice um, I'm thinking as well, if you've got Lamifix in, in stock, because you could laminate it, that'd make a nice Lamifix? wash bag, Lamifix? I've it? never even heard of Lamifix. Is it Lami oh, what's, what's the... You do one. Odor coat. Odor coat. That's the one. That's oh, the one. yes. Same thing. I've never seen Lamifix. Odor coat, I know you can put in the um, in the washing machine, can't you? Yeah. Oh, Hannah's telling me Lamifix is just wipe clean, so we decided oh, okay. to go for Odor coat instead. <laughs> They're both great products, though, Debbie. Both great. Good idea. <laughs> Picnic baskets. That's a bit of backtracking there. Nice for picnic <laughs> bits and bobs as well. Oh, yes, good. We can do all of that now, can't we? Oh, gosh, it's going to be so lovely. <laughs> Hi, Susan. Morning, team. Hi. Great to see Debbie on your show. I've ordered the kit and looking forward to making it. Love, Sue. Thanks, Sue, in Bristol. Lots of people are very excited about these kits. They're nice little projects. They're quite quick achievable projects aren't they yeah it's, it, I love the way that everything so I just love panels I think they're a brilliant idea um, so you don't have to use any patterns or anything like that there's no measurements you literally cut them out and sew them together so if you've got something um, more ongoing on the go maybe you've, you've got a quilt or you're dressmaking and you just I just want to make something today mm -hmm. um, you could make all three of these within a day easily ideal even if you're a beginner you're only using a straight stitch perfect and because you've got the instructions, they, they are very clear instructions. I don't do jog and then I don't do abbreviations. Um, so they're very understandable as well. And as you've seen, you get so many pictures in there to help you too. So anybody's made things already from these panels, we'd love to see. Send in your photographs, studio at sewingstreet.com if you want to send in any pictures of your cow creamers. New home gifts. Anybody oh, that's a nice home? idea. Do you know they don't use tea cozies in America? Why? Um, I was I was showing these on my on my Facebook live yesterday, saying that I was coming here, and I said, "So you've got tea cozy in your oven mitts." And one lady said, "What's a tea cozy?" They just don't. Well, don't I suppose they don't drink that much. Tea. We're we're very known for having tea and teapots. <laughs> Is that true, Hannah? Oh my gosh! Apparently, lots of homes don't have um, kettles in their homes in America. They would use the microwave if they're going to really? have it. Yeah. Well, that's what Hannah's told me. She says I saw it on a programme. Must be true then. Must be true. <laughs> <laughs> she says I watch the best telly, so it must be true. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so I've, oh, I've gone and sewn that all the way around, you silly devil. Right, what did um, you need to do? Who <laughs> you say not to, as you do remember? I just needed to sew a little bit to make a loop at the top. Now I can't get the bias binding on. So we'll just, ah! make, a, <laughs> just make a loop at the top. That's your fault for talking and messaging when I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> I'm just going to cut <laughs> about an inch and a half off there. I'm going to make it quite small because um, I've got to unpick the rest of this now to put it around. Um, oh, get yeah, the stitch ripper, the um, little shaver, you know, the Bridgewater oh, one. Oh, still got those? Yeah, got it. Oh, perfect. <laughs> this is going to go in the centre at the top. And I'm going to put one in the lining as well, which isn't in the instructions. But mm -hmm. as I said earlier, I wanted it to be... Um, I normally get shouted at if I do something. I'm like, you're sewing too far. Um, that's going to face down. So if I do the same on the lining pieces, then it will be completely reversible, which is what I was planning to do. Linda, I want to see this pink cow collection. I've ordered a pink panel to match my pink cow collection. I plan to make table oh. mats. Ooh. Yes, I'd love to. I'd love to see a cow. I love cows. We've got um, some specialist breeds in the farm near where, not as in the farm near where we live, and they are so good. Like grey ones, they've got Highland cows. It's oh, you need to get talking oh. to Stuart Hillard. He lives on a farm. Does he have any cows? Doesn't have cows. He got sheep. I know he's got sheep and goats. Maybe he needs to get a couple of cows, doesn't he? Have we got some geese for his birthday? Oh, I still have a pet goose. My, my animals are all pets. <laughs> Did you have a peacock as a pet I, as well? Yeah, I used to keep peacocks um, before before I started I working do. in telly full time and let's move house. Um, yeah, I used to brew peacocks. They, they're beautiful. They know they don't grow the tail feathers until they're three years old. Um, and when, when they hatch, <laughs> the wing feathers grow first. So they end up with these huge wings oh, and skinny little body. bodies. And yeah. they are the most, well, they're really loud, aren't they? We live, well, we've just moved, but we used to live so close to Warwick Castle and they have all peacocks in the garden there. And we'd hear them all the time. For, they, they sort of squawk, yeah, don't they? Yeah, I love it. They, they've got different noises. They honk as well. Right. Um, they normally squawk if they're in danger or they're calling each other. Oh, no. But they, they, <laughs> they fly like birds. Obviously, they're birds. But I used to get... A, quite a few phone calls from, from neighbours or people in the village saying, I think one of your peacocks is on my roof. I said, well, don't worry, it'll fly back again. Yeah. It's only like, you know, a, a big blackbird. It'll, it'll come home Gosh. again later. Right, are you OK with the scissors there? Do you need an unpicker? If you've got one. Oh, no, no, don't, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'm OK with scissors. I'll do that in a minute. Um, I'm going to sew these right sides together. I'll do it whilst you're talking. Oh, I can unpick you. it. <laughs> I could cut out another piece. But no, don't you worry, you carry on. So right sides together, just around the curve size, and we need to do that on both pieces. So on the lining, remember I put the loop on the top in the centre there. So those right sides together and these right sides together. And just use a quarter of an inch seam allowance. I tend to use the edge of my presser foot, which is normally slightly more than quarter of an inch, so don't worry about it being exact as long as it's consistent. Now when you're sewing through any kind of wadding um, like this, um, or any kind of wadding actually, it can... <laughs> I'm not shaving my legs shave. over here. <laughs> <laughs> just just to prove. I'm just... I'm just unpicking Debbie's... Um, it is actually in stock, by the way, if you want the Bridgewater, Bridgewater stitch remover. So you did this right on time. Go on, you carry on. Just ignore me. <laughs> I was just saying, because of the friction between the... Um, uh, your presser foot and the wadding, it can slow the machine down a little bit and your stitches appear shorter. So if you are sewing um, anything like this with wadding, you may want to lengthen your stitch just a little bit, just a tip for you. Um, right, let's go around the lining as well and then we'll put the two together. Oh, this machine is quick. You're a speedy sewer though, aren't you, Deb? I do, oh yeah, I, well, I, I do quite a bit of sewing, you know. That's, it's my job. Um, so yeah, I do, I do like a quick machine. Is that a true fact about you, Debbie, that you actually had thread in your eye once? Yeah. Yeah, I went to, went to get my eyes tested and um, the optician was there with the magnifying glass and everything looking in my eye and took a pair of tweezers and pulled out a piece of red thread. She said, did you know you've got thread in your eye? That is commitment, isn't it? Um, I couldn't feel anything <laughs> and, I, and I couldn't see it because it was red and I've got quite veiny eyes anyway, so I just thought it was what? a vein. And you were, you were okay, your eyes were fine? Yeah, absolutely fine. Um, my daughter said that I was turning into, into sewing. You are becoming sewing, she's like Coraline. Oh, that's... <laughs> Okay, so oh, I've yeah, turned the outer, the right side out. 
the lining is still inside out and we'll push one inside the other. It's such a simple project, there's, there's nothing difficult about this at all. Oh no we're not, we're going to push that inside there aren't we? So push one inside the other so that the wrong sides are together so I can see the print on the lining and I can see the print on the outside and then I'm going to sew these together before I put the bias binding on because these will shift so it's a lot easier to take that extra little bit of time to sew them together first. So really close to the edge so your bias binding will be your seam will be half an inch because that's the size of the binding so so about a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch away from the edge and again you can lengthen the stitch on this it's only a tacking stitch and just go all the way around um, they'll fit perfectly if you wanted to be really precise then you could pop a few pins around there but just match up the seams at the side match up the edges and you will be fine Another little tip as well would be to put a little hand stitch right at the top where those two loops are all the way through both pieces so that the, the lining stays inside, you know, it doesn't start drooping down at all. Okay, and just go all the way around. So again, really quick, the, the pot holder is even quicker to make. The oven mitts may be a little bit more time consuming if you're quilting them, purely because they're bigger. Mm -hmm. Um, and again, I, I do like to hand sew my, my binding. I just love sitting there relaxing with a... It's actually, yeah, and it, it looks really lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. To spend that time to, to yeah. just do a split stitch round. But like you said, a lot of people actually like the sitting in front of the television or doing a bit of social sewing as well. Yes. I can't, I can't sit in front of the TV and just watch something. No, I've got to be doing, doing something, something as well. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's quite, they call it mindful crafting. I call it mindless because you don't have to think about yeah. it. Just, thank you for doing that. It's okay. Right, so um, start off folding. No, not for this way. We're going to fold the other end. Um, if I sew by hand, I'll start off by folding the end under and then line this up to the edge of my fabric and sew mm -hmm. along the crease and I like to start at a seam so the join in the bias when it comes back round again isn't going to be noticeable mm -hmm. but this time we're going to simply fold this all the way over and sew so the beginning part can be open and then I'll fold it over when we get back to the other side um, is there a particular place to put it are you putting it right up to the seam to where, the where I folded it yes yeah so let's just trim that wadding back a little bit um, so fold right over like so and if you've got clips, I did see some clips here, there we go. Jenny's off, do you have a Highland creamer? Do you, have, you got, um, have you got one? No, Is there a Highland cow creamer? There no. must be. No, you don't Jenny, do you? So happy to see Debbie back. Wonderful products as always. Um, we've got Laura saying, love Debbie's tutorials. Everything has a professional finish. Oh, thank you. Morning, Debbie. Love watching you. You're so calming. We've got Nicholas saying, morning, Debbie. Another great tutorial. Thank you. Thank you. Linda, good morning, Debbie. Another great demo with hints and tips. Coffee pot on the go all day, says Mandy. Oh, we're going, you're going to need a coffee pot cover then. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. You could do coffee pot covers with, the covers with your panel as well. Right, so easier to clip than to pin if you've got clips, as that would be a, a good idea. And make sure when you, you press the, um, the binding that you have pressed it in half. In other words, the, the folds are going to line up because that's going to be quite important when, when we sew around here in just a second. Do you know the best bit about them, picking seams is picking off all these little threads? Oh, it's very satisfying. <gasps> oh, it is. I must say though, I do like that stitch remover. It's a lot, um, it's, it's a lot less frustrating when you sew a full seam that it, when you're having to sit there with a yes. hand pick out, it's really, really useful. I, a lot of people have sort of said, oh, is it a gadget? But it's not, it's actually really useful. Well, the sewing machine could be a gadget. I don't like the word gadget. It. I think, <laughs> oh, if it's, if, it's a, if it's a gadget, then it's something that's a bit novelty. Yes. Um, although, no, I am a fan of the gadget show, Hannah. I was on the gadget show once, our Joe, yeah. Joe Wilcox, he used to work there, and they were doing a hen party, and he said, oh, because I was getting married at the time, and he was like, do you want to have a gadget show hen party? Oh. So I did on the telly, it was brilliant. <laughs> 
what, what was the gadget show hen party like? Oh, did we did. Um, in the limousine, they had cock, a cocktail maker um, that had personalised pictures on the top of your espresso martini. So we were in a limo having cocktails <laughs> with this fancy cocktail maker. There was loads of went on a VR machine, like a wedding VR thing, roller coasters and everything. Um, but they did lollipops that were moulded as my face that you could do as favours. Oh, that's a bit, that's a bit weird. Oh, yeah, chocolate lollipop of well, mine and Kieran's face. Just seeing all your guests licking yeah. your face. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, so oh, so I need to Right, so clips all the way around and I've overlapped the edge. And then I'm just going to sew just inside the fold and hopefully it will, it'll be just inside the fold on the other side as well. So I'll take the... This off. Oh, with the binding, by the way, um, I've used because it's in four strips when you get your panel home. So one strip will be enough for this, and then I would join the others together and do the um, the oven mitts, and then with what's left, do the the pot holder as well. So you will need to join some of those. Right, and so. said it's brilliant to have Debbie on Sewing Street. She says, I've got the green kit plus the panel. She says, it's very classy. I do like the green. I'll show you the, uh, the panel is this one so obviously we've got the kits available as well to make all the projects and then this is the complementing panel green is really lovely it's very in isn't it as well i'm seeing it a lot more in all the interior magazines this green is lovely oh hannah has said she's been watching on programs and i told you she watches very good telly green's replacing the gray in interior designs Greens are the colours now. Green, did you know a fact about green? The re it's, it's, it's a neutral, it's, um, I should think about my fact before I say it on air, but it's something about, um, it's a neutralising to your brain and to your eyes. You know when you go into a studio and you have a green room, it's supposed to can't really be quite calming. There's something, of, yeah, something about it, I can't remember the fact, but. <laughs> if a green room is calming, mm. What must your guests be like with that kaleidoscope of a quilt that's on the wall in your True. green room? True. Our green room is not green, it's tulip pink kaleidoscope co uh, colours all <laughs> over the walls. You're right though, Anne. She said it's not a gadget, but it's a tool. It's just a tool. Exactly, I should say that now. And do you know, it's one of the most useful tools that you will have in your sewing box. I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful for unpickers because there's, um, I don't know what we do without them, it to take oh. ages. And we all need to use them at some point. Anyway, uh, although I don't use mine, I can never find, I never, <laughs> never have to use it really. Nose growing slightly. Um, that's done. <laughs> so again, I, I put a little hand stitch right in the top through to the lining, but because I've put the little loop in the lining as well, it should be a reversible one. Oh, there you go. And you said you hadn't thought of doing that before, had you? No, I wish I'd have done that in the instructions, to be honest. But there you go. <laughs> You've got a little pattern hack, a little extra from Debbie today. Thank you ever so much. There. Oh. So Debbie's using the blue, um, which is um, a part of the kit, which we'll go through in just a moment. Is there anything else that you wanted to mention, Debbie? No, I think we've covered everything. Fab. Thank you ever so much. No, so you're you. back on the birth. Day. Back for birthday. Oh, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. And then have you heard we're all moving into the new I've glossy heard. studio? So do you remember when we came here mm. and we put our requests in for a gym and a swimming pool and a gym corner and, you know, mm -hmm. of course, stables and helicopter pads? Yeah. We never got any of them. Have you got your order in for the next We've one? tried our best. We have tried. We've still put those orders in for a gym yeah. and a swimming pool, a, a crash, um, a yeah, a coffee shop. Bar. Coffee yeah, yeah, absolutely, cocktail bar. But um, we don't know whether the uh, the plans have gone through yet. Okay. We'll find out in a couple yeah, of weeks. They'll, they'll, they'll be, you'll get it all. It'll be, it'll be fantastic. Do you know what we have got, though? We've got a floor manager starting. No. Yes! <laughs> so exciting! So, yeah, we, we've got a, a new glossy studio, floor manager, a new cameraman as well. So we've got robotic cameras here, but in the new studio, we're going back to cameras, which is really exciting. So we'll see you in the new studio. Um, right, let's go for the blues first. We're going to recap all of these kits. By far the most popular. Debbie is a trendsetter, though. She did say this was her favourite. Um, OK, loads of you have got this in your basket. In fact, far too many of you. So if you have got it, please, please, please be careful. 
you are not guaranteed to get this we're oversubscribed I love that you've also included the extra applique cow that you could put onto an apron. I wanted to fill all the space. Yeah. There was, you know, because of the way these have been arranged and uh, being on the bias and everything, there, there was white space, so that's why you've got the extra bits in there. You've got an extra applique. You've got loads of labels on here as well to be able to put on your projects or keep them for any quilts or keep them for, for any of your bags, anything that you want. It's just filled the space. Everything's used. Uh, 28 99 for your panel. And don't forget, you'd get instructions as well. Uh, so that's the blue, very, 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 very popular indeed. In fact, if everybody checks out, that's completely sold out. We do have the lovely pink. I'm just going to use that shelf on the floor, yeah. Thank you, camera. Well, soon, when we've got a new cat, how confusing is this going to be? Our new floor manager is called Cat. Not our cat, another cat. Oh, really? Yes. But she's a Katrina, so Kat's already started to call her Tina. <laughs> which uh, she, doesn't, she doesn't know her yet, but we've just decided to call her Tina, so she's going to love that, isn't she? Um, we've got the pink colourway, which is pinks. You've got mustards in there. You've got lovely greys. You've got blues. You could pull out any of these colours, couldn't you? Uh, 28 99 not only have you got your panel, you've also got your instructions included as well. Um, we have the mustard and the green. Let's go green first, because um, this is the colour interior of the year, according to uh, Hannah. Oh, here we go. Uh, emerald green has been named the upcoming colour for the year 2022. Very fashionable, says Ooh. Georgie. There you go. We That's like to be on team. trend, though, don't we? We are. Mm -hmm. We are. Mm -hmm. We're ahead of the curve, aren't we? Oh, in fact, this is the one that um, that Derek's got as well, isn't it? Thank you, Derek, for your messages. Twenty eight ninety nine. You've got your panel and you've got your instructions, um, all included. And remember, that can make not only your tea cosy that we've seen, but oven gloves, pot holder, any extras that you want with your applique bits and bobs as well. Finally, we have the ochre. Um, patterns not available on um, their own today, Christine. Only available in the kits. These are lovely. This is the uh, the more sort of contemporary colour, I think, the mustard and the grey. This will look nice in a nice modern kitchen. The instructions wouldn't be any use on their own, to be honest, because they're instructions for the kit. There's no measurements on there. Right. So you, it, you wouldn't be able to use them on their own, would they? There you go. 28 uh, for your mustard and greys. Uh, that also does come with instructions, don't forget. Uh, and you just cut and sew. This is the great thing about it. You don't need to worry about following a pattern. You don't need to worry about, uh, you know, sizes and measuring. You just cut and follow instructions and sew. It's brilliant. 28 99 No, you don't need to trace anything out. You don't need to get any template plastic or anything. It's brilliant. Okay. So they're all of the kits. We have some complementing bundles in all four colourways. We got the blue panel. I'm not surprised this is the most popular. It's so classic, isn't it? I know a lot of people who have got uh, beautiful china in blue and white. It's just going to coordinate perfectly. Uh, Hannah is thinking spare bedroom, bathroom, the blues are really, really lovely for lots of different rooms in the house. And if you do collect um, cow creamers or if you do collect Debbie's cow creamer panels and you haven't got the blue yet, <laughs> go for it. Uh, 14 99 for, uh, for, for lots of different prints. I mean, think about how much you would pay. If you were even looking at fat quarters and buying separately how much you would pay, that is a lot for your money, isn't it? Fourteen ninety nine. I love the picnic idea, you know, and I, th I think particularly with the check that's on there, it's very. Yeah. I, I can just I can just imagine us sitting on the lawn with oh, a, yeah. a cup of tea, oh, a sandwich perfect, with a crust cut off. Love it. That is absolutely perfect for any picnics. Uh, you've got coming up anyone who's moving home. If you know somebody new, housewarming gift we could make something for our Lucy, couldn't we? To move in house. Right, we could do the. Should we go for the pink, the green? Oh, this is so pretty. I do think that this is beautiful. And I love the fact that it's literally based on yeah. your cow creamer. That that, that's the one that is exactly the same colour as the creamers. Oh, it's so beautiful with the floral prints as well. It, it's really country cottage chic, isn't it? 
$14.99. Really fresh springtime colours. Love that. Uh, that is your panel to go with it. I know, I can't wait now. I'm so ready, especially with the, the winds and the storms that we've had this week. I am just ready to be able to go for a walk. My daffodils are coming through in my garden now, to be fair. So spring is on its way. $14.99, unless they've blown away over the last couple <laughs> yeah. of days. Um, along with all of our other plants. Right, we've got... Oh, blue is my favourite, but all is gorgeous. I do love them all. They are all nice, aren't they? Lots of people who bought the, the pink in the past have come back and got the green today. So if you've already made these up, what about for gift ideas? We we're talking Mother's Day's coming up. These would be really nice for Mother's Day or Easter gifts. And then, finally, the green. Very on trend. And it's a lovely shade of green, isn't it? It is like a eucalyptus green. $14.99. And you've got your gingham, your check print there. You've got your floral, your cow creamer. It's going to go an awful long way. If you've got any of uh, Debbie's books, you don't need masses of fabric to make things like your mug rugs. And this is going to make no, loads of placemats, yeah. mug rugs. You could do lovely bunting, couldn't you? That's a nice idea. Cow creamer bunting to go in your kitchen. £14.99 and it's 140 centimetres so it's a big panel. Okay, have we gone through them all? Oh no, have I missed, I've missed the ochre. Everything is on the website if you want to have a look back through, have a look on the break and see what is available. Limited on each of the kits now. Thank you, yes. Um, uh, any, any idea? Yeah, if you're thinking of Easter presents, I really don't want any chocolate eggs this year. So <laughs> it's nice to be able to do um, Easter gifts, isn't it, that isn't chocolate? Is anybody in the same way? After the years that we've had, lockdown, I'm sure not the only person that feels like they've put on some pounds. So it's perfect to make lovely gifts for people this Easter. Something someone can keep as well. Chocolate enters my house and it's gone that same day. $14.99. I bought Kieran for uh, Valentine's a big Toblerone because I saw a new one that got an orange twist. I thought, oh, that's so nice. Even one chunk of those is huge, isn't it? I've eaten a lot. I've eaten a lot. <laughs> $14.99. He keeps saying to me, You've eaten, are you eating my Valentine's Day present? I'm like, no. Must be Maisie. Um, okay. They are all the kits and all the co coordinating panels. Don't forget Thermaland. Don't forget the Bridgewater Stitch Remover. Everything is there on the website. There's your Thermaland, £5.99. If you're using this for your oven gloves, uh, Debbie's recommended using two layers. Obviously, it's heat resistant, so um, don't use your, your H640 or anything like that, as that will obviously melt. This is perfect for that. Uh, Debbie's back. Sunday the 6th. I am. For the, for the birthday. Remind everybody what we've got coming up. We have a brand new bag. It's a, it's a big one. Um, um, a, a tote bag using cork uh, for one show and for the second show. It's my latest fabric range, the Pets collection. We're going to be launching. That's the first time we've had my fabric on Sewing Street. So it's quite exciting, isn't it? That's really exciting. If anybody wants to watch you in between, have you got any Facebook Lives happening? I do a Facebook Live um, simultaneously on YouTube and Facebook. Facebook at four o'clock in the afternoon on a Wednesday and 11 o'clock on a Saturday morning and we always make something. Oh brilliant, we'll join you and I'll make sure I put in capitals, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> thank you so much, it's so lovely to see and you. you, really thank lovely you. to see you, I hope, I, is it me on with Debbie on the birthday, I don't know, no, am I here on the afternoon or not, no, oh well I'll see you in the new studio then, all right then, see you then, I'll be watching, I'll bring my costume, um, Thank you. Yes. Oh, yeah, for the gym. Brilliant. <laughs> um, we've got uh, Amanda Little coming up in the next hour with the brand new Lynette Anderson collection, and it is stunning. We've got two different colourways of the quilt kits, and they're both already selling on pre-order, so have a quick look on the website, but we're back in just a couple of minutes. Hello, I'm John Taylor from John's Taylor Made. You may remember me from the Great British Make Off competition. Um, I sewed my tablet rest last year with the lovely John Scott. Uh, Sewing Street have invited me back again to do a few more demonstrations for you, but they've also asked me to answer some questions. So the first thing I sewed was a ladybird pin cushion and I made it at primary school. And my late nanny Jo, she taught me how to knit and I think I got my love of sewing from her. She used to sew on that sewing machine over there. Um, something you don't know about me is I sew standing up. 
Um, my husband built me this sewing table. It's very similar to the one that you see on Sewing Street. My tip is more haste, less speed. My nan was always telling me to slow down um, and to enjoy what I was sewing and I would make less mistakes. And we also have a YouTube channel and a few Facebook pages. I cannot wait to start my journey with Sewing Street and I will see you there very soon. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. 
Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Very, very excited about this hour. I matched on purpose, obviously, um, with the quilt today. It's absolutely stunning. I'm thrilled with the fabrics. Um, the design is brilliant as well, as always with Amanda's patterns. Just so you know, the first hour, everything sold out within the first sort of 10, 15 minutes with Amanda. So if you want one of her patterns, oh my word, make the most of it. It's been a great day today, hasn't it, with Debbie and Amanda. Uh, this is the finished quilt. This is what we are making today. This is the pinwheel dance quilt. Very, very clever indeed. It just takes your eye on different journeys, doesn't it? And this is a bit about... Oh, sorry. Ah! There we go. Sorry. If I've... Um, if we go back to that slide there, Robin. That's absolutely fine about um, the, the collection because it is absolutely sensational and it's hot off the press. Look, it says there, in store approximately... February slash March, that's now, that is now. It is literally hot off the press. So the colour of love is the collection that we're looking at. The colour of love, the name says it all. Reds, cream spots, dots, checks, flowers and stripes come together beautifully in this sweet little red cream collection. If you like Lynette, um, uh, if, if like Lynette, you are a red work embroiderer enthusiast, uh, then this collection is perfect match for your embroideries. It's absolutely beautiful. I always think her collections are so whimsical, so pretty. Um, you can add lace and buttons and they're just so beautiful. Uh, a little bit about Lynette Anderson Designs at the top for those of you that don't know her. Lynette has been designing for projects for patchwork and quilting industry for 25 plus years. So she's got such a wealth of experience and knowledge. Lynette's unique, sophisticated, uh, naive drawings are used for, to you to perfection in clever designs combining embroidery, applique and simple piecing. And they're just so unique. I always think when you see Lynette Anderson fabrics, you'll always recognise them again. They are really, really pretty. Perfect for this design and brand new in today. So that's just one of our brand new collections. We also have a brand new Moda collection as well which is brilliant uh, and I must say these greys uh, we were talking with Amanda about these earlier on really contemporary beautiful for home decor it just depends on what style um, you prefer we're really excited obviously um, about both collections as they are both brand new in so all of the collections are also available individually by the half meter they are on pre-order at the moment. Um, the Lynette Anderson fabrics, you can see here by the half metre, they're all available individually. I know this hour, we obviously want to spend as much time with Amanda demoing, so I'll just quickly flash them to you. Have a look on the website in your own time and have a look through. They're all 749 and a half metre. They're all absolutely beautiful. And if you just see, the detailing is just stunning. This one is gorgeous. That's the one that's almost like the flagship design. The code you can see is IXYH57 um, if you want to grab that on the website. But that is so pretty. Look with the little bird houses, the scarecrow, the little beautiful trees. It's so pretty. And look, can you see the bee? The trail is like it's been stitched. You've got the running stitches, so you could embroider on top of these. Florals. Um, this one isn't just a solid. That is a Lynette Anderson solid. That is designer. Absolutely beautiful quality. So all of those are available on pre-order. Have a look through and check out on the ones that you want. 749 and a half metre. The quilt bundle comes with the amazing pattern from Little Quilt's House, which is, of course, Amanda Little. Um, so 
Now, I just need to explain about the fabrics in here because you get four, sorry, you get six meters of fabric, oodles of fabric, plus you also get four fat quarters. So all of these are cut into fat quarters. Now they're all from the new Lynette Anderson collection. They're all absolutely beautiful. You've got this soft uh, cream in the background. You've got the lovely reds. That again has got that amazing quality uh, Lynette Anderson solid. And that is every print from the collection. Every uh, every print that's in the uh, the brand new Colours of Love collection that we have has been put into this quilt, which is brilliant, isn't it? So you're not missing out. Now, lots of you have checked out already during pre-order before we've even started the show, just from seeing the, the, the quilt. Now, everybody who's checked out, don't you worry. You will not be paying this price either. We are dropping it. We never do this, ever. But... Um, Hayley's away this weekend, she's in London, and while the cat's away, the, yeah, no, while the, my, the cat's away, the mice will play, the that's the saying, I'm so bad with saying, and it's so funny because Hayley always laughs at me with my, um, but yeah, we're making the most of it anyway, because Hayley said, I, I haven't got my laptop with me, so, so I can't answer any questions, I'm afraid, so I trust your judgment, Hannah, you do what you need to do on Sunday, there you go, the whole quilt kit and your pattern, 99 99 and you're getting prints every single print that we have from this collection and look at the quilt i love that pinwheel element through the center really clever and i love as well that it is really focusing on those central blocks where you see those beautiful elements from lynette anderson and your big gorgeous border 99 99 you do get great instructions from Amanda, of course, you've got all of your cutting instructions. Um, you've got great diagrams in here as well, which is really, really clear to see. Step-by-step -step instructions. I do love Amanda's instructions. They're lovely, aren't they? So everything that you need to know is there. Plus, we'll go through through it on today's show. Oh, my word. Loads of you now checking out. Well done if you managed to get it earlier. You all pay the final low price, and you can still get it on split pay at 49.99. If you love the collection but you're not a quilter, remember, um, you can still get these fabrics. Now, we have a mega bundle. This is the whole collection by the half metre now. Uh, so if you do want each and every one of these prints in half metre cuts, there's only two left. Oh, my word, pre-order's gone wild. Two left. If you want that whole beautiful collection from Lynette Anderson, remember we've got them available individually on the website. If you want the whole collection, including this beautiful motif. Oh no, do you know what? This is gonna go, and we're not gonna be able to make this mega bundle again. That's the sad thing. So if you do want it, grab it now, 87.99. It is about to sell out. There's more of you have got it in your baskets than we have available. The quilt kit that Amanda's working with, we're gonna start to see the Moda come into play, which is brilliant. Now this is urban farmhouse gathering. It's so gorgeous and very on trend again. So because of what we did with the Lynette Anderson, we're just doing it with this. We're doing it. We're not even going to talk too much about it. We're just going to go for it. You get oodles of fabric. How much of this print do we have? I love that one. You have so much fabric, six and a half meters of fabric, and this time we've cut two fat quarters. It all evens out itself. You get enough fabric, obviously, to do the front and the binding. It's just there's less prints in the range of the moda that we have, so different ones will be repeated basically. With um, it's all moda, absolutely gorgeous on split pay as well. The bottom fabric, you get two meters of that. It's really nice. So that's the one that's going to go in the center of your, your squares and your border, which is going to look gorgeous, isn't it? We've got this one. That's two meters. So that's for the sashing and the pinwheels as well. Brilliant. This one is two meters also. Uh, a meter, sorry. And that's also going to be part of your pinwheels. Um, and then look everything else half meter and you've got fat quarters as well this is going to look lovely isn't it it's going to look completely different but you can still again see that whole collection of moda don't forget you do get your pattern you get your pinwheel dance quilt instructions 
Where do you get a Moda quill kit under £100? We never do that. Especially that showcases the full range that we have, that showcases, you know, this amount of fabric and a beautiful pattern as well, plus a masterclass today. Uh, so jot down today's date when you get the kit home and um, we're going to get extra tips as well from Amanda there's loads of you there that was a Hannah special by the way dropped it under a hundred pounds today there's loads of you there right just so you know the color of love quilt kit as predicted has sold out um, we have got the Moda mega bundle so if you do want to head to the website same again applies you can get these individually. We'll do this really quickly because this is also about to sell out by the looks of things. They are lovely colours, aren't they? Really, really soft and beautiful. Um, it's not a white, it's not grey and white, it's cream still. It's a lovely ivory tone in the background. But you get half a metre of every single one of these prints. So if you're not a quilter, if you want to do something different, if you want half a metre of every single one of the prints, 87.99 what a way to do it right that is about to sell out they are all individually on the website the pattern we can do on its own <laughs> if you love amanda which we all do if you've got a collection of fabric in mind i will talk to amanda in a second in fact i'm going to talk to you now if that's okay <laughs> um if you want your instructions is there anything that we need to bear in mind to get this effect do you need two sort of contrasting it's colour best, palettes? Um, on the pinwheels, it is best to have a light and a definite light and a dark. Okay. Um, but otherwise, no. I mean, these sort of blend in from a distance. It's not until you get up close that you can see that they're different fabrics. But I think the more the merrier, you get that really nice scrappy, oh, wow. um, cosy sort of finish, um, the, the more fabrics that you introduce. Um, the two It's nice to have two metres because we're going to cut the borders lengthways. Right. And it's just a pet peeve of mine to, to <laughs> I know it's patchwork and it's pieced, but I like to do my borders in, in one, one length. <laughs> Um, so I've written the pattern um, so that you'll cut your borders on the, the two metre length and then the, the blocks then will be cut out from the remainder. Fantastic. Um, but other than that, no, I think whatever you fabrics you've got That's will, will, will work. Um, the finished size of the quilt, by the way, is 176 centimetres square, which is, is it over 60? Yeah, 69 inches. I'll say it's quite a big, decent size, yeah. Yeah, brilliant yeah. size. If that is too big for you to quilt don't you worry because you can help with <laughs> this as well um for anybody who's never sent their quilt to a long arm before in fact for anybody who doesn't know what this term is because we don't really talk about it that much on air we obviously talk about quilting it the difference in long arming is it's Should all sort of computerized isn't yeah. it oh look at the yeah. back of this so you have a long arm a long, it's business. It's like a, a giant sewing machine, really, yeah. on rails, yeah. So, um, yeah, I can uh, quilt um, any design, really, you know, sort of whatever you can think of. We can probably find a digital design um, and we can print uh, quilt that across edge to edge the entire quilt. No matter what size the quilt? Um, I can go up to about 94 inches wide. Wow. My machine's 10 foot, so 94 wide, but I can do any length because it obviously, you know, just sort of rolls around the, the rollers. Um, if you want something, you know, special, we can do some custom quilting. Um, that's where every individual element is treated uh, separately. So you could have, you know, sort of feathers or uh, continuous curves. Okay. Um, but obviously, sort of the price point is is different for well, a custom it. finish. For anybody yeah. who wants to inquire with you about pricing of getting their quilts long or yeah. because we're all guilty of it. How many UFOs top, quilt tops have you got? And you're thinking, right, I just can't manage quilting mm. it on my machine, or I can't haven't got around to it, or I'm not as confident with quilting. How do people contact you about getting so their quilts? So I've quilted? got a website, www.littlequilthouse.co.uk. Mm -hmm. All the prices are, are listed uh, on that. Um, but as a, a general um, calculation, just measure your quilt top uh, width and length in inches, times the two together, divide by 144, and then times by two pounds per square foot, and obviously take your 10% off for your new customer. 
Oh, brilliant. Um, Thank you for that, Amanda. Yeah. If you've never had Amanda quilt one of your quilts before, obviously it's not including the quilt kit. This is all completely <laughs> separate. Uh, this is an extra service that Amanda offers that we just thought we'd let you know about because a lot of people have said um, how amazing it's been sending their quilts to Amanda. So if you've never sent one to her before, you get 10% off as a new customer with any quilt. doesn't need to be just this one, any quilt. Mm. Uh, so I just thought we'd mention that anyway. Uh, now also, if you are interested in buying your own long arm machine. Oh, am I allowed to mention this? Am I actually allowed to mention it? First of March, I'm just saying it. First of March, watch the first of March. That's the birthday, 2 p.m. Watch the birthday, 2 p.m. Remember, we're doing long shows. Do you know that as well? We're doing long shows on the birthday. <laughs> we're giving away all the spoilers because Hayley's away, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so watch all over the birthday, it's gonna be brilliant. Fantastic, right. Okay. This design is absolutely beautiful and really, really clever, Amanda. It does, it does almost look as though it's moving depending on which part of the quilt you look at. Well, where are the blocks? Okay, so we've got two blocks, right, essentially. Okay. Um, here is the first block. Sorry, I'm just conscious of my microphone. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Um, first okay. block, economy yeah. block. And then we've got some combinations of a complete pinwheel. Ah, yeah. And then some partial pinwheels. So one there. And then just a teeny tiny one in that corner. And then the rest is just plain sailing, just sashing accent stripe and border. Brilliant. There's also, I don't know, uh, if it was mentioned, the uh, the bind, there's enough fabric to bind within Fantastic. the kit as well, so you, you won't need any more fabric. Well, I hate to say this again, but well done if you've got yours, because once again, everything's sold out, everything. <laughs> there's a few of the patterns on their own, there's a few patterns on their own still, so if you want those, and we have got the fabrics by the half metre, so if you want to put together your own bundles, go for it, go for it. Okay, so um, I'll show you first how to make the economy block. If you look at the, the sample quilt, we've got three versions of it. The centre is a standalone, and then we've got the top, um, you know, such so 12 o'clock, um, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> it's all digital, isn't it? No. Um, is, is one variation, and then the corners in another variation. Okay. So um, you can swap and change as, as, as you want, um, but with the Moda quilt, because there's no finished sample to show you, um, if people wanted to just, you know, sort of take a screenshot, we're aiming for four of these, four of these, yeah. and I'm going to show you how to make that centre one. Oh, brilliant. There you go. Okay. So just have a quick look at that. Um, and uh, yeah, you can take a picture. Yeah, if they want to just is. pause it. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start off, um, work out where we are. How long have you been quilting, Amanda? Oh, crikey. Um, well, Neve's 23 now, so... Did you start when... Uh, pretty much, yeah. Uh, I'd always sewn before that. Yeah. But when she was uh, born, um, I mean, we're just mad for Christmas in our house. It's, yes. it's you know, the whole year is... <laughs> um, Christmas... Um, uh, yeah, uh, and I just got this this idea that I wanted um, an heirloom quilt that you know sort of as you could fetch the decorations down. Yeah. Um, this quilt comes out and we snuggle on the setting oh. and we put the log burner on. Watch yeah. a film, uh, Annabelle's Wish. Have you ever watched that one? No, is it good? Maisie will absolutely you'll cry. Oh, okay. Annabelle's Wish. It's really old, but it's gorgeous. It's um, about a, a little calf. Uh, that's orphaned oh. um, but um, on Christmas Eve all the animals get a voice oh. and she just wants to fly. Oh <laughs> just let me know about this we're talking a lot about cows today she's really into cows um, yeah, so so that was how I got into it. I just wanted to make a quilt for Neve. And do you um, what, do you do that? Do you snuggle up on the sofa? We do, with but the quilt? not not with that quilt oh. because that quilt <laughs> I chose a really complicated pattern. I'd got a really old machine that hadn't got a quarter inch piece in foot and every time I put the fabric, it, it wasn't this, you know, sort of speed piecing where you, you sew and then you chop. Mm -hmm. um, you, you sort of, you, you cut them up so you've got really fine points and it just disappeared down into the bells of the machine, never oh. to be seen again. Oh no! <laughs> so that one never happened, but I have since made um, Christmas quilts. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay, so to make um, the economy block, We've got our centre block, 
we've got one square which we're going to cut into quarters to make that first layer and then we've got two squares that we're going to cut in half to make the final layer. Uh, ruler. Now, I, I did actually press them. Uh, you, you can't tell, I think, because they've been in my bag. <laughs> They're a bit creased. Um, but um, I, if you're going to use uh, starch, and it does help, because uh, a lot of these ones you start cutting are on the bias, so there'll be a bit of stretch. Perhaps best press mm -hmm. them before you start cutting out your squares, yeah. um, so that any shrinkage has happened before you've cut. Good idea. Do you pre-wash your fabrics? I don't, not no. with quilting fabrics, no. I would with dressmaking, you know, mm -hmm. if you were um, making a garment. But no, as a rule, I don't tend to wash Do you know what else would be good for this? Fabrics. You're rotating cutting mat. Yes, yeah. Have you seen the new big one, Hannah? The new big one's amazing. Really good. I think it's gone, to be fair, hasn't it? So we'll cut those into quarters. That one will stay whole. And these ones will just go into halves. Thank you for all your messages. Every, we all love you, Amanda. Oh. Honestly, <laughs> the, I think we need to make a note that whenever Amanda's here, whatever quantity you think, we need to triple it because we. I'm so sorry that the kits have gone and the mega bundles have gone. Yeah, mega bundles. They've given me really nice fabrics to work with. I think that uh, helps no, as well, though, doesn't you. it? That the fabrics. Uh, so pretty. So, um, what I'll do first, I'll just quickly. So, we're going to sew this together like this. But in order to keep everything nice and square and accurate, a quick thing to do is to just press your block in half and put a crease on those corners and then press it in half the other direction. So you've just got a central registration mark to work from on there. And then just the same thing with your triangles. It's just a little bit of extra work, but I think it just it speeds the next right. part of the process up because you've now all you need to do is just line up. Oh move yeah, this. that does make a difference. Yeah, move that out of the way. So. Do you? Will you always recommend making up a block first, one of each block? Um, I think it's nice, if, especially if it's precious fabric. I yeah. think I would try. Um, Maybe not even all of it, you know, just perhaps just do a few steps and then once you're confident that you've, you know, sort of everything is, is fitting and, and you're going in the right direction, um, then move on to the best fabric. But uh, yeah, I would, in an ideal world, I would make one up first. Oh, in your scraps, yeah. Oh, yeah, brilliant. yeah. I mean, th there will be, I, I should say, both kits, there'll be extra fabric left over. So mm -hmm. you could potentially make, um, you know, sort of... Uh, a cushion that size, perhaps yeah. you wouldn't have enough to make the back, yeah. but you'd certainly have enough to make a couple of cushions Fantastic. if you wanted to match. So we're going to pop opposite sides on to begin with. And you've got like a little overhang on the point of your triangle, Yeah, so you? approximately quarter of an inch overhang on the, uh, the edges. Mm -hmm. So don't try and line those up. You no. you don't worry that you haven't, you haven't cut them wrong. Yeah. You're aiming for, is there a quarter? So this would be your stitch line, that's sort of quarter of an inch. So you're aiming for your needle to just pass through mm -hmm. that point there. And just um, your standard quarter of an inch seam. We do have some fat quarter packs, by the way, which we'll show you in a bit. In fact, actually, um, you can't necessarily make the full with it, but if you love the colour of black, we've got a fat quarter um, pack that we can do. 
there's five back quarters that we've cut in house uh, and they're all beautiful. I mean, if you do want to make some coordinating projects, maybe they're the five fabrics that you'll get. £18.99. They are so pretty. I, I can see why Lynette Anderson has just, you know, she's been designing for over 25 years. Mm. They are very recognisable, aren't they, Amanda? Yeah, but, but a bit like Mandy Shaw, that red and white. Yeah. If you're a lover of red and white, I think it's a really nice collection. She's an Australian designer and she um, so, she's yeah. actually was, I think... Was she born British, but... Emigrate. Oh, right. I don't know. I'm well, not I remember sure I we had wrong. her over in a past life of sewing quarter. I think she yeah. came over right. and we. She came on the show, didn't she? Okay. So once you've sewn those two seams, just press to set the stitches in, and then we're going to be pressing towards the uh, triangle that we've just added. Amanda, are you going to be at any um, quilt fairs or anything this year? I've not planned to, to be honest. Um, are you going to be I've, I've visiting? Not been anywhere other than Tesco, to be <laughs> honest, the past couple of years. Um, I don't know. Um, I really don't know. I mean, we tend to. Uh, Neve now is a teacher, um, and bless her, she still likes. It's like the bank of mum and dad. She still likes to come on holiday with us. Oh. So it usually has to be in August. <laughs> yeah. In August. Um, so I honestly don't know what, because uh, a lot of the shows, the big shows especially, are, are usually in August, August aren't yeah. they? Um, so I don't know. But now that things are starting to get better, you know, you feel a bit safer now, don't you, perhaps? Yeah. Maybe I will uh, be brave and venture out. So all I'm doing now, I'm just popping the opposite. You don't need to put them on opposites. I just, you know, you, you could just put one on the other. I just like the way that the seams layer mm. up when they're in opposites. And again, you're just looking. If I pop that ruler on, you're looking for those tails to be roughly the same height. Mm -hmm. And then you know then when you open the seams that everything should be matched up nicely. And you can use as few or as many pins. I, I do tend to, to like my pins, I must admit. I think I'm a bit OCD sometimes with Well, you pins, know, it's, but a lot of people sort of um, say, oh, do you know what, I'll just wing it. And then the amount of time that you spend maybe unpicking it, yeah. the amount of time that it takes to pin isn't actually that long, is it? No. It holds everything in place, especially for anyone who's newer as well. So yeah. it's good practice to get into, isn't it? You stop and take them out, though, don't you? I do try. Sometimes <laughs> the odd one escapes. Uh, but no, I, I wouldn't, you know, sort of uh, sew over pins purposefully. I, I would do my best to, to take them out. So where are you stopping here? Do you stop so right on that I'm going seam? all the way off. Oh, no, okay. I am yeah. going to go completely off. I don't know where. My yeah, hands we can in see. the way. Yeah, all the way off there. And I'm going to start in that uh, groove in, in that oh, yeah, V in there the v. as well. Yeah. yeah. So all the way across. This is a nice foot. I do like the foot with the guard on, but it can become a little bit tricky when you've got bits that. Um, overhang so perhaps you, you might want to use just a standard quarter inch foot without a guard for this mm -hmm. or just set your machine up to you know using your standard width foot you can set this one I think to, to sew a, a quarter inch Just press to set the seam and then press it out towards the triangle that you've just attached. So now if you look, everything is nice and, and oh, square. Lovely, yeah. You can trim the dog ears off, mm -hmm. it's entirely up to you. I must admit, if I show you the back of mine, 
I'm a bit of an untidy madam and I just leave them, but they do lie flat. I was going to say they're they lie flat. Bit, yeah. It's not too bulky, is it? No, no. And sometimes it can be a nice marker as well. If I show you now, putting on the next layer, those dog ears can just be useful markers for the next section. And what I would do here, again, optional, you, you don't need to do it if you don't want to and you haven't got time, but I, I do find it useful, is to just go across and mark that quarter just on. Well, I find more advanced quarters, you sort of tend to be able to eyeball a quarter of an inch quite yeah. easily, but if you're newer to quarter, it's really this hard to know help. what a quarter yeah. of an inch looks like, so it's yeah. worth taking that time to just... Yeah. With a friction pen mark. Yeah, and it's nice to keep those points as well. Oh, yeah. You know, just for a few minutes of, of marking like this to, um, you know, sort of press your block open and find that all your points are sharp. Um, I, I think it's worth just taking a few minutes. Yeah, it makes all the difference, yeah. doesn't it? So this one, we're going to do exactly the same. It doesn't matter, you know, sort of where you start, but, um, and then you can... Pressing the centre again. So we're aiming for that crease mm -hmm. to be lined up with that point. Oh, and like also with those dog ears. That yeah. actually helps, doesn't it? And then these little tabs that, that I've, I've drawn on. At the moment, they're just ever so slightly over. That doesn't matter. But when we put the next batch on, they will work perfectly for us for lining them up. This fabric does look lovely, doesn't it? It does. It, it's really contemporary. Well, even though it's floral mm. and it's pretty, it's still contemporary because it's that sort of monochrome grey. Yeah. That grey in the centre of the block there, we've got that individually and it is absolutely beautiful by the half metre. Um, there's lots of different fabrics by the half metre, but look, this is, I mean, this is a two metre cut of it. Um, so you could imagine doing, uh, you know, you could do your quilt and if you want to do extra to, to match in with your spare room or your bedroom or a lounge. This is just gorgeous, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Isn't it amazing? It's the first time I've seen this print. It's yeah. brand new in today and it is gorgeous. You could fussy cut these, yeah. you could, oh, there's so much you could do with it. And it wouldn't look out of place in a shared, on a shared bed, even though mm -hmm. it's floral. Mm -hmm. The greys, I think, you know, tone it down. Um, Oh, absolutely. Oh, well, they're just yeah. so in, aren't they? Yeah. You know, you think, oh, is it going to go out, out of fashion? But every yeah. sort of season, they're still all very, very popular. Yeah. Very next at home with John Lewis, isn't it? Yeah. Very nice. See, this, with this foot now, this is where it's just... Just dragging so, a little. Yeah, just uh, lift your foot just to negotiate over those dog ears. Just so you can see on the website a bit clearer, Hannah's going to start to play through, run the graphics for the Urban um, Farmhouse Gatherings collection, these lovely greys and creams, so they'll be directly underneath us on the web as you see them. Thank you, Hannah. What I'll do, if Robin, you could do a quicker overhead shot so I can flash just in between Amanda's sewing what one Hannah's doing. If, if that, if that, no, I'm, I'm happy to sort through because then it's quicker. So that's the one that you want. It's the same but in the cream. Thank you. So, so which way do we need to press these then? Is there so a direction of the seam? I'm just pressing um, out towards the triangle that we've we've just uh, okay. attached. Um, so even though I've pressed a dark towards the light, but yeah. because the fabrics are such good quality, they're not sheer, and you're not going to get, um, you know, a, a shadow showing through. But matching them up now, you can see you, you're starting to get nice, oh, beautiful accurate points. points. So now this is where those little markers come in mm -hmm. handy. Shall I move that away so it's easier to see? So centre crease 
against that point. And then the marker there is going to run up against the edge of the um, one that you've just attached. I didn't actually realise how useful dog ears are as markers. Oh, so that yeah. they are, yeah, and, and because because it's a you're on a bias, so there is potential for it to stretch and be a uh -huh. bit skewiffed. Whereas if you try and keep it. Um, any tips for working Blonder. on the bias? I know you said best press before you I'll start. Say I would just start yeah. well before you start. Try not um, to handle them so much. Yeah, try not to handle them. Um, and press rather than iron. You know, if you start sort of swishing the iron about, you're, you're more likely to stretch them. Um, I mean, if I were doing this at home, um, I probably wouldn't be pressing. Um, I would just be running my thumbnail. Um, I say I am a, a lazy. <laughs> I think it's just because everything's done at, at speed, and it, it, it's just quicker to, um, you know, just run your thumb across, press a crease, and then just press the whole block at the end. Okay. Only because it's such a simple block. I think if I were doing a, a com more complicated block with smaller pieces, I would be more inclined to. To press. It's a lovely pattern to have to showcase some of your favourite fabrics. You know, some of the larger scale yeah. prints, or I'm thinking even, you know, like the Tula Pink, the Queen of Hearts one, the Curious and Curious range. Yeah. It's a fussy cut, like a real lovely print that yeah. you love in the centre. It's beautiful. This is the graphics for this one, by the way, um, which is your grey lavender. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Where are you stitching now, sorry? So again, I'm going from yeah. um, that point. Yeah. Shall I? No, it's fine, we can just go with others. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to start there. Yeah. And I'm going to sew off there. Thank you. You don't need to reverse stitch at this time. No, I wouldn't. Um, to be honest, I wouldn't reverse stitch when I was patchworking. I would only probably do that as I'm doing the bags yeah. or dressmaking. Um, I suppose all the seams getting close. At some point, they're all going to cross over, so it doesn't really um, doesn't really matter. And then the same again on the other side. Yeah, just the same again on the other side, and then that's that block complete. So it really is. I mean, I'm just doing one here. Um, but if I were making the quilt, I would have them all cut and just chain piece. Um, and you, you can make it really quite quickly. And this is the cream lavender fabric as well, which has got those lovely cream dots all running through. So that's the same again that we've just seen in the grey, but this time in the cream. We're just running through them just so you can see them and do it visually on the website. I, I know they're all very, very popular, but I just wanted to flash them up for you whilst we're going through with Amanda. Brilliant programme, Amanda. Lots of useful Thank tips you. from Helen. Thank you. Okay. Right, that's that block done. You can see how quick it is. Um, yeah, you, you could definitely it does come together, uh, get this. Made. Perhaps you've cut out to, one day, so um, the next. Well, you've got to um, shimmy all, all of your long arm quilting projects along then, so that the next lot of things yeah. are coming in yeah. from this show. Oops. So that's that block complete. And you can see now that you've nice. got nice. And lovely. you've got that clear quarter of an inch then to be able, when we start to sew the blocks together, which is what you want, and then your corners are nice. As long as you've got it, it doesn't necessarily matter if it's a, a scant or an exact quarter of an inch, as long as it's consistent, mm -hmm. you should end up with a block um, that fits. Is that about 12 inch block finish size? So uh, once it's sewn into the quilt, it'll be 12 inches, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's your centre block, that one there. So you'll just make one of those. Oh, sorry, we just hold it up again, please. Yeah, sure, yeah. So we can see, so, uh, hold uh, it up to the quilt. So that's um, going to be the centre block, so you're just going to make one of those. Right. 
and then you're going to make four each of these two. You can swap, you know, sort of the, on, on these four, you could put um, that grey with that white, mm -hmm. although they're the same pattern, so I wouldn't, I'd just swap them. But this one, um, the way that the fabric's been cut, I think you've only got enough to make this colourway, you know, sort of uh, enough to, to make that colourway. Um, so they're your economy blocks. Lovely. It is so clever, isn't it? Because it's, like you I'm say, they're actually such an quite easy, simple yeah, blocks to do. When they're combined, it does look as though it's moving. They're very clever. They are very clever. So we've got now the pinwheel block. Mm -hmm. Really simple, just half square triangles and You've got a choice. I've spun that centre seam. Oh, how do you um, do that? I've never seen I'll, a spun centre seam. I'll show you in a second. But that just means that all the uh, seams then are just lying nice and flat. You can, oh, if, wow. if you don't want to do that, you can press that centre seam open. Oh, have you trimmed them then to you, snip you just them? No, you just unpick a few stitches. Oh, okay. So I'll, I'll get cracking, I'll show you that. I'll leave that there for now. Um, so we want actually two of those and two of those. So what we're going to do, so we've got two grey squares two white squares and this is the one where I think it's quite important to have that contrast just so that you can see the definite pinwheel pattern and you're going to take your two light squares and just draw a diagonal line from one corner to the opposite corner I'm pressing down hard I know I'm just you know so it might look like I'm scoring through um, but I'm only pressing lightly and I'm pressing down really hard with the ruler so there shouldn't be any stretch or distortion going on. I mean, you, you can, you know, go from the middle out. Mm, good idea. I, I don't tend to. I just press hard, and then we're just going to pair these up, and we're going to sew a quarter of an inch either side of those, either side of that centre line. Right. So that isn't your sew line. You go. No, that's, that's just the guide line, line for your. Um, your uh, quarter inch foot right and I would be tempted again I know it's just a little bit more I like to put a pin in the other corners just to keep it still just so that it doesn't shift as we're sewing and I would batch again batch uh, sew these chain stitch these yeah this um, is what i was i was thinking when i was thinking when i said oh would you make up a block first would you make up one pinwheel block and then do your chain yeah I, th I think i probably would yeah. yeah um just so that you yeah any mistakes are made on scrap rather than best um and we're going to make you'll see from the quilt we've got four complete pin pinwheels so we're just going to make four blocks mm -hmm the uh, half pinwheels and the quarter pinwheels I'll just make slightly differently yeah. just because I want the seams to lay in different directions yeah um, you could with the half one carry on and make a half square triangle but the way that I've pressed the seams um, to me just made more sense to sew it slightly differently it's so clever isn't it because I'm now seeing you know the long ones between the squares those long pinwheels can you see the yeah. side, well, by your head there now you've got the um Triangles that are yeah. all meeting, so they make another shape in yeah. themselves. And then These if, if you here. looked at it, you could almost think that that was a block. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's what it's, I thought it was. Yeah, it yeah. Is a brilliant, very clever. So I'm just going to as quick as I can. Remember, we're just playing through all the different fabrics. Um, don't you rush, Amanda. We're fine for time. Sure, okay. Yeah, it's only us on our own in the last hour. So all right. You show you what you need to show. <laughs> You can stay with me till one if you want. Okay. Um, the one that we've got at the moment is this one. Thank you. If you wanted to buy by the half metre. Oh, these are going to be lovely for lots of different projects. I am thinking, again, on the website, Alison Marion has got a pattern for the Oxford pillowcases. Imagine having these on a bedspread. They'd be really be nice. Like a posh hotel, wouldn't it? That would be really nice. 
Uh, we do have the same print here in the grey, uh, which I'll quickly show you is this one. It's lovely quality fabric as well, isn't it? You know it you is. can always rely on Moda to bring yeah. you top quality quilting weight fabrics. Machine washable as well. Um, that's the, the, the grey background, exactly the same as before. It's not a solid grey, it's a slightly sort of tone, mottled effect. Really pretty. 749. It's a nice scale of print as well because even mm. with your patchwork, you're not going to lose it. No. Thank you. Not missing anything, am I, Amanda? So, just coming down now, sewing on the second side of that line. Away, take the pins out, and in the pattern, I've um, all these sizes um, are, are, are cut, um, sewn accurate. That you, you've not got to trim them down. Oh, that's so good. So perhaps that's another reason for doing a scrap block. Mm -hmm. You've got no leeway. You know, mm -hmm. if you're slightly off, you can't. Oh, I'll trim it up at the end. Um, I've just done it so that it is the exact size that you need. Um, I'll cut it first. <laughs> so so just, then that is your cut line yeah, through the centre. So yeah, just tight your blade to that pen line. Perhaps it's uh, wise to just check <laughs> that you've actually <laughs> sewn them together properly before you, you start cutting. But. And then we can press. So I'm going to press everything flat, and that uh, you'll, so I'll use the friction pen so that mark's disappeared, and it's going to be inside, so it shouldn't really be a problem. And we're going to press towards the dark. If you press to the dark, then you, your seams then should always nest nicely. I know you've got lots of steam going on here, but at home, would you use a dry iron to do this, or do um, you, are you... Because uh, quilt is also sort of different thing. Yeah, Some people uh, are really against steam. To be honest, I'm... I'm not overly... whatever work, you know, sort of... Yeah? <laughs> I was like, you, if, if I were at home, this is... Whilst I was my... I would press at the very end, but if I were at home, all that I'd be doing... You are a rebel. I know. <laughs> The <laughs> sirens in a minute. <laughs> I would just press like that. I mean, you can because it's biased, I suppose you can run the risk of stretching it. But for me, the, the bounce that's left in that seam is really good for, you know, when you want to, to start interlocking your seams. Right. That little bit of bounce gives you a proper lock. Oh, whereas okay. if you've pressed it flat really as flat. a pancake, Sometimes there's nothing there, right. almost. So it, it's up to you. But I, I love the fact that you know you, you say no hard and fast rule. Whatever works for you, yeah. whatever you find works, go for it. Brilliant. So we need now to lay these out. Ready to sew. And this is the bit where I usually uh, come unstuck. I'll lay it out like that. I'll yeah. scoop it up, take it to the sewing machine. Completely, yeah, you know, like goldfish, one swim round the bowl and it's gone. <laughs> and then I come back and they're all higgledy-piggledy. Um, so, yeah, perhaps sort of pin them while you've got them flat. And all I'm going to do is just interlock that seam, pop a pin in at the bottom, and then a pin at the top, although perhaps you don't particularly need one at the top. Just almost you as a guided sort of direction. Yeah, pr yeah, just to show you where you're... Or which seam you're aiming to sew. Just so you can see, the uh, cream berry fabric is really nice, isn't it? 749 by the half metre. And um, again, I've left the, the dog ears on. 
which doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, I, I think they look quite pretty, to be honest. Not that anybody would ever see them, but um, when you spin them, I just think they look <laughs> quite pretty. Oh, so. thank you, Christine. What of a show today. Vicky, the mode and monochrome grey fabrics are wonderful. They look like silver. Yeah, they do. Mm. They do, don't they? And um, what a wonderful demo from Amanda today. So talented and brilliant to see Debbie Shaw again. It's been a lovely Sunday morning, hasn't it? it it's been quite relaxed as well, hasn't yeah. it? It's, the roads are quiet, although yeah. it was windy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, it's a bit calmer, though, today, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It is a bit calmer. And I bet you haven't seen Debbie for a long time. No, um, we only used to see a hop and a catch um, when we were sewing quarter because we were always sort of heads down in the office yeah. and the guest presenters and yourself yeah. and John, it would just be three minutes out, every hour it. and uh, yeah, yeah, it would, uh, yeah, so it's, it's nice to uh, see some familiar faces again. And it's quite strange because the office it's almost as though they've just lifted the office and moved it. Is the, the oh, desks, just, the chairs, the layout, it. it's all oh, yeah. very familiar. So have you seen the new studio then? Have you been I have. It? Nice. Oh, it's fantastic. I'm always there because I work on our sister channel as well. Oh, yes, yeah. So, um, yeah, I've seen it literally from what used to be the office where all of we were all prepping. I have no idea how they've done it so quick. I said, there is no way we're going to be in there, you know, in March because yeah. it was an office. And then I saw the builders come in and I said, how long is it going to take? They said, probably a week. And then obviously all the technical stuff's going in now and it's being decorated. And it, they are so speedy building yeah. studios. But it is nice because we've got areas for the guests, we've got really nice dressing yeah. rooms, we've got all, um, yeah, floor manager, yeah. it's going to be brilliant. Yeah. So again, I'm pressing to the dark. If you always just keep pressing to the dark, all your seams will nest. You, you shouldn't come unstuck. Oh, Lorraine, have a... Oh, you'll have a lovely day. She says, morning, Vicky. I'm going out for lunch today with my 93-year-old dad. His home's been closed for visitors since Christmas Day. So I'm so happy yeah. I'm going to see him. Oh, Christine. <gasps> have the best day. Have the best day. That's lovely. So we've got our two halves there. And we're now just going to sew. And again, because you've pressed to the dark side, those seams will just lock. Do you still pin? I will. I um, yeah. I, I am a, an excessive pinner. <laughs> <laughs> I do like, and I always pin. So I'm going to sew from that end to that end, and I'll pin just before the intersection. Okay. Just so that when the needle hits it, hopefully it stayed put. If the pin was after, it could have shifted by the time oh, I've got to tip. it. And that's why, looking at Amanda's quill, every point looks perfect because you are an excessive pinner, <laughs> and you can see that the results are so accurate. I think though as well, if you've got, say so if you've sussed out your quarter inch seam, I do like to use a guard. Um, I think that does help with, with keeping everything accurate um, and, and just go steady. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I'm, you know, sort of rushing today, but um, just take your time, you know, sort of just set yourself a target of one or two blocks a day and yeah. just make it over a, a week or two. Yeah, telly sewing is a bit different, isn't it, Amanda? It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is, have we seen the grey one yet? This is the grey there is. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, you oh. carry on. You carry sorry. on. There's the grey. We're just showing them in, oh. like, as we're sewing along with Amanda. Don't want to interrupt sorry. you, but we just show them so that you've got oh, them no, there and right. on the web. I am prone, I think, to, um, to go into a bit of a, you know, a, a zen. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> yeah, switch it's off and, um, you know, my family will say, you're deaf. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. Okay, so that now I'm going to press flat, and you've got a choice now at this stage whether you want to. I'll just show you. I'm going to twist it, but I'll show you. If you wanted to, you could open that long seam that you've just sewn and just press it open mm -hmm. and that would stay nice and flat for um, quilting um, but if we 
Oh, I've not seen this technique before. Not? This no. is good. What did you call it? A twist, uh, twisting the seam. Twisting um, seam. I don't know if that's the correct term, but that's. Ah. So if I move this out of the way so you can see it against the Oh, brain. yeah. Let's come on in. Let's see what okay. we're doing. So the last seam that I've sewn is that long one. But there's also this vertical seam, so I'm just going to unpick those stitches. The diagonal ones can stay in, but just unpick them front and back. Just a couple of stitches? Just a couple of stitches, just down to where they meet, that oh, long horizontal. Yeah. And because that horizontal's passed through the vertical, it should secure it enough so that it doesn't unravel. And then we're going to press again to the dark side. So at this point now, that should just pull a lot of straggly threads. But as that one, let me bring the board back to press it. So as that seam goes to the dark and this goes to the dark. That does make it light nice in fact because there are a lot of seams that meet there. Yeah it can. But yeah that's the the gist of it. Perhaps not that easy to see on such pale fabrics but No that's really it good. Just, it, it makes almost a small pinwheel on the um, the back. And look at that, um, so matching your, perfectly. Put that there, so that's what you're out, well, that's one way of doing it, or if you prefer, you can just press that centre seam open. So you're going to go ahead and make four of the pinwheel blocks. Yeah. And then we've just got to make then um, eight of the half pinwheels and four of the quarter pinwheels. So the quarters, obviously, are in the, the corners and the halves. There's two on each side. Right. OK. So just because of the way I want the seams to lie flat and everything to, to intersect and nest nicely, I'm just going to sew them separately. Um, but you could, if you wanted to, to make that, you could do uh, a half square triangle. But I'm just going to... Um, piece it old-fashioned way just and I'm going to start at the bigger corner I think that's just easier to I find if you start at going. a really sharp point then it can chew it, it down just, into yeah, the, yeah. the feed that's dogs. what happened with that Christmas right. quilt it just disappeared <laughs> and when I pulled it out there was nothing left it was just thread um, so yeah just maybe start at the chunky end and then you can just travel off. Are there any of the quilt patterns left, Hannah? Ten. That's it. It's ten left. If you do want the okay. pinwheel dance quilt pattern, seeing how easy it comes together, this would be a great first big quilt, maybe. It would, yeah. And then when you know how to do it, I mean, try different fabrics. It's going to look completely different, isn't it? In like yeah. rainbow fabrics, in your, your traditionals, in the red and creams, yeah. in the greys, it's going to look really different. Yeah. And you could even do patch. I mean, you've not necessarily got to have four cream. You could have two cream and two others, and, and again, that you know, you, to, to introduce even more colour and uh, movement. So I'll just make another one. So that first one, then, um, just that one seam creates the quarter. Um, you know, the the, the corner mm -hmm. block, and then I'll just make another one just to show you the half. Um, and they all want to be pieced in the same orientation. I don't know what that. So, grey, you know, sort of whatever's okay. on which side, keep keep it that way. And you, in the diagrams, very clearly on the instructions, actually, you can see your colour placement of light and dark yeah. to make sure that you get that moving effect. If you are using yeah. your own fabrics, then um, 
Amanda's put very clearly which ones you like fabric, which side you dark fabric, yeah. and the placement of those fabrics as well yeah. in the guide. And again, just to the dark side. And we're just going to piece along there oh, yeah. now. Yeah. Um, but just doing it this way, it seems more long-winded, but we can get our seams then to, to all face in the right direction when it comes to putting the whole quilt together. And you will have a, a tiny sharp point yeah. there. But Go for it. Yeah. You could do like, um, have you tried doing like the leader and follower, a little yes, bit of fabric before? Yeah, yeah, yeah that would help. It tricks the machine to thinking yeah, that it's going yeah. onto a normal bit of fabric. And just keep everything lined up as it goes through. And then again over to the dark. So you're going to make uh, out of those, that's a spare, and four of those. Um, and it's time now to start putting the quilt together. And we're going to do it in diagonal rows. Right, okay. So you're going to take one of your um, economy blocks and add. No, I've got that wrong, haven't I? That's it. <laughs> Crikey, they look big. <laughs> and add. There is a template guide, isn't there? There's um, a placement guide. Sorry, not yes, guide. yeah. There's I just got the, uh, on the triangles in the wrong direction. Thought, Crikey, <laughs> I've gone wrong oh, there. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to go through uh, triangle, economy block, triangle. And then your next row will be triangle, economy block, full pinwheel, economy block, and mm -hmm. triangle okay and you just go across 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 sew the rows up and then as a, a, a last um, part is, is to just add on those corner blocks the quarter pieces in each corner mm -hmm. and then that then is essentially the, the center of your quilt finished um, side sashing first top and bottom second you can do it in a different or, you know, so some, some people like to have um, put the top on first and have longer sides. I, I just prefer to have the, you know, sort of the, the sides on yeah. first and then across. Yeah. Your accent strip and your borders. And so when you cut your fabric out for your borders, mm -hmm. cut it lengthwise and you won't have any joins. Um, and that's it then, just quilt, or is it quilt, bind and finish. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yes, oh, so, and send it off to, uh, of course, a little quilt house yes. if you want to have it long or quilted. Long as beautifully as that. Thank you so much. You're it's been amazing. And we need more of everything <laughs> back again when we see you. Oh, is that the next time we'll be seeing you? So the birthday, birthday show, uh, I've got, um, I think I'm going to be doing a mode of quilt, uh, just demoing a mode of quilt and then bringing a couple of my own. Fantastic. Unless perhaps that changes, I don't know, honestly. <gasps> Very exciting. We definitely need more of those makeup bags for sure. That's going to be very, very exciting. Thank you so much. It's been You're lovely welcome. to see you Andrew, as well. Yeah. So what day, which day over the birthday are you back? The, did you say the... Oh, is it Tuesday the, the Tuesday. first? I think it's, I want to say 11 and 1, but I'm not sure. You are, Tuesday the oh. first. Oh, yeah, <laughs> perfect. Um, thank you ever so much. You're thank welcome. you. I think that's the long arm quilting day, isn't it? Yeah, two o'clock. Um, okay. Don't go anywhere. Just so you know, the pattern is about to sell out. If you have got it in your basket, please check out Over the Break. Uh, any of those fabrics that we saw earlier, they're individually all available on the website, uh, including the Lynette Anderson Colours of Love collection. Everything in the, you know, by half metres is still available. We've tried to get through as much as we could. Um, uh, you saw the modus, but everything will be played through during the break, so it's all easy to access on the website. Uh, we're coming back with, we've been looking at the 680 plus, we're gonna have um, uh, uh, answer any of your questions on that. 
We also have a handful of Italian nines. We're talking about embroidery. It's an embroidery and sewing machine. It's amazing. Um, so we're going to talk through the features and functions of that machine in a moment. Um, plus, is that the five? What machine's that on the desk over there? 550, amazing back in stock. Any questions that you have about any of the machines, get them in and we'll try and answer them. Check out your baskets on those fabrics and we'll see you right after this. Hello, I'm John Taylor from John's Taylor Made. You may remember me from the Great British Make Off competition. Um, I sewed my tablet rest last year with the lovely John Scott. Uh, Sewing Street have invited me back again to do a few more demonstrations for you, but they've also asked me to answer some questions. So the first thing I sewed was a ladybird pincushion and I made it at primary school. And my late nanny Jo, she taught me how to knit and I think I got my love of sewing from her. She used to sew on that sewing machine over there. Um, something you don't know about me is I sew standing up. Um, my husband built me this sewing table. It's very similar to the one that you see on Sewing Street. My tip is more haste, less speed. My nan was always telling me to slow down um, and to enjoy what I was sewing and I would make less mistakes. And we also have a YouTube channel and a few Facebook pages. I cannot wait to start my journey with Sewing Street and I will see you there very soon. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click join group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account, and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. 
Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account, and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals, and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account, and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals, and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, right, we've got a lot to talk about in the next 40 minutes. So, anybody who has received their 680 over the last few days, oh my word, how exciting. What an exciting bit of post. Message in and let me know how you're getting on. I know when I was on air last on Thursday, loads of people were messaging saying it was being delivered that day. Um, it's finally here. I've been talking about it on pre-order for ages and I'm so thrilled that it's here officially in stock it's amazing it's our absolute flagship machine and we love it for a number of reasons i know that john scott adores this machine he owns it um it, it is a really versatile machine in terms of your sewing growth you could be able to do lots of different kinds of projects with it from bag making dress making to quilting as it's a big machine um it's a big machine but it's really user friendly and, and please don't be put off by the word computerized on the graphics because Computerised things tend to scare me too. I'm not very good at technical, a bit of a technophobe, but this machine is so user-friendly. I mean, both Debbie Shaw and Amanda don't have this machine at home and are comfortable to come in and do demonstrations on television with it. Um, that's how, this is why I say it's our sort of flagship machine. Now, it's got a huge range of features and functions. We've done whole hours on this machine before. So I just want to run through for anybody who has not seen this machine recently or has been umming and ahhing a bit on the fence with it. I'll go through its features and functions with you. Any questions that you have though, please get them in. Also, ask on the fan page. Loads of our viewers own this machine. It's worth asking questions. Uh, it is our, our flagship machine. It's the one that so many of us choose. And don't get me wrong, we've got some beautiful machines, but it is the John Scott machine. What more can we say? Um, Stuart has got the 680, Stuart Hiller, but not the 680 plus. So this is the same machine. Um, but this is actually um, his big sister, isn't it? So, 
key things to remember is that here we offer split pay. So you have got a huge saving um, with your split pay, haven't you? It's 249 pounds and 80 pence on split pay, five split payments and also five year warranty today. So uh, key features available for advice, the advanced hobby sewers and the beginner this model is our excellence range provides a, so, a large sewing space for extensive functions with an extension functions uh, while ensuring simple operation and highest sewing efficiency you'll enjoy every moment spent sewing and that's the key thing isn't it the amount of times I I have a machine at home which I always felt let me down and I would spend more time trying to troubleshoot it than actually enjoying sewing so what I love about this machine is we come in here plug it in and you can just get sewing it's so efficient it's brilliant um, we've had lots of messages come in. Hi, Vic and team. I have this machine and it's great. So easy to use and lots of great features. That's from Lynn. Thanks, Lynn. Literally just sent this second. How speedy is that within the next, in the last minute, Hannah? I purchased a machine for myself last year. It was my Christmas seventh to myself. Just buy it, says Marilyn. Not, it wasn't me. Not the, uh, you know, salesperson on the telly. This was Marilyn. Just buy it. Um, what I love about it is the amount of stitches. It's, as you said, so versatile. I mean, look, the stitch chart displays all 170 stitches, 10 buttonholes, an alphabet as well. And I don't know whether you can see this, Robin, but you've got so many pictorial stitches. This isn't an embroidery machine, but you've got the option to do personalization and monogramming with the alphabet. You can see you've got loads of decorative stitches here from hearts to musical notes and stars and vines. You've got cars, you've got spools, um, you've got your alphabet here. Huge uh, array of utility stitches and applique stitches. Decorative stitches, quilting stitches, it's brilliant. They're all selected into different modes as well, so it makes it even easier to navigate through uh, as you're using the machine. Also, there's a section here that says straight stitch needle plate. It comes with a straight stitch needle plate, and these, oh, hang on, these are the stitches that you can use with that needle plate. Don't worry though, because anything you're not allowed to do, your machine will tell you. It does a little beep, 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 beep. No, you can't do that. So you, you're not going to, um, it goes beep, 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 beep. If you put on your straight needle plate, for example, and you try to select a satin stitch, it won't let you. It knows which needle plate you've got on. So it's very, very clever indeed. Um, it's got top loading bobbin. You can see when it's running low. Uh, it's got an automatic needle threader. It's got lots of space for storage. I love this wardrobe. I call this the feet wardrobe. We've taken them all out because I want to show you what feet you get as standards. But look, these all pull forward so you can keep everything all nice and tidy and neat. Even a circular pivoting pin in there as well we've hidden. Um, now it also has a free arm. If you're sewing in the round, if you're doing trouser legs, if you're doing sleeves, if you're doing bags, if you're doing, there's loads of projects. Um, that might require you to sew in a round. So it does have a free arm, really easy to access. And the front has extra storage. And this is where you can keep your um, second needle plate as well, which is really easy to interchange. It has the option of doing free motion quilting. On the side of the machine, you've got a, a little lever here, pull that across, your feed dog, dogs will drop. You've got a full selection of uh, free motion feet, uh, which again come as standard, so you can have a go at free motion quilting. You can do your normal quilting with your walking foot that comes as standard. See, these are all things that normally are additions. You would pay another 50 pound for a fr uh, walking foot, for example, from Elmer, whereas it comes as standard with this machine. Got the extra, height i think there's so much to talk about with this machine i could talk about it the whole hour love the fact that it's got a thread cutter that is a game changer speed control needle up down locking stitch reverse stitch you can use it with or without a foot pedal it's got a automatic needle threader which is oh there it is which is absolutely brilliant if you go to our YouTube page, Jane actually does a whole out of the box experience. So you can literally watch this is just over 20 minutes long. Oh, this is attaching the walking foot. So maybe you're upgrading. There's out of the box, um, but then there's also 
key stages with the 680 plus so oh brilliant those of you that are getting it today i'm not going to go through everything now because you'll be able to watch it in your own convenience at um at, on youtube at home alongside all of the hope that you help that you get from elna on their website jane brogan works for elna and she's done these especially for us um, lovely Elliot has filmed and edited them for us. So if you do want to go to the website, the YouTube channel, they're all there. There's loads, there's loads. How to set up your machine, attaching the walking foot, how to sit straight on your sewing machine, winding a bobbin, threading your sewing machine, setting up your Elna. There's loads on there, which is brilliant. Um, as I said, it's really user friendly. The key things now it's back in stock to remember is that we've now managed to negotiate with Elna to extend the warranty. It's normally a two year warranty. We've extended it by three years. So you've got a five year warranty when purchasing today. It will come directly from Elna, but under our postage and packaging, which is just £3.95. Uh, and you've got it on split pay. So five years free warranty on your machine. You'd normally pay extra for that if you wanted five years. Hi, Sharon. Sharon said, I'll have mine delivered Thursday. How are you getting on with it, Sharon? Have you got it out of the box yet? Or are you just looking at it? Uh, how are you getting on? Because I know a lot of people, you know, take their time. Some people get the manual out, start reading the manual first. It's got a great manual. I went through the manual with Cara this week and um, everything is really, really uh, thorough. So for example, Cara was doing a plique and it said to change your foot pressure to a four on a plique and different things like that. that I thought, oh, I'd never touched the, 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 the foot pressure and um, it really helped. So read the manual as well. Um, hi Vicky, on the Anna 680 Plus, how can I do a quarter of an inch seam if I don't want to use the foot with the guard? Right, well, can you see here, stitch number 06 moves your needle automatically to the correct position. So we saw both Debbie and Amanda um, using this machine earlier on and I know that Debbie um, and Amanda both no, um, Amanda moved the needle to get a, a quarter, an eighth of an inch, didn't she? She put it right up to a nine to move the needle right to the left to do a top stitching. But the great thing, you can move it using, I'll, tell you, I'll show you how you do it, but there is a quarter of an inch setting on this. So if you're piecing, it's zero six, which is brilliant. So it's already there. You don't need to put your foot on. You can still just line it up with the edge of your, your regular foot and it will move the needle accordingly. I'd always recommend anyway, just measuring, practice the seam, check that you're happy with it. Absolutely love it so far. Very excited to see what more I can do. Oh, Sharon, I had a message on Thursday saying they'd had their machine for over a year and they're still learning new things it can do. It's, it's one of those that will grow with you. It comes with an extension table. So if you're only doing small projects at the moment, but you want to extend to doing quilts like this, it will manage because it's got the big throat space. It comes with an extension table. Oh, you're going to love it. I'm so excited for you, Sharon. Ultimate machine for me. So the feed that come as standards. Um, I don't actually think we've got them all here, you know. We've picked out a few to show you. I think some of them are in the uh, the green room from Amanda setting up today. So um, I've got the quarter of an inch foot here. What else have I got? I've got the um, A foot. So that's your standard foot. It's really, really easy to interchange between them. There's a clip on the back of the machine and they can just clip on. They've all got li different letters on there as well. So when you turn your machine on and you select a stitch, it will recommend what foot to put on. So it might say the A foot. It might say your satin stitch foot, which is F foot. So it's got a really lovely clear open foot, open toe there, and it will allow your needle to swing across without breaking it. It's got a quarter of an inch foot there, so you've got that guard to follow the line. G, this is the one that Amanda was using, which was a blind hem foot. Looks very similar, but the guide is right in the centre there. You've got E, which is a zipper foot. Um, we've got D, what's D? That looks like a rolled hem foot. Rolled hem foot. Thank you, I'm getting better with all of my, uh, my feet knowledge. Getting to know my feet. Um, You've got your free motion attachments here. So you've got two different free motion feet. Um, 
one of them you can put obviously your your clear guide there uh, guide there um and, and these can all attach to them look you've got this one with a big target on and very very clear if you want to get really accurate um, you've got a walking foot included, you've got your buttonhole foot, um, even your walking feet. I think that's 50, that's 50 separately. It's 50 pounds separately. Um, I think your free motion foot's 50 pounds as well. Here's the list of everything that comes in the box included. So you don't need to pay an extra 50 pounds for any of those feet. Have a look at this. A foot, D foot, which is your rolled hem foot. You've got your zipper foot, satin stitch foot, open toe satin stitch foot, blind hem foot, overlock foot, quarter of an inch seam foot, closed toe darning foot, open toe darning foot, even feed foot, buttonhole uh, foot, which is your art, your stabilizing plate. It's got a buttonhole sewing foot. It's got a circular pivoted pin. Uh, it's got a quilting guide bar quilting guide bar for even feed foot uh, it's also got your well, that's your walking foot your straight stitch needle plate five bobbins 10 unit uh, kit easy bobbins you've got your seam ripper your limp brush you've got different size spools depending on what size uh, spools you're working with threads you're working with uh, additional spool pin if you want to do twin needling it's got the screwdriver to change to the only one you need to get your screwdriver out for is your walking foot and your free motion foot and again really easy to change uh, your touch sensor stylus. You can use this with a knee lift if you want. You do get a knee lift included. Extra wide extension table, a foot controller, and a semi hard cover, um, all included with the 680 plus. I think it's 10 kilos in weight, if I'm not mistaken. It's a big weighting machine. Yeah, a weighting machine that's not going to hop around your table. It's a real, a, a real workhorse, and that's always something that. If you're looking for a machine to, to upgrade to, have a look at the, the key features, have a look and see if you're gonna be able to grow with it. And also, notice the extras that this has. Normally machines uh, at this sort of price point might not have five year warranty, might not have an extension table, might not be able to have this, uh, you might be able to find the machine elsewhere, but is it gonna be able to be you know, on split payments? 250 pounds, less than 250 pounds on split pay. And that is 0% interest as well, which I think is just amazing. Um, if you've got any questions about it, please do get them in. Of course, anything that I can answer on air, I will. But as I said, if it's after one o'clock, go on the fans page. Go on the fan page. Now this is, uh, again, another Elna. If you love Elna, but we're all looking at different price points, obviously, this one, might be your second machine to your 680 plus. I know a lady who has a 680 plus, she also has a holiday home where she has this machine. They look very sort of similar in terms of the buttons, really, really easy to navigate through. And personally, I love this machine because it's got the Elna quality, it's got the Elna name, which you know we can trust. It comes with a two year warranty. It's got a UK customer service team if you've got any problems, but also it's got key features like your, uh, your speed variation. You've got the speed control. Uh, I know that Amanda said earlier on, if you've got a, a, a needle down setting on your button, that, on your machine, that's really interesting. You've got that one there. If you're coming up to a corner and need to pivot, if you're doing some really intricate sewing and you want to stop and, uh, and rejiggle, that's brilliant. You've also got your uh, locking stitch, your reverse stitch. Use it with or without a foot pedal. It again has an automatic needle threader. It's got your, uh, almost like your speed dial buttons. You've got a, a straight stitch. You've got a zigzag. You've got an overcasting stitch and you've got a buttonhole. Your stitch guide or your stitch chart is there, your quick reference guide. So you've got 50 stitches there. Lots to play around with. Let's face it, how many stitches do you use on a day to day basis? You've got a zigzag, you've got a lightning stri stitch. So if you're doing dressmaking, um, you, you've got an over edge, uh, like an, almost like an overlooking stitch. There's lots of stitches to play around with. Uh, now, have a look at the key features. This is your technical features of the 550. Uh, so it's got the spo sewing space of 170 millimetres. Still has a free arm, still has a free arm, which is great. It's got the backlit LCD screen, really, really clear to see uh, what stitches you're selecting and how to override your stitch width and stitch length. 
Uh, you've also got the full rotary hook with transparent bobbin cover. You've got your built-in needle threader. Seven piece retractable feed dog, so it feeds your fabrics through beautifully. And um, it's got built-in white LED lights. You can see really clearly exactly what you're sewing. Extra high presser foot position, so if you are quilting, you can lift your foot even further than the standard position. You've got your stitch reference chart, uh, chart which is stored on the side of the machine, very convenient. Start, stop, reverse, auto lock stitch and needle up down. What I like about this machine is if you are not somebody who necessarily sews every day, if you don't have a, de a designated craft room, I sew on the dining room table still, it's really nice to be able to put it away and bring it out. Um, not everybody, you know, we don't all have the luxury of being able to sew every single day. So if you do use a spare room, for example, or if you, you like me sewing on the dining table, it's dinner time, you want to put it away. It's nice and lightweight. It's not going to be jumping around your table when you're sewing, but it's light enough to be able to, to be portable. And it comes with a really lovely hard cover to keep it dust and lint free, which is great. Keep it nice and safe. What about to take to workshops and classes? I doubt I'll be taking my 680 plus to my local class, you know, to lug that around every every week. But something that's a bit smaller and a bit more compact, but still got the quality, um, is brilliant. It is again on split pay, four split payments of 137 pounds and 25 pence for your excellence 550. It looks very, very similar. It's the same size as the uh, the 6, 6, 560 and 570. Uh, this is the most affordable at £549. In fact, it's one of the most affordable machines we offer. Fantastic. You can still take the, the feed dogs down, which actually, I must say, yes, it doesn't come with a walking foot and it doesn't come with a free motion foot. However, this machine, you can buy them separately and add them to it. The first machine that I was sewing on, once you'd outgrown it, you'd outgrown it. You can't expand to it. So it comes with an extension table. Um, so if you want to start doing free motion quilting, you can lower the feed dogs on this and you can use one of the Elna, um, as long as it's the right shank, make sure you get in the right shank for it, the right category. You can ask Elna, they'll be able to tell you which one to get. Um, and they, uh, and then you can have an experiment with free motion quilting or, or with, with a walking foot, obviously. So that's the 550. I just wanted to mention about both of them. You can see the difference in size. This one comes with a two year warranty today. If you are buying the 680, we have extended that warranty for to five years for you. Um, they're both brilliant machines. And now under the same umbrella as Elna is Janome. Uh, I'm gonna take you over. I'm just gonna grab my microphone. We never have this machine in. I'll always remember back in the days of sewing quarter, I've been talking to Debbie and Amanda. I think now we're turning two very soon. It's, it's just a nostalgic time, isn't it, birthdays, to talk about years gone by. And um, this was one of the first machines that I was ever exposed to as a sewer. And I was like, oh my word, this is like a spaceship. Are you kidding? This does everything. Now, if I'm being brutally honest, I was a bit dubious at the start because I thought it's a combo. Had a bad experience with a washer dryer and um, I've always liked separate things. But this is the top of the range sewing machine, the top of the range embroidery machine combined. So you are absolutely not settling for either to be able to get your combo machine. But if you love embroidery and you love sewing, oh, this is incredible. Now. We haven't had this on air since last year, late last year, in fact, and we have only got a handful of these today. Um, when we first offered it, um, we didn't actually, I don't think, we didn't do split pay. So this is amazing and hopefully a bit more accessible if you do want to uh, take the plunge into getting your embroidery and sewing machine. It's brilliant. So, I mean, we can't even fit it all on the desk, if I'm honest. It comes with a lot. I've done a full hour talking about this machine with Jane and it still wasn't enough to scratch the surface. Um, right, look, the text. We've had to make small be to fit them on the screen. These are your standard accessories that come with the machine. It comes with loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. We couldn't fit it all on the screen. Um, I'm not gonna read them all out, but you can see there, standard accessories, um, which has got all of your sewing feet that we love and know and expect, like your free motion, 
like your walking foot, your blind hand foot, or all of the feet that you need as a sewer, but then also comes with all of your extras, obviously, as an embroiderer. Um, it's really easy to interchange between them, and we've done it many times on the show before. This is the only current Janome machine that we offer. We obviously use Elna. Elna um, is, of course, a brand that we, we see a lot with sewing machines. Um, they are the same uh, umbrella as Janome, they're sister companies. And, 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 but for us to say that this is the sewing and embroidery machine that we want, we'll bring you one Janome machine, this is the one that we want. I mean, that speaks volumes, doesn't it, about the quality of it. Um, it is a big machine, it is a big machine. Uh, can I show you as well? So, this comes off the back. It just literally slots on the back and comes off. And then you can, if you want, you can keep this on all the time whilst you're sewing. It doesn't matter. This then slots onto the back of the machine. This is your carriage for your embroidery. So then that will sit on the back like that. That will slot into place. Really quick and easy to change in between. If you don't want to keep the embroidery machine uh, or carriage on the back all the time, there is a separate case for it. But I think that adds even more bed space when you're sewing, doesn't it? It's just when you select it to embroidery on the on the machine, the carriage will then open out. Just make sure you've got room at the back, obviously, for the carriage to open out, to then be able to select what frame you want, choose what design you want. Not only can you make your own garment, you could put your own logos and own designs on it as well. Not only does it have a huge amount, in fact, I've got all of the, um, the, the uh, info up from their website and I suggest anybody who's umming and ahhing about this to go on to the Janome website and see. So, Stitch Composer, the unique Stitch Composer, Stitch Composer program allows you to create and edit stitches from your computer. A hundred stitches are built into the program or for truly customised experience, create your own from scratch. The program is easy to use and transferring stitches to your machine in a snap. So there's 300 built-in stitches. This is what I'm talking about sewing, by the way. 300 built-in stitches, including 11 buttonholes and 10 different alphabets, uh, can give you a perfect range of stitches for any task. Special buttonhole settings allow fine adjustments for precise detail. Um, but you can also use different apps on your iPad, on your smartphone. Um, Janome apps, there's AccuSetter, AccuEdit, AccuMonitor, there's a list of them on the website, which bring a whole new dimension to your sewing and your embroidery, where you can actually watch how long your design, if you're doing an embroidery design, for example, how long it's got left, you can watch it from your iPad. You can transfer from your Stitch Composer straight onto the iPad without, uh, straight onto your machine from your iPad without having to even connect it with a USB. It's all Wi-Fi. How amazing is that? This one does have a USB port as well, um, which, so you can connect it with USB. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. As I said, there is so much with this that we could talk to talk about. Um, differences with the 680 plus and this one on a sewing basis, it, this one has a bobbin sensor. How cool is that? So basically, when your bobbin is starting to run low, it will tell you you've got 50% left on your bobbin, you've got 20% left on your bobbin. It will let you know when it's about to run out, which is brilliant. And it has got a self-winding bobbin on the top, so an independent bobbin winder. So whilst you're sewing, you can be also um, winding a new bobbin. There are lots of videos online. If you have a look on uh, our Sewing Street's YouTube channel, um, you might be able to find, or just type in Janome Italia 9 sewing an embroidery machine and, and you'll be able to find demonstrations with Jane. This one has got a huge amount of stitches on uh, as standard for sewing uh, before you even go through to the embroidery section. This is really cool as well. So this button here, it looks very, very similar to the Elna 680 in terms of your needle up, down, your lock in stitch, your scissor cutter, your reverse, your stop, stop, you've got your speed control. But this one's different. This one lifts your foot up. So if you're holding something in place and you're like, oh, I don't want to have to keep lifting the presser foot up, you can do it with the button. You can do that with the button. And if I'm not mistaken, oh yeah, look, you've got the huge 
huge foot pedal as well. I love that it comes with it. I don't know why, but I love that it comes with a really lo a, a large um, foot controller. I suppose it makes everything a bit easier, doesn't it? I'm always faffing, looking for my foot pedal under my, under my table, whereas you're not going to lose that, are you? Um, it comes with different size hoops. So any questions that you have about the sewing machine side, let me know. Embroidery, it comes with three different size hoops. There is the large, there you go, here's the sizes for you. So you've got the large one, you've got the medium, and you've got the small. So three embroidery hoops, 140 square. 170 by 200 and 100 by 40. They not only come with, um, with, with the hoops, they also come with their coordinating little grids as well. So you can make sure that everything is all in place, nice and lined up and central to where you want your design. There are so much, so many different designs that you can do in the terms of embroidery. You could do couching with your wool. You can do lace embroidery on here. Uh, you can do so many different really cool fonts with monogramming. Uh, look at this. These, these are all part of the machine that you can do. So if you want to do uh, you know, all of your alphabets with florals on, there's, there's lots of different ones like that. You've got Sashko on here. So you can do sash go stitching. You've got cross stitch on here, so it can make it look like you've done your own cross stitching. I mean, how fancy is that? And it's obviously an embroidery machine, so you can go up to really, really big sizes with your, with your monogramming and with your alphabets. Um, if you have a look on the website, on Janome's website, you'll see uh, more about, have a look at this, you'll see more about the machine in terms of technical features. This is just some of the embroidery features. The machine covers so much and to a really high standard. That uh, was the key for me when I was talking to Jane about it. I said, I'm not being cynical, Jane, but I've had bad experience with a combi washer dryer before. And <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not like scarred by this experience or anything. Hannah's like, oh gosh, what is your life? You've had a bad experience with a washer dryer. See, get on with it, I should say. Um, but anyway, she said, no, this is a high-end sewing machine, a high-end embroidery machine. You think, oh, if something's designed to do two jobs, is it going to do one better than the other? This is the absolute creme de la creme of both brought together from Janome, so you know that you've got that quality. Um, you've got it on split pay as well, which I've never seen with this machine before. This was brand new in for this year today. We haven't seen it on air since last year. Um, just so you know, if everybody who puts it in their, 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 everybody who's put it in their basket, if they choose to check out, we've only got one left. I understand it is a considered decision, but consider it, consider it. I just wanted to let you know that it is here uh, because we haven't had it on air for so, so long. I don't, if I'm being honest, I'm a bit bamboozled um, with what to tell you about it because there's so much that we could go into. You have a huge instruction manual. It's all ring bound so you can work from it. And look, it's all in colour. It's so clear. It's really, really thorough on both embroidery and sewing. And um, it's got a beautiful large touch screen to be able to navigate through. You have your stylus if you want to do, you know, some designing of your stitches to do stitch combinations there's so much that you can do but again when I went through this with Jane I couldn't believe how user friendly it is you would think oh if it's doing it's sewing and embroidery I'm going to get confused whereas actually it's a very clear computer that you can go straight into sewing mode or you can go into embroidery mode and you can choose between the two also it's a colour screen uh, it's, it, it is a, a, a coloured screen which is brilliant for when you're doing different designs. You can see what thread colours they recommend. Um, obviously it's not that clever to know what thread you've put in your machine, but it can show you in colour what your designs are going to look like sh should you use the colours that they've recommended. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. You can see there in fact, I haven't got this plugged in, but it's got highlighted here which you just press between sewing machine or embroidery machine. Um, there's lots of settings uh, to, to tailor it to what kind of sewing and embroidery you do with an amazing memory as well. Um, 
two year warranty through Janome. It will come directly from Janome. So if you bought anything else today, maybe from Amanda or Debbie, um, then it will come separately, but still under our packaging, which is just £3.95 all day, which is unbelievable. Not only does it come with an instructional book, it comes with an instructional DVD as well. So you can watch your da 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 on a Saturday night and learn about your uh, your Janome machine. Why do you call it a da da da? Is it off Peter K? I feel like it's a joke because I've heard that before. I've heard it. Um, right, let me just have a quick scan through because what I'll show you, I'll show you what I'm looking at on my iPad, by the way. There is a huge amount of information on the Janome website, which you can download. Just search this machine and you can see all of its key features. That, I mean, I, d I don't even know where to start with this because look, it just goes on and on and on and on. Still going, still going. That's the instructional uh, manual, basically, all the features. So many of the features that we know and love from the Elna sewing machines transferred over to here. Um, easy changing needle position, 91 needle positions. It's got a nine millimeter zigzag on the sewing machine, which is what we love about uh, Elna. It's got a big workspace. This one is 8.25 inches by 13 inches. So it's a big workspace. Um, you've also got your start stop button, you've got tension control on there, variable zigzag. There's so many different, um, th there's so many different benefits that we love from Elna that are transferred over on the Janome machines as well. Now, oh, I must mention, it's got AccuFeed. If you are working with bulky layers, quilting, dressmaking for sewers this is brilliant so this is your AccuFeed um, AccuFeed Flex you can see that our AccuFeed layered fabric feeding system has long been legendary in the sewing and quilting world for its amazing precision and power the AccuFeed Flex system is removable when not in use and simply store it in one of the um, ample accessory trays so it comes with a big accessory tray as well which um, We've got them all in a bag here, but you get a proper box to keep all your feet. They've all about everything. Key features for quilting and sewing, as well as your embroidery. How many of us, you know, do more than one craft? How many of us, especially since watching Sewing Street, I know so many people who said, I was a dressmaker, I've now made my first quilt. I was a bag maker, I've now started dressmaking. So I love the fact that we all like to dabble, don't we? Um, this is brilliant that you could make your own embroidered quilt labels with this machine. You can start your own business and do your own logos. I mean, it's brilliant. So have a serious think about it. As I said, I understand it's considered and I don't expect somebody to go, oh, do you know what, I've never even heard of the machine and, and you've, you've, you've sold it to me, Vix. You've told me everything I need to know. I understand you might need to go away and do a little bit of research into it. I just simply wanted to make you aware that this is here because we don't get the chance to talk about it on air very often. It's in when it's in and it's, it's gone. They come in in handfuls. Um, we haven't seen it on air since last year, so I'm really, really pleased that we've got a few of these available. So just to let you know, split pay available, £579.80. Definitely click split pay, 0% interest on that one. Um, now, if you are a uh, embroiderer, this multi-pack is back in stock and it's amazing. Every single time Jane comes in, she says, have you got the stabiliser starter pack? And we often haven't. So because it's in stock, I thought I'd highlight this as well. Free motion quilters as well, or free motion sewing. Um, this is our ideal because you can try out lots of different stabilisers. Water soluble stabilisers in here as well. Um, you've got 12 premium stabilisers, tear away, wash away and cut away. Uh, and what I love about these is that they're not, I've seen sample packs like this and they are sample packs. These are full sheets. So these are going to last you for so, so long and they're just £10.99. There is a book that comes included that tells you how to use them, where to use them, where would you want to use a tear away, where would you want to use a wash away, where would you want to use a cut away and they all have, I don't know whether you can see through the, the plastic there but they have all got labels so if there's one that you particularly get on with, they're a, a Madeira product, is it Madeira? Yeah, Madeira product so if you do want to purchase more of one of them you know exactly which one you want. So really, really handy. That's a great set for 10.99, isn't it? Try out new things, try out new stabilizers. 
Um, the water ones are so cool because you can do lace work, can't you? You can make like jewellery, like three-dimensional um, butterflies and, uh, and flowers. They're absolutely gorgeous with the, the wash away. Um, lots you can do with those and we've been waiting for them to come back into stock. So just for anybody who's thinking about the machine or if you've already got an embroidery machine, that's to let you know. Um, just very quickly, have a look on Pinterest. We've just done a quick search of water soluble stabilizer projects. This is one type of stabilizer. Look, bowls, bookmarks, hair clips, paper clips, tiaras, uh, beautiful freestanding hoop embroidery. There's so much that you can do just with water soluble stabilizers. So that's just one of them. They've got tear away and wash away as well, which are always really useful for, you know, your work wear, things like that, that you want to do a, a big, or towels. The difference with using a stabiliser, I haven't got the difference back to back, but I'll always remember when Jane showed me, this is with a stabiliser and this is without a stabiliser, and it makes it absolutely pop if you're using your stabiliser um, on a towel. They look great. Even if you're using your alphabet on, say, your 680, um, if you want to do a personalised bear, it's useful to have a stabiliser as well. So it isn't just for this embroidery machine. Think outside the box. Uh, right. Today has been amazing. Thank you so much to the amazing Amanda Little, Debbie Shaw. It's been a lovely Sunday, hasn't it? Have you got a roast dinner to look forward to this afternoon? I'm starving after all those food messages we've had in today. <laughs> it's been... Um, it's been so lovely to have so many new customers join us. Thank you all so much for your company. Tomorrow, Jaws Me Youth's here with John Scott. And look who's back, back again. Sally's back. Tell your friends. When shall I stop? <laughs> Read a book cushion with Jaws Me Youth. They're going to take me off air. Blue Willow Quilt with Sally Stevens at nine. You've got perfect bows with Jaws Me Youth at ten. Gosh, I tell you what, John Scott has got a jump back day, hasn't he? Centre stage quilt with Sally. Oh, it's not John tomorrow. Sorry, it's a Monday. I know he's on on a Monday. It's Bex. Uh, Rebecca Reed. I should have known that. Three cuts and books as well with Rebecca coming up um, tomorrow morning from 8 o'clock. Do make sure you join her. It's going to be lovely. I'm back on the birthday. I don't actually think I'm here this week. No, I'm not. So I'll see you um, in March. I'm going to rest up. I know we did let some spoilers go today. It's going to be an amazing event. So do make sure whatever you do, keep those dates in your diary. Um, mm? Debbie Shaw and Mandy Shaw and uh, Pinhole, Long Arm Quilters. We've got Debbie Shaw's um, fabric launch. Have you seen we've got brand new yarn from Stuart Hillard uh, in Spice Up Your Life? Have you heard about that, by the way? Right. Anyway, I've got to go. I'll speak to you soon. Thank you all so much. I'll speak to you soon. Say bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs> you put the phone down. No, you go first. I'll see you uh, very, very soon. John or Beck, sorry, we'll be up with you tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. Bye.